Not at all. We're live. Dallas, Dallas ain't Dallas ain't a problem. You know, we we seen we already took care of them. And then mm. um, and then um who was it that just got on them last night? Oh, Minnesota. Yeah, well, no nobody's worried about the Mavericks at all. Low, are you low, are you more looking at Kevin Durant and his name getting on his Phoenix Sun roster as opposed to what Phoenix can actually do? Because and the reason why I'm saying this to you, Low, is because what? remember, and the reason why I'm saying this to you, Low, is remember, KD, he's not coming back till after the All Star break, so this will be two months that he's been out. So he's just gonna jump on this Phoenix roster, and they're just gonna start rolling. Add that to the fact that everything that they gave up with giving up Mikael Bridges, right? With giving up Cam Johnson, T.J. Warren's been in and out of the lineup. Mikael Bridges is the most, as of today, the most durable player in the NBA, and he's their dirty work guy on the perimeter. Their best defender, and to give him up, that means that uh, that that means that that has to be supplemented somewhere else. And you've said it to me numerous times, Lo. Numerous times you've said to me, you are out on Chris Paul. So adding Kevin Durant. Whoa, to what? The, when do I said that? You. Oh my God! You've said to me more than once. I'm out than twice. Chris Paul. You Come said on. you've been told me that you are out on Chris Paul. Yes, you have. You've said that to me. So if you're that, not out, you should be. So so, <laughs> oh, so with that man. being said, adding Kevin Durant to this roster. With everything that just got taken off, with both Cam Tom Cam Johnson and Mikael Bridges, why are you are you just looking at it because it's Kevin Durant, or are you looking at it because this roster with him on it they could actually win it? Uh, no, with the roster they can they can definitely win it. I might have been out on Chris Paul being like the second option on the team, but he'd be the third, and <laughs> it won't even be close. He he kept. I mean, Chris Paul will be all right. Chris Paul will be fine. Right. His team. Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want to set it up or not. The it's it's. I mean, obviously, KD's KD, and the name holds weight. But like, it's also yes, it just, does. It's a simple fact that like the team is just like probably the most talented unit in the in the uh, Western Conference right now. So, I still think the Nuggets. I think the Nuggets have a real legit. But I just think that that's a legit team. So obviously with the Kevin Durant trade, Kevin Durant coming to Phoenix, we all know that I don't have to ask. We all know that this shifts the whole dynamic of the West. But can I now get you guys this <clears throat> top three teams in the West at the All-Star break? The Nuggets, the Grizzlies, the Kings. Stop. Stop, Bobby. You got to stop you, with this. You're, you're going by the rankings. <laughs> Playing it by the books. Smart guy. Smart guy. Mars. Okay. Um, Phoenix, Denver. Memphis. In that order? Yeah. Okay. Chill. Denver, Phoenix. And I want to say the Kings, but I'm not sold on them. I, I, I really want to say your Kings, Bobby, but I'm not sold on them. And I'm not sold on Memphis neither. I'm neither not. am I. I just said them. I don't know why. I'm, I'm not, I, I, was, I was waiting. I was like, Mars, really? Memphis? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not sold on Memphis. Y'all really, really don't want to say the Clippers. That's really the weird. West is a two horse race, in my opinion. I think it is too. And that's the Nuggets and the, the Suns, Mars? Yes. If any other team gets out of the West I'm, I'm besides those two teams, I'd be shocked. That's I, I'm not I'm not mad at that. I'm just want to go back to something you said, Chill. Like you said you're not sold on us, and I, I gotta respect it. Right. Just do the just do the uh you know history. But what have we not shown this year? I mean, we everybody was everybody was big on the Mavs getting right. getting Kyrie. I mean, we we took mm -hmm. care we took care of them. Yep. Kyrie, everybody says Kyrie. We're well, not everybody, but a majority of people have Kyrie and Luca as top three point guards in the NBA. Right. And I mean, we De'Aaron De faded them. He took he took care of them, packed them yes, up, he, and he sent them shit. So, them. I mean, what's, what what else do we got to do to get a little respect around here? Uh, well, well, first of all, well, you wasn't watching the game. Don't basketball I get a ball? reference? Yeah. Basketball <laughs> reference? No, 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 basketball <laughs> reference? You're not watching the game. Yeah, the whole season, y'all like one of the worst defensive teams. That's cool. That's cool. You guys do seem to play decent defense in fourth quarter. Right. And, and not only do they play decent defense, they have individuals who play de decent defense. Don't let that Mavs score fool you. Now, to answer your question, now to answer your question, Big Ox, the thing I'm concerned with is De'Aaron Fox, Sabonis, mm -hmm. these guys haven't been in the playoffs. And that's the thing that I'm concerned with more than anything. I'm not concerned with the talent level. Like I told you, I'm a big fan of Harrison Barnes as a pro. There's your vet that you got. I think you got your rotation guys. In terms of De'Aaron Fox being the baller that he is, and he can mm -hmm. score on anybody and control the tempo of the game, the thing I'm concerned with is the lights get brighter in the playoffs. 
Yeah, Kevin, Kevin, Hurt, Kevin Hurt went, went to. With, Kevin, Hurt, Kevin Hurt has been to the playoffs. However, I'm not concerned. I mean, if, if, if we have, a, if we holding out, if we holding on to Kevin Herter, like we, we, we putting all our weight on Kevin Herter, that's going to be a huge problem. Right, Sabonis, okay. Sabonis and, and, and De'Aaron Fox are the guys that I'm the most concerned with because, again, the playoffs, they get the lights get brighter. And the right. thing I'm, I'm the most concerned with is matchup problems. So I already, I, like I said, I seen what y'all did with Dallas. I'm not so, I, I, I haven't been sold on Dallas. And even mm-hmm. now with Irv, Getting on the crew, I'm still not sold on him. Luca is one of the worst individual defenders that I've ever seen. And with that being said, losing what they lost, they don't guard at all. The thing I'm concerned with with Sacramento is the matchup that you guys get early. Like you might run into you might run into Golden State in round one. I don't really like that matchup for you guys. I don't. We'll pack Steph ass up too. Hey, now James Wiseman is going. It's a different game. It's a different game. Right <laughs> James Wiseman's So, more are you Golden back? State. Are you back? No, 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 no. I'm a Houston fan, but Golden State. No, yeah, no. Nah, you can't even Golden say State. that. You can't I'm a Houston fan. I'm a Houston fan. I'm a Houston fan. Oh, but wow. Go- Golden State, um, now that James Wiseman's gone, they can go back into the contender category. If they Mars, the doesn't that present tougher times for you? If, if you had a tough time at Golden State this year, aren't you, like, like fed up right uh, now? If you're a Houston um, fan. No, because Houston come with no expectations. You you watch Houston and you're just there to watch AAU basketball. So you're just having fun. Win, win lose, or draw. So you're just there vibing. Um, Golden State, um, me being the bandwagon I was, um, I only rooted for them because they were the best team at the time. I've now grown up, now six years old. So um, I've come to my senses and I don't want to just root for the team that's <laughs> the best top of the NBA anymore. So um, I was never a true loyal Golden State fan, so it's easy for me to just hop off the bandwagon. But if they end up making the conference finals, best believe I'll be right back. So really, Mars? Because I thought you was down with the Golden State Warriors the way you was talking about. He's, talking about he's, them. he's playing with you. He's joking. I'm. He's I'm joking. Ge- I can. I oh, genuinely. Boy. If you, are, I would rather Denver make the finals than Golden State. So really, I, that, well, that, you know what? Yeah, you're, I don't. You're, I don't. You're right. I don't have you're any right. affiliation with Golden State beyond the fact that I. Said I support. Mm-hmm. I thought you was down with the Warriors, Mars. The way I hear you talk about Curry and, and the way I hear you talk about Clay Thompson, I thought you was. I thought those was your boys. Even oh, I, 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 no, I'm. I'm just honest about every player I talk about. Maybe I'm more praise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm more praise the West, I'm just the West is a one horse race. Who's a horse? Who's the horse? It's yeah. it's Denver, and then there's a gap, and then you can put in Memphis. You can put in the Kings. You can put in. You want to put in Dallas, the Clippers. You can put them all. You can put them in Phoenix? In, in that second. Yeah, you didn't say Phoenix. No, I'm you not. Didn't say Phoenix. I, you're you're absolutely right. I didn't say Phoenix. Whoa! Wow. Wow. Because I okay. I am a his I am a historian. And when has Kevin Durant led a team to the finals? In 2012. Talk that in 2012. No, 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 no. That's 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 easy. I'm an actual went into a team that wasn't tailor made that wasn't into the finals of the year before. When has he done it? Never. So I'm just gonna bet on, I mean, the Suns did in the finals two years ago. I'm gonna bet, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna is, bet on history. Right I'm gonna bet on history, and history tells me he's gonna break down. He's not gonna make it because that's what I've seen in recent history. And that, sorry, go ahead, Mars. I'm sorry. What's go the ahead, history? Mars. What's the history of Denver showing you? I just think they're the best team right now. Mm. That, I'm just. I'm. I'm taking. I'm going out on a limb on Denver with the two-time MVP. I'm just going out on you a limb. You can't go on a limb with Phoenix. I, I, no, I won't go on a limb for for an old ass Chris Paul who's probably going to be hurt in the playoffs again, and a KD who's probably going to be hurt in the playoffs. Why would I bet on that? That's crazy. That's fool's gold, man. I ain't wasting my money on that bet. Hell no. So, so fluent. Can we get your top four teams in the Western Conference right now? Denver, Space, the Kings. <laughs> the Space is for number two. The Kings. Right. Uh, and I'll go and, and I'm listen. I think Man- Memphis turns it around. I know they look horrible as of late. I, I'm I'm gonna stick with Memphis because that was my that was my preseason pick. So I'm I'm gonna stick with them. Okay. And Lo, can we get your top three? My top three: um, Denver, Phoenix, and a healthy Lakers squad. That's the <laughs> third right there. A healthy Lakers squad. I thought I thought you was in Milwaukee. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. He's not allowed back. He's not allowed back in LA. That's no, wild. No, no, no. That was too quick, Law. You could have, you could have gave. Hey, you hey, hey, gave hey too the, much the G. Angela Russell pit trade was no. too quick as well, man. No, you're out. You're out. Nah, nah. Yo, 
No. Yo, yo, Lo, if you're gonna leave the house, at least make her think that you're serious. Don't don't just sit in the car for a couple yeah. minutes and go back inside. Yeah, don't 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 nah, don't that's, storm, that's don't how you storm. get the job done though. Don't <laughs> the trade the tray got the, the tray got traded. Oh my god. Uh, Storming out the house and texting from the car. Hell no. Low, did you low, low, did you watch no. the, did you watch your boys last night against the Trailblazers? Yeah, I saw them without LeBron James. Let's take like James off the table for it. No, 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 we can't we can't take I can't used to that. I said healthy. Okay, e e even even healthy. Have you watched your guys in terms of perimeter defense? Yeah, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> and not only is it going to be a problem, it's going to be a problem because you mentioned it earlier in the season. So what you're doing is you're replacing Juan Toscano with Vanderbilt and Beasley, which are better. However, which, which are better. However, Schroeder, on the other hand, who gives you nothing on the perimeter defensively. I disagree with that. Oh, he doesn't give. Uh, well, I'm, I'm he's watching a, he's this. A, he's, a, he's a solid point of attack defender. I, this I is the, this disagree. is the same Dennis Schroeder who Dane put forty on last night. He put forty on him. No, he put forty on Austin Reeves. That's what he put forty. No, on. he put for, and, and, and he put, he, he put he got forty on of, Austin. Reeves. He got plenty of he got plenty of switches on the Dennis Schroeder and mm -hmm. cooked him and he gave got, him he got, the work he put that he was looking on for. Austin Reeves. Absolutely. And Anthony and, Davis not being motivated and playing drop coverage. That's what can he you put believe Anthony, I can't, Can we believe we're talking about Anthony Davis? Dude who went almost 20 and 20 last night. Was that empty? Is that what you're telling me? Was that empty I, last I, night? I, that was that, that. was not an impressive 20 and 20. That was not an impressive one. He was he was, he was he was he was he was he was sleepwalking into barely he was not aggressive at all, like not even close. And they mm -hmm. were and they were playing EU banks out there, and he still wasn't aggressive. I was like, bro, this this is the game that you go for 57. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's going on right now. You walking into 20 is crazy. Come which on, now, which, which low? Remember now, we're talking about a guy who just came off a five for sixteen performance against Golden State. I basically saw the same dude in the national championship when he was at Kentucky. Go, yo, I don't have it going, so I will tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna block all the shots. I'm gonna get all the rebounds. You do score the rest of the points. That's basically what he did against Golden State a couple of nights ago. Now, last night against the Portland Trail Blazers, he wasn't as aggressive as he could have been. But we can't take out the we can't take off the table the perimeter defense how bad it was the switches oh, no, that was. weren't there and the fact that they were late not only were the switches not only were the switches late the switches were all wrong why is Austin Reeves switching onto Damian Lillard there's no reason why Austin Reeves should be covering Damian Lillard especially mm -hmm. especially 28 feet away from the basket we do not leave him on an island with Damian Lillard by himself how many points Giannis putting on Drew Eubanks. Well, they just played a couple of uh, they just played Portland a couple of nights ago, and I think Giannis went for thirty five and fifteen against. Them. How many points MB putting on him? How many points Jokic putting on him? Twenty points, come on, 20, 20 points against. Yes, he didn't have twenty. He had nineteen to be honest. Oh man, that's yeah. He didn't on, have like, twenty. He had nineteen. Come on, a yeah. any any other top tier big is having a a, a 35, 40 point night, and I still think they would have lost because the defense was egregious. Uh, but when again, I said healthy. Let's be clear, healthy. I still when, think the road to the NBA championship goes to Golden State until somebody bounces them. Oh, wow. I think the, I think the road to the NBA champ, and I think Denver has the best opportunity to do it. Fluid, do you have your soundboard? Because that's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous. <laughs> no, that's you know ridiculous. I don't. You know I don't. That's that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Why is that? It's, it's, blind, it's blind faith in Golden it's State. Blind, it's, it's blind faith. faith. It's, it's, not blind faith. faith. it's not blind it's faith. faith. It's, it's not blind faith. They haven't faith. shown you the championship team this season. They haven't yeah. shown you the championship team over the last 10 seasons. Yeah, well, and this I, season is the last blind, that's what blind. That's what blind faith is. I think blind faith is in Denver who hasn't showed you jack sheep. I think blind they faith. They you how well they played. No, they but see, see how you guys see how you guys are inconsistent. So Golden State has shown us they're a championship caliber team, so we're going to bet on them. Kevin Durant has shown us that unless he has the Golden State Warriors, he doesn't win shit. But we're going to bet on him. Be consistent. No, Tom, yeah, that's not betting, the same thing. We're not betting on KD. We're betting on the. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm also betting on a team, a team that was coached well enough to get to the finals. I'm also betting on a team that has the book who's improved. Like I understand what you're saying, but also into into Ron's point, like it is still inconsistent what Ron is saying because you can't say that you ain't seen nothing from them when they made the conference finals when all of them were healthy and Jokic, Murray, and MPJ. And Correct. that team wasn't as good as it was now. So you have seen them do something and when right. they got a lesser version of themselves. And, the and, and with, with also – They lost to the team also, that never won a championship. That's what they lost right. to. And with all of that being said, that. I mean, if I'm not mistaken – Eddie LeBron. Lakers. Come on. But who did they lose to last year? That's more so what I'm getting at. 
they were healthy. That, with no Jamal Murray. And with no Jamal Murray, no MPJ, that's who they lost to. No KCP. And that Golden State to. team is just mine was better than this one. Facts. I don't like, think so. Then How that's why I said it's blind so. faith. Because if you've watched Golden State this season and Golden State last season, and you think they're not drastically different, so what that's just because you have blind faith. What makes you think that that champagne's what? not going to wear off from last year and that you see what? Clay's playing better? Andrew Wiggins has been in and out the lineup. Steph's been in and out the lineup. Draymond, I uh, Draymond playing Draymond. worse. He's been playing I, worse. I, Dre, I expect Jordan Poole to continue to do what he's doing. He's been the playing worse. He's going to get better. James Wiseman's gone. Hey, Morris. James he wasn't there last year either. He wasn't there last year. He was just you know, I'm, chilling I'm just, in the background. I'm just saying, with the collection of guys that they have, I expect them when it's time to actually ball, they're going to ball. I, I don't think this record that they have right now is a reflection of really how good the team is. And you're history has you're explaining and, and, blind faith. No, it's history. not. And history has shown us when those three dudes are in the lineup and they're healthy, they're in the NBA finals. That's what history has shown us. That's not blind faith. That's the so Golden y'all, State so Warriors. So y'all, so y'all, so y'all yeah, but history has also shown us when those three are in the lineup, the team is good. This year and, they're not good. That's the difference. Well, I don't this, know. This that, season that, is that, going that, against that, that, Hold, hold on, what, what, do you, what do you mean when you say they're not good, Mars? Because, I mean, they are a playoff team. They might not be a top three so playoff 20, team like they were last year. 2015, right? number one seed. 2016, right? number one seed. 2017, Correct. number one seed. 2018, Correct. number two seed. 2019, mm-hmm. not healthy. 2020, not healthy. 2021, right. no clay. 2022, number three seed. This right. year, 500. Steph this been in and, out of, is, and, and Steph has been in and out of the lineup. That's 500 correct. 500 with Steph. But he's been in and out of the lineup, though. Still yeah, and that's still 500 with him. With him. How the team just isn't very good. I, I Mars, Mars, are you saying Mars? Are you saying the Golden State Warriors and that team are just front runners and they can't win unless they're front runners? Oh wow! Because no, it sounds no. like that's I'm, what no. you're saying. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying this Wait, season just, the team is just worse than it has been in all previous years. So y'all thought competed. it? That's why I'm y'all, saying. Y'all thought in 1990 the Boston Celtics were going to win a championship? I did not think that. Why not? Why, why would I think that the Boston Celtics is going to win the NBA championship in 1990? They didn't win it in 89. They didn't win it in 88. But they didn't blind, win it in 87. Blind, either. blind faith would tell you that they, they it, when all three of them healthy, right? That was a terrible example, Lo. And the reason why I think that is a terrible example. What are we talking about here? Ah, that's what you're talking about. They didn't get knocked out in the first round, they got smoked in the first round. I flew Actually, they, they, they lost in five. There was a. They got they got put they pushed the Knicks to five. If, if I'm not mistaken, I think that was that was uh it's nice that was the, that was the time when I was thinking the year before that when uh okay. when they got swept out of the playoffs. Oh, that, 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 that year Bird wasn't and healthy and Bird so and Bird didn't play. Yeah, I, I was that, thinking, I, I was thinking the year before yeah, that. Bird Bird yeah. wasn't healthy. And they well, lost he's healthy Knicks. though. That's when things change. <laughs> but he he wasn't healthy since '86. '87. <laughs> <87. laughs> oh man. Hey, fluent. Can I can I ask you something real quick, fluent? Yeah, yeah, what's up? Yeah. Well, you know, um the, the people in the chat, they they you know, they're repeatedly saying that on Fluent and Chill, which uh, you know, I typically always catch, but I only caught a little bit of it. They're saying that you actually predicted Phoenix coming out the West. Is there any validity to that? I'm just allowing you to clear it up because there's confusion some, some confusion going I, on in the chat. I, here. I picked Phoenix coming out the West. That's what the people are saying that you picked on Fluent and Chill. Whoa. I didn't hear that. I'm just wondering if maybe there's that some confusion That doesn't going on. sound familiar to me. Was I drinking? I don't, I don't remember you saying oh, that. Oh, wow. Yeah, out the West, okay, though. Chill I doesn't don't. remember that. I don't remember that. Yeah, if I don't there remember you saying on that. that. Let's, let's bring those up. I'm not I saying that he didn't I, say it. I just don't remember Tone saying was it, that. Was, was, it, was, it, not, was it 1992 that I picked them coming out the West? Because in 92 I did. Well, I didn't hear it either. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't remember that. So, and Mars, I don't. I don't think. I don't think I've ever picked a KD-led team uh, to come out of anything. And when you guys bring up and say the, he led them in 2012, y'all remember that was 11 years ago. Just, just so we're clear. No, but, but no, even though it was 11 years ago, he still did it, Tone, and that's the point. You said it was that he's never done years that. Ago. I don't care. If you asked uh, when, when, when has he ever done it. You asked when has he ever done it. That's what you said. Celtics was 86. You didn't right. give Bird any love from 86 to 90. The reason why I didn't give Bird any love because – and the reason why I didn't give Bird any love, Tone, is because this is not the same thing. You said Kevin Durant never led a team to the NBA championship with, with, with the team right, being built right, around him. Right. That Oklahoma City it's team was built thing. entirely around better. him. You're right. Bird is better than KD. You're right. It's not the same thing. I don't know uh, what Bird being better than – What Bird being better than KD does. It does because if he's better than him, why is it that when Parrish, McHale, and Bird are all in the lineup, why can't they make a deep postseason run? 
unless you're acknowledging that as time progresses, things change. We can't account exactly. for something that happened. Exactly. Who they get knocked off by, love? They lost, they lost to the Knicks in the first round. Not even like Chicago or Detroit. They lost to the Knicks. Okay. Mm. With that, with everything that, that you just said, Knicks, you know? now what we're doing is we're turning this into – now what we're doing is oh, we're turning this into something else. You're talking about I haven't seen Kevin Durant lead a team to the NBA Finals recently. Don't say that you've never seen him do it because he has done it. That 2012 team that went to the NBA Finals in Oklahoma City was built entirely around KD from drafting Russell Westbrook and drafting James Harden and drafting Ibaka. That team was built entirely around them, and he was the best player on that unit. Now, of recently, has he led a team to the NBA Finals? He has not. But don't say he's never done that because, yes, he has. Okay. Okay. All right. He did it. He did it in a shortened season. Congratulations. Uh, I, I, wait, but I, I just I just don't – because we're not talking about the team being built around KD. This is more similar to Golden State. He's being added to a team that was already built. I'm going to keep it a is this it's not, not a team? Is this not an ideal team to build around KD anyway? Maybe another one defender. So. Like, right. They're, start, think, they're starting center is super to. disgruntled, though. How is he going to be any more happier? He's and never going to touch the ball. He's never going to get any shots. DeAndre Ayton is, is extremely disgruntled. And it's only going to get worse for and, that, and that's fair. I think outside of a defensive build. I don't, defensive I don't think this team is Hold on, Tom. Hold on, Tom. Hold on, Tom. Sorry, sir. No, I just, I I just think like outside of a defensive wing, maybe a defensive big as well. But. To have a, a playmaking point guard to set up Chris Paul, I mean, um, KD to get the ball in his hands to set him up more, and Chris Paul having a skilled second scoring option in Devin Booker, which is something he's always said he wanted, and also somebody who can operate off ball so you can still get KD to hit in his ISOs occasionally. Proper floor spacing as well, something that KD also, also always wants as well. Fair enough. I think the five is is should be more defensive oriented because Aiden is definitely more offensive that's oriented player. Going. That's that's a that's fair going. assessment. But for the most part, if you were trying to structure, especially offensively, a team around KD, this would be a more or less the team that you would want to build around him. No. If if this was the team that went to the finals a couple of years ago, I would say yes. Mm-hmm. I don't think this team, as constructed today, is better than the Kings. Wow. I would have to agree with that. Of course. <laughs> well, yeah, you'd, you'd, you'd I thought you'd like that one. <laughs> now, 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 to Lowe's point, if DeAndre Ayton would now basically just dedicate himself to being a rim protector, a rim runner, and a glass cleaner, I think this works for them offensively and defensively. Now, the question is, is, is he going to complain about not shooting the basketball? Because in recent history, when DeAndre Ayton, which is kind of ironic, when DeAndre Ayton goes over 20 and 10, they're not very successful as opposed to when they're running the offense through book, when they're running the offense with Chris Paul. Now you're going to add Kevin Durant, who has a particular skill set. He's just buckets. Kevin Durant is one of the few guys in NBA history who has a game that travels. There aren't many guys who have a game that, especially franchise players, who have a game that travels. KD is one of those guys who has a game that travels. Now I think DeAndre Ayton, he could be the difference in this if he decided to be a rim protector, rim runner, solely, and a glass cleaner. I, I agree, and 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 even if they don't, I'll say this as well because um I got obviously I need to see it before I can fully commit to it. But if they don't win this year, oh DeAndre Ayton in the, in the off season will be traded, and they will get the pieces that they need to get because I think there are several teams that are willing to give up defensive role players, a, a slew of solid complementary defensive role players <clears throat> for DeAndre Ayton, who essentially this year has been like eighteen or nineteen and ten. I think so. There's, we- Several teams. I think so if, Atlanta is one of those teams. I think Atlanta is probably one of those teams. So if we're doing that, Lo, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but if we're doing that, then that means we got to get off of Chris Paul too because now we're another year later. Chris Paul, has he's gone yeah. the other way. He'll be 39 next year. Are we really building a unit or taking a championship unit with Chris Paul at the helm to the NBA Finals? Are we really doing that? Well, they've, they've already – um there's already been conversations about how CP3 might be moved um because the whole Kyrie Irving to Phoenix thing is still in play as well. I think that – that will be interesting because I, I think that, um, at least from what I've read and from what I know, the mm-hmm. idea of Chris Paul – I mean, not Chris Paul, excuse me. Well, Chris Paul – idea of Chris Paul being out of Phoenix is something that they were already at least entertaining. Mm-hmm. And the idea of Kyrie and KD both going to Phoenix has been something that was semi in play since the offseason. So I think I think it's all in play. Um, but even if that doesn't happen, I think what's probably more and more important to them because even if Chris Paul continues to to continues to regress mm-hmm. as long as he's serviceable and as long as he's able to make the proper reads I think him being the starting point guard to a team that features Devin Booker Kevin uh Kevin Durant and some form of a lob um a lob threat 
big who also is a nice solid defensive piece i think chris paul being the fourth or fifth fifth best player on the team is still fine in a starting lineup excuse me i think that's still fine why is deandre ayton so disgruntled though because it's not, not like this is, well not not but because when he gets the touches they're not as productive they don't win as much when he does get the touches but with that being said why isn't he as does he think he's is deandre ayton a 25 and 10 guy He's a number one overall pick. Why would on, he not on a losing on a losing team? Yes, he yeah, is. on a losing team. Yeah, he, he's a number he one wants. overall pick. So why would right. he not think that you know what I'm saying I, I should be featured that way? I think he's a double double guy. I think he could be a twenty and ten guy. Now I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm gonna go as far as to say that he's a twenty five and ten. I think that's putting a lot of. I think that's putting a lot on it. But I think Phoenix, what they did last year when asking him to go out and find the best deal possible for him and find out what his worth is, I thought that they did him a I thought they did him a good service for that, simply for because sure. we didn't like him yeah. at 190. Not only did yeah, we but, not but like that's, him, at... sorry, go ahead, finish, finish. Go ahead, Tone. I'm listening. No, but that that's the problem. They're not allowing him to be that 25 and 10 guy that he thinks he can be, which stops him from getting paid. That's why he's unhappy. Because if he was a 25 and 10 guy, he's getting 190 million dollars. So he feels that Phoenix is putting him in a situation where he can't do that. Therefore, he can't get his money. That's why he's disgruntled. And I don't blame him from a personal – look, forget the team for a second. From a personal yeah. standpoint, he's right. Tone, that logic doesn't work with me. And the reason why that logic doesn't work with me is because I've seen guys get paid on potential and what they possibly can do as opposed to what they're currently doing. If you see DeAndre Ayton as a 25-10 and 10 guy, you're going to pay him max money because there have been guys who've gotten paid max money who became – better players moving forward. Now, DeAndre Ayton, he went out there and found the best deal possible. Phoenix said they didn't like him at 190. Indiana said they liked him. Indiana said they liked him at 133. You know what? Phoenix said we do too. We like that number a lot better than we do 180. So that's what that's what the market called for for him. Now, is DeAndre Ayton a 25 and 10 guy? I'm not sure. But I, well, I, know, I understand what you're saying. Like he's not 25 and 10 on that team. But if I'm down to eight, I can I can easily convince myself if I go on the right team that's featuring me more frequently. Because he, I mean, to be fair to DeAndre Ayton, he came into the he came into his NBA career, the number one overall pick. In the second year, he was already putting up 18 and 11. Yes. And then they insert Chris Paul into the conversation that made him just take a back seat to the offense. And now you're going to take an even further back seat to the offense now that KD is there because without a doubt you're going to be third option next to KD and um, Devin Booker. We ain't even going to play around with that. So if you're if you're Booker, if you're Aiton, I, I definitely I agree with you saying you maximize what you what you can do this season, even if it means you being more defensive oriented. But if, if I was a first overall pick selected over Luka Doncic, if I'm getting David Robinson comparisons. And then by my my second year, I'm already putting up 18 and 10 in a league where there aren't that many big men and we're making the NBA finals. I, without a doubt, think that who I am as a player can the ceiling will never be reached in Phoenix. It just won't be. So if that's the case, then yes. But and I and I, I do believe that he's in play to be moved. I, I think that without a doubt, he's in, he makes too much money and he his ceiling will never be reached in Phoenix. So mm, that's, if things don't work and out, be, and let's be clear, right? It's not necessarily even what the team, the other teams think. He thinks it. He believes yeah. I'm a 25 and 10 guy, and 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 he's not going to say it's my fault. He's going to say they're putting me in a situation where I can't do it. I need to get my money somewhere where I can. So, yeah, but it's not like he's just saying that though. That's a fact. DeAndre Ayton is one of the top five centers in the NBA, if you ask yeah. me. And it's like between uh between Booker and KD, they're going to shoot 50 shots a game. Between those two, that's fifty shots at least a game. Jesus, you know Damn, Jay, that's a lot. Oh, that, 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 man. No, that's, that's, I that's, 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 that's which is fair. You're not, saying. You're, not, you're not exaggerating over that. Yeah. Even though, even though KD doesn't need a lot of shots to score, that's who KD is. But I, mean, that's, I, I, that's, I see what he's saying. I see. Yeah, that's 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 a lot of shots. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like he's he's not. He's there's no way he's going to be a 25 and 10 guy over there. Some some people are okay with taking that lesser role, but. It's like like you just said, Lo. It's a lesser role than another lesser role. And now KD's here. Like, come on, this isn't. This is gonna be. He's gonna be forgotten about essentially. And this logic and this logic about us winning NBA championships. I'm 22 years old. I don't care about that. What I care about as of right now, what I care about is I care about getting my numbers. Because at this point, I'm still trying to prove that I can stick. Now, a lot of guys at age 22, 21, 20, 22 years old, they're trying to prove that they are 
that good of a player. And being a cha- being a champion is not something that they think about until later on. It just so happens that DeAndre Ayton is on that kind of team right now. And and you know, to your point before, so you're gonna tell me I'm the number one overall pick, and you want me to clean glass and block shots and be the fourth option? It's crazy. Hell no. Hell That's crazy. No. And with that being said, though, DeAndre Ayton, like he he's for the most part, because Chris Paul has taken a step back. Uh, he's digressed and he's been in and out the lineup. He actually hasn't played bad this year. He's averaging close right. to 19 and 10. So to say with him being the number one option, I, I don't know if it's too far fetched for him to get maybe not 25, but 22, 23 and 10. And that's that's I think he should. I think he could be that. Sure. I definitely think he could be that. And if, if you're a team like Atlanta with some of the pieces that they have that I think are, are being misutilized. If you're a team like um, Portland, who's still trying to figure out what Dame, if you're a team um, potentially like Chicago, who may need to be restructure around Levine in this upcoming off season. No, I think there's several teams and you're, and you're going to lose Vujovic in the um, off season. No, I think there's several teams out there who could use a massive upgrade at their five position, give them some more front court scoring threat and give up some defensive pieces in the process. And then, the, and then after that, if you're Phoenix, you just sign some vet minimum guys and then you move forward with a much more well-rounded team, especially on the defensive side of the floor. Not I, if Phoenix don't do it this year, um, which, you know, with Chris Paul and Katie at, at their age, they should try to maximize every year that they can. But if, if they don't do it this year, they are primed to do it next year without a doubt. Without I a doubt. love since you, since you just brought that up, because I was going to bring that up too. you just just took the words right out of my mouth. I'm looking at Portland. I love DeAndre Ayton in Portland because they don't have a rim protector or they're one of the worst rebounding teams. They're one of the worst interior defensive teams. And they just lost their second best rebounder in Josh in, 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 why well, I keep getting his name Josh wrong. Hart. Josh, Josh Hart. Hart. I was about to say Josh Smith, Josh Hart. And I love him up there. Absolutely. And I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to completely commit to this idea, but um, I don't know what, what's around Jeremy Grant. I don't know if he wants to be more featured in the offense like himself. So I don't know if they can do a sign and trade with that. I don't know what's going on with um because they've been bouncing around this idea of um Sharp being moved as well. Um they they got a couple of young players that can be moved also. I don't know, I don't necessarily mean that it's like a one in one trade, like one some go to Phoenix and eight and goes to Portland. But I think there's there's several teams out there who can revamp their front court and could use somebody who I, I believe if if the second best player I agree with Ron. Without a doubt, could be a 20, 20 or 22 and 10 type of player. Without a doubt. Sure, sure. Without a doubt. All right, fellas. Let's go ahead and keep it pushing into these super chats. Uh, mm-hmm. I want to say happy Valentine's Day to everybody out there, the fellas. Special whoop, whoop. Happy Valentine's Day to the ladies. Fellas, do your ladies right this Valentine's Day. Don't be like Ticket. Don't promise her a steak dinner and never give it to her. That's are crazy. You, I, I, I'm, I'm glad. Hey, 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 Lo, are we still waiting on that steak dinner? What's the story, Lo? I'm still waiting on the steak dinner, oh my man. God. Still. I'm still waiting on it. Lo, man. do you do you have hope or have you lost hope like Mars and the Warriors? No, I, I got hope. Well, now, especially because <laughs> Westbrook is now off the Lakers. So, like, without a doubt, we've, we've ran through the course of everything that's gone through. So, yeah, without a doubt, I should be getting my steak dinner pretty soon now. Facts, facts. Also, <laughs> fellas, you know I'm on your side. Ladies. If you're watching, treat your man right. A hashtag spoil him all 2023. Spoil him 2023. Facts, facts, man. All right, fellas, let's go ahead and dive into these super chats. Leaf Diggy, what's up with your boy? He said, Bobby, me and you cool. Or me and you, we cool. Y'all fourth quarters are amazing, but I got to keep it five with you. Nobody's taking y'all serious till y'all win this playoff series, bro. That's tough. But it's, it's fair, not, though. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. It's, it's not fair, wrong. though. And it's not because it's not. Oh, no way! You put it. It's, it's not because they whack. <laughs> no, that's not. That's that's ridiculous. I mean, ah. it's a new year. Every year is a new year. I I hate that people people switch up their players. It's not even the same team anymore. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't. I don't care about what happened last year or the years before that. The whole two decades before this. That's irrelevant now. Damn, the whole two decades. <laughs> Why you say it like that? That's crazy. Shit, man, we going through it, man. They ain't been in the playoffs since 2000, what, five? 2006. 2006, 2006. I'm sorry. Yeah. Some, some <laughs> He's like, get that straight now. Alive. Get that straight. Get that straight. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say I wasn't even alive last time Kings made the playoffs. So it's been a, it's been, it's been a very long time. <laughs> Salah Ali with the super chat. He said, what's the craziest fight you've seen in the NBA? 
to this day, I'm still on the fact of Doc punching Bird in the face. Never seen nothing like that in my whole life. Doc is the most ma- mild mannered guy in NBA history. I still would love to know what Bird said to him for him to swing on him. Obviously, Malice in the Palace. I mean, that's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's like a no brainer. Oh, that was a good one. I, I, I know the one that I like the best. Which one? Pre, pre, pre game, pre game. Charles Oakley walks up to Tyrone Hill at center court and sn- slaps the snot out of him because he owed him some money for a car wash. Hold on. Who did he do that to? Tyrone Hill. Tyrone Hill. Mm-hmm. I think he was on Cleveland at the time, and Oakley was with the Raptors pregame. Just walked up to him at center court, smack, knocked him right mm-hmm. down to the floor. It was fantastic. <laughs> Well, like Oakley owned a car wash in Cleveland or something? And... Oh, no, Oakley owns a bunch of car washes in Chicago. Okay. And, and and him and Tyrone Hill, I don't know what, I don't know all the backstory. I just know that he owed him yeah. some money for some car washes and he got his money. Let's put it that way. <laughs> don't make me come looking for you. <laughs> hey, pay don't, don't, mess, don't mess with Oak. Don't mess with Oak. <laughs> Yo, analysis of Nick said that Tatum block on Morant the other night was epic. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was. I think, I think Jason Tatum's going to be an all-league defender this year. I know that that sounds ridiculous, low, but when uh, I look at what, what those I, forwards, I, what's so tough? Yeah, I, actually, they're not as they're, they're not as tough as you think that they are. Now, I know that you're thinking about the forwards. I know that you're thinking about the forwards on the surface, but if you look at how much better Jason Tatum has improved. Number one, he leads all small forwards in rebounding. He's in the top five in small forwards in steals and blocks. So in terms of the numbers, his ability to shoot gaps, not only is it not only his ability to shoot gaps, his ability to read defenses and make it harder on other guys. He's gotten so much better. I think Jason Tatum is an all-league defender this year. I don't think he's a first-team all-league defender, but I do think he's an all-league defender. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to say Giannis, Triple J, Herb Jones, and... Triple J's a five. Oh, are you, you going to put him in as a five? Yeah, Triple J's at the five. No, he's not. He's at the four. I'm sorry. I was about to Robbie, say, because they start Steven yeah, Adams. Yeah, correct. He's at, the, he's at the four, correct. No, they can't do it. <laughs> so you said you said Giannis, Triple J. Herb Jones, and Siakam. Herb Jones. Siakam is an all-league defender? I no, mean, you mean OG. No, OG, I'm OG. sorry. OG, OG, OG. OG, OG. Oh man, I, like I said, I'm, I'm looking at that that Boston unit defensively, and how much how much more Jason Tatum affects that defense. I, I understand what OG is doing, no doubt about that. But <sighs> I think he's an all league defender this year, no doubt. Yo, speaking of NBA fights, Aramis Jones tapped in. He said Brandon Ingram giving a two piece to Chris Paul, part one and two, is underrated. That was crazy. No, that's, no, the no, that's the first no, one that came to my mind. No, it ain't. That one ain't underrated because when Rondo when Rondo hit him with the vu-vu, that, that was nuts. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah, and that yeah. was like the quickest thing I ever seen. And then they slowed it down to show Rondo spitting at him. I was like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that was wild. Spitting on somebody, yeah. You deserve to get put. You deserve to get blood put in your mouth. You spitting yeah. a man's face. You must be crazy. All right, it's, it's Valentine's Day, fellas. Y- y'all want to have a little bit of fun? What we got? I, I got a super chat that's a little bit of fun, and then I got a Valentine's Day segment for us as well. But let's do this super chat first. Uh, Black tapped in. He said to all my brothers on the panel, <laughs> the "Real question is, top five baddest black women of all time for BHM." <laughs> Oh, Let's just go around the room and everybody give it. Everybody just give one. The top five baddest women of all, all time. All right. I'm single now, so I can say whatever I want. You could. <laughs> so I, so I'm taking my mother off the table because my mother's the most beautiful girl I ever seen in my whole life. All right, so, chill, yeah, chill. I'm, what are I'm, we doing I'm, right I'm, now? Chill. I'm taking my mother right off the table. So. What are we doing right now? Jeez. Let's see. I got Rihanna, Sa- of course, Rihanna. Rihanna. Sal- Sally Richardson. Who? <laughs> you don't know who Sally Richardson is? Are you serious no. right now? What's the words? I'm about to just do a quick. Google. I'm about to. I'm about to look at who this is. Um, Sally Richardson. Uh, Sally. Right. I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give a hot take, and I said this. A, I said this a couple of months back, and I got some people. I got some blood pressures up. Sally Richardson was better looking than Halle Berry. I put it out there, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. say it again for the people in the cheap seats. Oh, I've Sally, seen her before. Seen Sally her. Richardson was better looking than Halle Berry. So Sally Richardson. Hmm. Uh, 
This Let's is see. Fine wine right here that I'm looking at. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Now, are we talking about today? Uh, so look at Bob. Like, he's like, yeah, let me look at this. <laughs> so, so, we talking about, so we talking about all time. Angela Bassett was a babe. Mm -hmm. Still is. Still, still is. is a babe. Um, still is a babe. Let's see. Chat spam us. I ain't even looking in the chat. Tally yeah, Richardson, I, I Angela Bassett. Oh, Ashanti's another one. Um. Oh yes, Jane sorry. Jane Kennedy. Oh my God, I had a, I had the biggest crush on Jane Kennedy. I thought she was amazing. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shit. No, but Yo, first of all, first of all, I want I want to say you know what I'm saying I'm a feminist. You know what I'm saying we are not be up here ranking these ladies, but uh, uh, Adina Howard for sure. Mm, Ron Adina Howard. I mean, I'm gonna go with the obvious. The one that the, I'm gonna go with the LeBron in the room, Beyonce. Nah, I mean, y'all can say what y'all want to, but Beyonce is dope, though. Beyonce is Beyonce is fantastic. No Mars, Mars, I see you quiet over there, Mars. I'm, I'm just here to talk about. No, don't forget, nah, hey, don't forget nah. Tony Braxton, though. I don't know what's going on. Tony Braxton, nah, Mars, yeah, Tony Braxton nah, is nah, super dope. Nah. Hey, for Mars. real, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with a recent one since we talking about basketball. Malika. Oh shit. Yeah, Malika. <laughs> Yo, look at chill. Yo, y'all are, are crazy on this panel, bro. Drink more water, sis. Side, Malika is, side Malika one, is side two, side three, side four, side five. Okay, first of all, it's not Sade, Sade. it's Sade. Sade. Ron, where you been at, man? Focus, fella. Jeez, right. It's not yeah. Sade. I got, a, I got a speech impediment. My you about, you, about you to know that Sade, you, though. What you're just supposed to say it's Sadie. It's not Sadie. It's Sade. Where you at, man? Sade, come on. <laughs> come on, man. focus, Ron. He's not, he not lying, though. Here's another good one, too. Lizzo. <laughs> Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Yeah, right. facts. Yes, it man. is. All yes, right, fellas. Is. I got a Valentine's Day game. Uh, Mrs. Fluent. Sorry, go ahead. You can there you go. There you go. See, y'all y'all about to get fluid in trouble up here. There. That's what y'all trying hey, to get. Hey, 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 hold on for a second. Have y'all seen Mrs. Fluid? No way. You're being okay. disrespectful. I'm just being I'm not being disrespectful. disrespectful. You, you you think have you what seen her? No, I have not. I okay. Don't, I don't want to comment he ain't, on another. The, the reason wife. why I'm saying that, the reason why I'm saying that is because he's not just saying that because that's his wife. That's all I'm gonna say. Hey yeah. man, we got we gotta move to the next segment, man. We gotta move to the next <laughs> Shout out to <laughs> all the fellas winning on this Valentine's Day. Facts. Shout out to Fluent. Shout out Absolutely. To I mean, since we going, Zendaya. <laughs> Carrie when, I see, when I see people like Zendaya, like Aaliyah, I think about, <laughs> no, man. Yo, that, yo, Fluent, that was a crazy sneak name. <laughs> who, who, who did he say? Hey, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hey, Carrie Washington. Hey, yeah, Eric Dupree, yeah. Stacey Campbell, Halle Berry, Tyra Banks. Ashanti and Tamara Campbell, sister, sister. I can't Tomorrow. get into. I just can't get into the model chicks. I wish I could, but I just can't get into the model broads. What is going on this episode, man? Hey, it's Valentine's Day. We we here to have. Lo, you got Lo, you got some nerve. You are the king of of of, of drama. You the drama king. Oh man, I was about to say. I you got like... some nerve. <laughs> all right, all right, y'all. Let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna list you guys a list of players. And in light of Valentine's Day, I want you guys to tell me who is their perfect match on the basketball court. Who okay. compliments them the best? Who would they want to be, quote, unquote, their basketball Valentine? All right, y'all ready? Mm -hmm. Listening. First player I'm going to start with is Charles Barkley. Who compliments him best? Of his era, just all time. All time. <sighs> Stockton. I was going to say Peyton. Mm. Uh, yeah, I need to. I, I was gonna, I was gonna say Jason Kidd, but he can't shoot. So he I can't shoot. How, yeah, yeah. I don't know how strong. I, 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 I say, I say Steph. Uh, because if you guys know, I don't, I don't know, know if you guys Steph know this. I don't know if you guys know. I don't know if you guys know this. Check this out. I don't know if you know this. Charles mm -hmm. Barkley is the worst three point shooter in the history of the NBA of anyone who shot like over a thousand or something or more. Is that so a fact? Has, yeah, yes, a fact. he's at like twenty five. Yeah, he he yeah. fell in love with the three. So he needs a dude that can shoot and just tell him, hey, hey, leave the outside stuff to me. Mm. All right. What about Steve Nash? The defense Steve was Nash. the I, I mean, Steve Nash, send me more defense. Steve Nash was the first person I fooled, but the defense just him and Barkley is not going to cut. I got GP. GP. 
I was thinking Stockton. Bob, you Chris got one? Chris Paul. I, I said Steve Nash. Or Chris Paul. Okay, cool. Next. Now, he, he he's won a championship. He has some good teammates around him. But if you could put the perfect piece around Giannis, who would you do? Oh, man. The perfect piece <clears throat> around Giannis. Kobe. Well, I don't need a I don't I, I don't need a, a lead guard that's a dominant ball handler because Giannis handles the basketball too. So I don't need that. I need somebody that's gonna play off of him. So uh, and uh, and he and he also needs to be a guy who can shoot the basketball and stretch the defense. <laughs> and he's got to be able to defend too. So that takes Irv off the table. Kobe. Is I want I want KD. I would like to see him with Paul Pierce. Is it too easy to say Mike? I was gonna say Jordan to be honest with you. Yeah, but Jordan, was, like you just that bigger, who I was strong, say. a bigger, stronger, faster Pippen. That's what I was thinking. I was about to say Jordan. Yeah, I want. I, I was trying to remove from saying um, LeBron and Jordan this entire time, but I was gonna say right, Jordan. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, because you know LeBron and Jordan could really be the answer for yeah, the answer for all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Bob, you got somebody? Yeah, I said Paul Pierce. All right, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. Steve Nash. Who is best in the D'Antoni offense? Who's best around Steve Nash? Amari. No, uh, the, guy, the guy who has in the history of the Dwight NBA. Dwight Howard would have been Dwight crazy. Howard, the most dunks in the history of the NBA. Dwight, Dwight Howard. Davis. Anthony Davis. Malone. Which one? Carl? Yes. Okay. I don't know Moses. why I thought Moses. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> I was like, yeah. Those yeah, like, okay. pick and rolls going to be nasty. I, I want AD. I got Dwight, though. Peak Dwight? Oh, man. All right. That, next that player. Good. None other than a current player. They're number one in the East. Jason Tatum. I would, like to, see, I would like to see him with Steph. I th- I'm going to say Jordan. You can't say Jordan. Uh, That's just a cheat code. No, the reason why I'm saying Jordan and the reason why I'm saying Jordan with Jason Tatum is because there's another level there. And I think Jay would get him there. I, Kobe would do that too, but you're right. I think that's easy. I'm going to stick with the Celtic and go uh, <clears throat> Bill Russell. Hmm. He'd be good with Bird too. He'd be really good with Bird. I wanted to say Jason Kidd again. I'm like, I'm, th- I'm thinking Jason Kidd as well. Yeah, take 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 Jordan off the table. I love him with Bird because because Jason Tatum is basically a bigger he's he's a bigger, more athletic, more skilled version of what Reggie Lewis was. And the run mm. with Bird, yeah, I love him with Bird. I'm gonna go All Kidd right. though. I'm gonna go Kidd. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna stay with Jason Kidd. All right, fellas, I I really got one for you right now. Won a championship, but never quite had a. A superstar co-star in the nineties, Hakeem the Dream. I mean, Cl- Clyde was it was him. Now, Clyde, he got Clyde on the other side. Yeah, yeah, he, he was. He, 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 he was Clyde. He was, he, almost, he was Clyde. He wasn't the Glide. He was just. Clyde. He almost had. He almost had Clyde and Jordan as teammates so, yeah, yeah, when they got drafted. Crazy. Right. So yeah. so let's say that because we can't pick Jordan, I'd say Clyde in his prime, or really honestly just any 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 three point shooter. Give him Ray Allen. Give him Steph. Give him because what he did down low and he could kick it out to if he had a, like a really good shooter. No disrespect to Kenny Smith and Vernon Maxwell and those dudes, but if he had like a really good three point shooter, that would have been nasty. Who I, I would like to first, see the first person oh. I feel was PG. I'm not gonna lie. I, I got George. one better. I yeah, got Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. Him and Leonard. That's oh, oh. I want. I want to see. I want to see uh, Hakeem and uh, Allen Iverson. The one ah. guy I'm thinking about is Magic. That's what Magic with Olajuwon. Please. That's a, that's. A, you might be running. The first people I thought was PG and Penny Hardaway. You might I thought be, about oh, PG. Penny, Penny. Penny's good too. Absolutely. I thought about PG and I was like, I can get a little bit better than PG. Kawhi. Come on. Now. <laughs> I can get a little bit better than PG. Even All Hakeem right. be Hakeem be like, come on, PG, Paul George, that's what y'all gave me. <laughs> yeah, he won't be less. All right, the next player is a player that has done a lot over his careers, put up a lot of stats, a lot of numbers, had statistically one of the best offensive seasons of all time, but he's just never quite been able to win. James Harden. Oh, here come the hate.
I actually want to hear. I actually want to hear. I actually want to hear this right here because I I wonder actually, if y'all feel like does no. I want actually. I want. I, I don't want to say no. Like, since 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 we brought him up, I love James Harden with Olajuwon. And then and that's what I thought he was gonna say. Hey, I love James. Hey. I love James Harden with Olajuwon. He got somebody James, to clean up all his defensive efficiencies. James Harden right. stretches the defense. Not only does James Harden stretch the defense, he would have to, and he could. I just don't think the effort is there, but he'd have to be a better defender, which he could. And him, James Harden, speeding the game up like he was doing in Houston with Dan Tony, with Lajuan running, and him not being able, him not having to worry about constantly scoring all the points where he could just not only just dump it down to Lajuan, he could do what he's doing with Embiid because Lajuan stop and pop, and in, and in transition and picking and dives. Oh, I think he would be fantastic with Elijuan. Why not? Why not Wilt? Oh man, those locker rooms. <laughs> yeah, those locker they rooms. Would, they, would love know where going. they would love each other on and off the court. Since it's you know where we're going. If you know what I'm going to say. Yes. You yeah, know where we're going. Them downtown that, nights would be crazy, boy. That post game, that game would be fantastic. They either they have to be in LA or New York or Miami. No, I keep them out of Miami. Um, Who am I going to go with? I'll go with uh, Kareem. Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh, I had a couple others. I had Jason Kidd and Allen Iverson, but you guys have said them uh, multiple times over this. No, no, we can do AI. All right, come on, let's do AI. AI, AI, um, AI I'm going to give them – that's another co pick for me. Uh, I'm going to give them Shaq, the best big – the most dominant big and the most dominant little. Hmm. Well, I said for Hakeem, I said I want him with Allen Iverson. So I'm going to say the same for Allen Iverson. I want to see him with Hakeem. Allen Iverson with Lajuan. I like that. Yeah. I do like that. You guys all spewing out the same names. Come on, give some, be creative. Give well, some well, well, that's what I'm thinking about, Tone, because you think about a guy like Allen Iverson who, you know, he's a volume shooter. Well, he he won't have to be that. He never played with nobody like Olajuwon, right? So you to, are you talking about a guy in, in Allen Iverson who's going to play his game, but also play with another bit, also play with another guy like that? He's not going to be able to do that. He's not going to be able to Sha- shoot the ball. Shaq, Shaq, able- Shaq didn't play with a volume shooter. Yeah, he not did. To, play not, with a, not, not to that extent, though. He Iverson did play with a volume man. shooter. And Tone, it's remind 20, us. Twenty-four shots a game, though. Not only that, Tone, remind us how many times we've heard that he was ready to strangle that dude, that is and that dude that, was ready to strangle okay. him. I would love to hear Allen Iverson tell Shaq, hey, pass me the ball. Sorry, Shaq, say, pass me the ball. Get the, re- get the rebound, big fella. That's what I want to hear. I'm... So Tone Again. the drama. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Yeah, Tone, <laughs> that... Tone, Tone, Tone loves the drama. How about I, this? I... How about this? Scottie Pippen then. <clears throat> Scottie Pippen. Like, mm. what, whoever needs to be, needs to be a defensive-oriented player that doesn't need to dominate the ball. AI and Scotty? Yeah, AI and Scotty. Okay. Uh, uh, we got a super chat from Pirate Hunter, 3200. He said Carmelo Anthony. Who an AI match? No, no, I, I thought he was just asking who you'd have. Oh, who would I pair with Carmelo? Um, hmm. it needs to be a defensive oriented yeah. point guard, it has to be somebody who can set the table. So, GP, yeah. Gary, uh, Jason Kidd, Chris Paul, like those type of players, it can't be, it, it gotta be a table I, setter. The thing about team. Gary Payton, Gary Payton to put that battery in Carmelo Anthony back, he'll be that guy to make it clear to Carmelo Anthony, you just go. Don't worry about this dude. I'll deal with him. And I'm going to get my points, but you just go. I love Gary Payton with Carmelo Anthony. I know I know it's a I know it's a one-to-one thing here, but I'm going to give Carmelo um I was going to make a joke about my younger days. I won't. I'm going to give Carmelo some group love. Uh I'm going to put him on the Piston team that should have drafted him. Because that's where he should have been with Tone. Ben how many Wallace times we got to have this conversation? I don't how many care times about Larry Brown. Com- he would have wrecked him, Tone. I he would have wrecked him. Brown. How many times that I got to tell you been, that? Larry Brown would have been, wrecked Carmelo he Anthony. Been a significantly better player. No, he would not have. Brown. No, he would I not have. Larry, Larry we Brown. Now on phone and chill, people. Larry, <laughs> Larry, Larry Brown has 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 proven. He proved it the next year when they were in the Olympics. Do you know, Tone, for the people in the panel, do you guys know who played the least amount of minutes on that Olympic team? Carmelo Anthony, he played the least amount of minutes on that Olympic team. You so coach put the him, Olympic so, team differently. So, it's different. It's right. Different. The you do. It's different. You have you a absolutely team of superstars. Do. Correct. And, you, and and he didn't like his young players. In this Correct. particular case, with the Pistons, 
he would have understood, hey, this is my best scorer. I have to put him into positions to make the team successful. <clears throat> it's very different. Just think about it. In the Olympics, Shish- Coach Shashevsky told Kobe, hey, you better learn how to hit spot-up threes because you're going to get a bunch of them now. He never yeah. had that in the NBA. It's a completely different game. But with that, and with that being said, what you just said, the Detroit Pistons were a championship unit. Not only did Larry Brown not like younger players, Carmelo Anthony came into the league on a defensive-oriented team, very defensively flawed. So you're telling me he's stepping right into that lineup with the Detroit Pistons, and we're going to have him playing these amount of minutes. I think he would have wrecked him. Oh, he would have put him on that team. He would have eased him into the lineup. He would have started coming off the bench, getting buckets against the second unit. And those guys like Ben Wallace and Rashid and, and Rip and all those guys would have taught him how to play defense. Coming off the bench. And he would have been a significantly better all-around player. Well, Sheed, Sheed probably would not have been on the team. Because no, no, I'm will... assuming everything else gets done. I'm oh, assuming okay. everything else happens okay. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, a lot of people say KG. Honestly, I'll put KG with um, Tatum. Because Tatum, I do think he needs somebody to put the battery in his Oof. back. That would be crazy, Law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I All think, right, I so think I'm going to chill back this, back. this upcoming Thursday. You guys make sure to tap in. Amazing show. Back to the panel. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dive into these Super Chats some, a little yep. bit more. Uh, is there any other players that anybody wants to throw out there? No. no. I, actually, I have one more because the, the chat kept saying his name, so I, I have to throw him out there. Who's Dame's perfect match? James. Dame. James. I think that if Jane take Jay, take Kyrie off that crew and put Dame on there, I think they still together. Uh, I I do want to see Dame and Giannis. Uh, uh, I guess Damon and Embiid. That was the other person I thought of. So. Yeah, Damon and Embiid. I missed it. I missed it. Who was the Who was the player? Damian, Damian Lillard. Lillard. Oh, Damian Lillard. Ironically, we all chose current players, so. Uh, uh, just, I, I, I got to go back. Tayshaun Prince. Tayshaun Prince was a rookie, and he, had, he was in his second year, and he was getting minutes in his second oh. year. On You're the talking business. about Tayshaun okay. Prince, who Tayshaun played four Prince years played, at yeah, Kentucky. Right, yeah. So, yeah, young player. Young player. Not, not, not only did he play defense, right. he played four Damian years at Kentucky. Lillard, Damian, Damian, he was, no, it doesn't matter. He was his second year in the NBA. He played him. Uh, let's see, Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard. I think. Um... Did everybody hey, go already? Yeah, we went no. already. We went on you. Yeah. I'm. I'm trying to think. Uh, of, I'm trying to think of some old players. I'm well, trying to think of some old players. I mean, pa- Patrick, Patrick, Patrick Ewing was another one. I'd say Damian David Robinson. Yeah, let me. Yeah, let me say with Patrick Ewing. Yeah. yeah, there you go, Patrick Ewing. I like that. Pat Pat needed some help on the offense on on the perimeter, like desperately. He needs something to put pressure on the defense. Something desperate. Oh, I was thinking that way too, Morris. I was thinking David Robinson too, but oh, you know what? Maybe Tim Duncan. I I, I would like to see like him with Chris we- Chris Weber. Huh? Yeah, but they'd lose. They'd lose to the. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. They lose. <laughs> they lose. See I mean, Webb lose, lose see, the hood. See, they, he, he already losing. See Webb. See, see, yeah, see Webb calling fun. a timeout. When they don't have one. See, see what needs some defensive oriented players around him, though. Mm. All right, fellas. Uh, it we are close to the All Star break. It is this weekend. We won't have another show until after the All Star break. So I think today is fitting to do an All Star break player ranking. We'll get into that in a little bit. I thought we were gonna do All Star voting. All Star. Come on now. I mean, um, um, draft, draft. I mean, we could do that too. Mm, look at me coming up on the fly with these ideas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, uh, but back to these super chats. Lance Mansfield said, Chill hates Luca so much. Sad. Ain't never heard him say nothing positive. Man said he's the worst defender ever. Have you watched Luca play defense? <laughs> That's the all I'm asking you to do. Ever? Like- have you watched Luke? I, number one, I didn't say he's the worst defensive player ever. That's number one. Number two, have you watched Luca play did. defense? There, there is no effort, initial effort with Luca. You don't have to do anything extra crispy with him. Once you do one move, you get past him. He he makes zero effort to recover, and his transition defense is even worse. So if he runs up on a team that speeds the game up, 
All Luca wants to do is get back to the basketball. He's the classic example of a punch drunk boxer. I think I can hit you more than I can stop you from hitting me. I don't hate him. I hate guys who don't <clears throat> get peppered on the other side of the basketball. And you want me to talk about them being the best player in the game. That's what I hate. Look, chill. Even in the, even isn't in the that, chat right now, last, you see you see Gabe. Decade of your goat. You you can see Gabe right now in the no, chat right now. What's he he's saying? Trying to, He's trying to he's trying to big up like oh Luca was in the passing lanes last night he got a steal like if we got to point out <laughs> a, a steal <laughs> like come on bro. we know Luca Luca can't guard a brick talk about <laughs> Luca plays I believe Luca averages thirty eight minutes a night in thirty eight yeah, minutes. I think he averages something like 37 minutes. Okay, good. Yeah, 30, yeah. 37, 38, something like that. You do average 37. My 37 God. minutes a night. So if I'm out there that long, at some point, somebody, even if you aren't that defensive oriented, at some point, somebody's going to give me the ball. All I have to do is play token defense. 38 minutes a night, somebody's going to give me the ball. He should be a much better defender just off effort alone, and it's not there. And that's why I have a problem with him. And that's one of the main reasons why I don't think that they can win the NBA championship. Yeah, so, I don't. I don't know if anybody watched the uh, the Celtics play last night, um, but I actually got a chance to tune in. I didn't. I didn't get around to it till like the late third quarter, but I got to watch the Mavericks and the Celtics. Uh, they ended up losing to the Minnesota Timberwolves, but they were down by like twenty at one point. Twenty six. You said what? Twenty six. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy. But I watched them claw all the way back, and. Kyrie was going ballistic. Had like 24 in the fourth quarter. And then Luca came. He started doing his thing. I think they both had, I think Kyrie finished with 36. Luca finished with 33. Mm -hmm. But it was, it, it was, I'm not sold on him, but it's probably one of the best shows on Hardwood. No you talking, about, you talking about last night, the game that they lost? Yeah, they lost. Yeah. yeah. The game that they lost. <laughs> oh, okay. I was hey, I mean, I ain't going to hold you though. I, I got a hot take about that. What'd you say? I think I got a hot take about a Kyrie. I I genuinely believe, and I'm so serious when I say this. I genuinely believe what Kyrie's gonna is about to prove is that I think a lot of people aren't that into the idea of getting Kyrie from an end of, like obviously the off court issues, but from an individual standpoint, bro, there's so many players in the NBA that can score high volumes in today's league, and he just doesn't impact the game enough on any other aspect of basketball. Like defensively, you can get good effort, but you're not going to get like a great defender. He's not a great playmaker. And in the postseason, if he if he if it, if it doesn't translate with Luca, essentially his postseason career has been inconsistent beyond his years with LeBron. So it's like, what am what am I really getting with Kyrie in terms of a talent? Like, is it justifiable for me to like position myself to get Kyrie? It depending on especially depending on the team that I do or don't have because he's been on very talented teams. And it just hasn't like really translated so much. Like Kyrie left and Cam Thompson came in and just started putting up 40 point games. It's like, oh, we, those type of guards are just like so readily available nowadays. So, I, I, unfortunately, Low, I can't give you any pushback here. And the reason why I can't give you any pushback, because that's exactly how I feel about Kyrie Irving. He's buckets and he'll give you, he'll give you some effort on the defensive end initially. But then after that, you're going to get nothing. And then his effort in terms of him scoring, once he gets going, there aren't many who have that type of game where they can pour it on like that. The question is, is how much does it impact the game overall in terms of us winning? Do I have if, if I have to worry or if I have to concern myself with Kyrie Irving going for 26 in the fourth quarter in order for us to win, we got way bigger problems. Way bigger. That's facts. That's facts. I hear you guys, but boy. <clears throat> it looked amazing last night. That's all well, that was that was I, great. It, it, it looked amazing in a loss. Yes, uh, and, and a loss. Amazing and a loss. Okay. And I think, and I think, when it's all said and done, even though yes, Dallas got some cap flexibility, bro, I just don't. I don't think that's a that trade ain't gonna be it, bro. Well, that was that was spot on, bro. Spot on. I know. I learned that's it off of Basketball saying. Reference. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's 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 what I was gonna say, Lo. Since you get so much of your takes from Basketball Reference, it's like either I'm a hundred degree, a hundred percent agree with you, or a hundred percent disagree. This is one of the times I hundred percent. Agree with you, you know, because um, mm. sometimes you know. So it's do like, you believe? So do you believe then, Low? Since you brought it up, I know everyone's agreeing, but Low specifically, since you started it, that Dallas gave up a bunch for like a three-month rental, and they're going to regret this come come the summer. 
Semi, um, but I, I know they wanted cat flexibility. It's just the DFS move was, I think that's, as, I, as crazy as it sounds, I actually think the DFS move, I don't want to say this and people are going to be like, forget it, because Dub is going to clip it anyway. I think that DFS will end up being just as valuable for the Dallas Mavericks as Kyrie Irving will be, even though Kyrie earns less money. Wow. And – and in terms of long term, DFS would have been there on, on a, a much longer time than Kyrie would have been. Defend like defensively, that team is just not. It's just not going to be it. It's it's just not. But hello, Dub. Yeah, we got his ass. That clip's not going to go off. And and everything I said after it, there's not going to be in there at all. I just think I just think in the long term, bro. Like yes, it's great that they got somebody another ball handler alongside him, but like. Right after that trade happened, the Suns got Kevin Durant. So it's like, all right, so who, who's going to out-offense who? I think the Suns are just a more well-rounded offensive team anyway. And they have much more diversity on, on um, how they get their buckets. And defensively, they have way better players who can give you defensive effort. Like, yes, Luka and Kyrie will be masterful. But – and also, we keep it a being with ourselves, bro. When Luka goes off in the postseason the way that he does, bro, he's dominating the ball. He's dominating it. Straight dominating it. One thing no, to take. I'm just so. Is, I'm so. He, he I'm, alternated I'm, him on the floor. So Kyrie, when he got uh, that 24 in the fourth quarter, a majority of it came in the first six minutes before Luca came. So I mean, that's something that he can't play around with too. Kind of how. Uh, but if you can't, if you Hamm can't maximize with, uh, your, your two best players on the same floor with one another, then what are we doing? That's that's true. And you did you guys see the last possession? Yeah, they they got clamped in the last possession. Yes, yeah. they did. And they also in a situation in Dallas where we can't hide Luca, we can't hide Kyrie Irving because we don't have those pieces defensively to switch off of them. So an example would be like let's say the the, the ninety one Bulls. If Paxson is getting smoked by Isaiah Thomas, we can move Jordan over to him. We can move Scotty Pippen over to him. If Joe Dumas is getting cooked by Paxson, we can move these guys over. We don't. They don't have the necessary guys to move over. If somebody's going after Luca, which is the plan constantly. That's why I'm trying to make sense of the idea of a championship team where your best player is getting hunted and he's getting hunted constantly. I can't, I, I'm having a difficult time with that. Yeah. I, I'm there, gold, yeah. Golden State won chips and their best player was getting hunted, but I see what you're saying. Yeah, but they at least had a defen they have defense. They had, yeah, that's, that's, that's why I say. I see. That's yeah, why I said yeah. I see what you're saying. They had defenders yeah. around them. And add that to the fact, Tone, that Curry actually gave legit effort. And not only did he give initial oh, effort, wow. he gave secondary effort too. So you're saying Luca ain't giving none. If you watch Luca, he is a cone. <laughs> if you watch Luca, Luca doesn't give any. And, and, so in Luka, transition, Luka, it's worse. So Luca is a no effort cone, worst perimeter defender ever. If, James if, Harden. If, if you if you watch Luca, and it's even worse in transition. If you watch him when wow. when whether he turns the basketball over or there's a defensive rebound, he's one of the worst transition defensive players in the league. No question about that. And when he's one on one with whoever he's covering, number one, he won't get in the stands. Feet aren't moving, hands are not busy, and you don't have to do anything extracurricular with him because the initial move can get you past him because he will not recover. He will not make any effort to recover. Mm, he worse than Trey Young. It's negligence, is what it is. It's negligence. Nah, Trey. No, 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 no. It's not so. <clears throat> OG, he worse than Trey Young. Yes. I oh, yes. I okay. Clip yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, what, what I want you guys to do, what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to sit and watch Luca as a defender and see the effort that he gives. I'll watch and it. and and we, we all again. I can teach you how to slip screens. I can teach you how to slip blockouts. All of that good stuff. But at the end of the day, drop your ass, get your feet moving, get your hands busy. That's not happening with him at all. All he wants to do is get back to the basketball. That's it. And that's not a recipe for winning because that's going to be his legacy. We talk about this guy like he's the second coming of. Whoever it is, LeBron. we talk about him like that. So if we're going to talk about him like that, there has to be. I'm not asking you to be an all-world defender, but there has to be some effort on the defensive side of the basketball, and I see little to none. Is that is that the first episode, Ron, of the film room? We're going to break down Luca playing D. I would love to do that. 
I, I, I would Having love the whole to. video just like unloading on Luca's defense will be insane. <laughs> That'll be crazy. Coming next on Player's Choice, the film room. Oh man. Uh, by the way, everybody out there, um, we have about 1,600 people in here. If you're watching, you haven't liked it, pay that entry fee, like the video for us. By the way, we have a couple people on the way. Um, uh, uh, one of them is a KD lover, and he will come and give his takes on, well, what's going on surrounding KD, the Nets, and the Suns. Another oh, one, Dell. <laughs> another one swears every time he comes up here. It's one on five. He is currently occupied at the moment. I'll let you guys fill the lines in. I don't know. He, mm -hmm. he just said it's a very busy day for him. Yeah. Take it. <laughs> uh, Lance Manfield has been chiming in with Super Chats. He said, chill, I don't think you've ever seen Trey Young or Jalen Brunson play D. Oh, I've, seen, I, I've, I've, seen, I've seen Luca play D. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you haven't. You, know the, you, just said you, you just said you haven't. I've seen Luca attempt to play D. Let me rephrase that, Tom. He don't even no, attempt to no, do it, right? No, he don't even no, attempt to do it, right? No effort. No, you've seen him. You've seen his team I've, on I've, defense. I, I've seen. T I've seen Luca's team on defense. I've seen oh, him on the defense side of basketball. How about that? Yo, the thing, the difference between Luca too and Trey Young is that like Luca has the he's a, a big body. He could actually, you know, he actually has the ability. Like Trey Young is little. Like Trey Young's not stopping nobody from getting to the rim. Luca has the physical attributes to make it happen. He just chooses not to. So, that, if you ask me, that, that makes so, it worse. If you have the ability to do it and you decide not to do it, it's even worse. So since we're talking about defense, this, this will be the one thing that maybe gives Phoenix hope. Do you guys think Kevin Durant coming back off now another injury after the Ulster break? Because he was playing really good, obviously, offensively, but he was also playing really good defense mm -hmm. before he got hurt. Do you think mm -hmm. he comes back with that same defensive ferocity? Or, or do you think he's going to be not as good because of it coming off the injury now? Because that can make a difference, I think, for Phoenix for sure. I think the I think uh, maybe initially no, but in the playoffs, especially with um, what's my man coaching the team? I for, I'm, I'm Monty Williams. Monty, Monty Williams coaching Williams. the team. He's definitely going to get the best defensively out of everybody on that roster, including mm -hmm. KD. So initially, probably not, but by the time the playoffs roll around, I think he will. I think it depends because. The Nets just switched everything, and I think that benefited KD more than how Phoenix were probably going to try to play more straight up. A, because DeAndre Ayton isn't as mobile, and B, they just don't have the personnel to switch like Brooklyn did. So I think it's going to be an adjustment period for KD trying to play a different defensive scheme that may or may not benefit him. I don't know. But Why is that too, Moss? Go ahead. I'm sorry if I interrupted you. Um, the last part I was going to say, I just – I think if – I think K I don't think Katie's effort is going to be the problem. I just think him trying to adjust to playing defense differently is going to be, like I said, an adjustment. And why is that, Miles, when you talk about DeAndre Ayton not being as mobile? Because he looks like a superior athlete. He gets up and down the floor with the best of them, runs with the best of them, catches lobs. So that the, the the athleticism is clearly there. So why isn't he as mobile as he should be? As Claxon, though? Like, is that because that's why, I mean... We're we're essentially comparing the class. I think I think Aiton I think Aiton has um he's he's mobile up and down straight lines, but once you start making a move side to that side, I think, yeah, I think that's tricky. I think that's that's where he struggles, and I I don't think that's an indictment on him. I think that's a problem a lot of bigs have. The Nets just had a luxury of having Nicholas Claxton, Ben Simmons, these type of versatile oh, defenders. Stop. I mean, Ben Ben Simmons is versatile Stop. defensively. Stop. Whether or not we talk about everything else is neither here nor there, but. Defensively, the Nets just had a lot of personnel where they could switch things and be a lot more comfortable. And that's where KD, I think, thrives more than however I think they're going to try to use him in Phoenix. You know Simmons can't, he's coming off the bench now. Yeah, I see. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he, oh, he, 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 man, it's done. Is it, is it is time you just call him a bust? It's, it, he's a bust. That's, that's Shanghai that's Sharks. Here he comes. Oh, man. He's, that's a bust. Man, the dude is two years removed from being an all-league defender and an all-league performer. Two How years. How crazy Two is that? years. He didn't play last season, and this season he's just getting back acclimated. Now, I'm not sure that he wants to play basketball anymore, to be like, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure that he wants to play basketball anymore. Oh, but if he does... If he... <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Will you focus, Lo? Yo, my bad. <laughs> you focus, please, bro? My bad, my bad. <laughs> I forgot oh, what I was going to say. Yeah, <laughs> I, no. I got I got I got distracted with, with the real busty to me. Uh. 
All right, my man Eric Dupree, uh, he sent a few super chats in. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this first one. He said, Get the likes up. Also, Ooh. I want to ask low, fluent Ron, Bobby, and Chill a question What can KD do to be a top 10 player on the Suns after the Brooklyn Nets failure? Dad, mm-hmm. no Mars. I think he's asked me, I think he's asked this question on open gym before. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Nice cover. I heard, I heard, unless you don't, <laughs> don't want to ask me, Eric. Well, sure. What can you do? Is he top, top 10 player? all time or top 10? Because he's he's top 10 right now. No, top no, 10 all time. All time. Top 10. He would definitely have to win. Time. He needs to win a chip. He had to win a chip. Yeah. I mean, finals that, yeah. MVP. Yeah. At least one. I, I'm saying. Does the finals MVP matter? Now? No, not to me. Um, yes, not necessarily, but he, he has to perform like the best player on a winning team, which normally is the finals. MVP. He can't, he can't, if they win, if they win a chip, let's say this year, they win a chip mm-hmm. this year and Devin Booker's the best player on that team and he wins finals MVP. No, I don't, I don't think that elevates him. I think, yes, I think he has to, because he hasn't been able to stay healthy enough to be mm-hmm. in the MVP conversation for the regular season. So he has to get, get it in the finals. We, if, if the expectation is to move him into the top 10 all time, he has to be the best player on a championship team. Facts. Like Chris Paul, Chris Paul can't move up as the, if he's the fourth option, let's say on this Phoenix team, wherever you rank Chris Paul, he doesn't move up for winning a chip as the fourth option. He just you don't? doesn't. You shouldn't like, no, oh, absolutely not. He, mm. so, so, so he, you have to be at least, so, so for KD, again, to move up, because now you're talking about moving into that elite status, like top 10. There's probably, what, 14 guys that have a legit claim of being top 10. If he's going to cool. bump somebody else out, he can't be a secondary <laughs> guy on a championship team to move up. He, he's, he needs to be that, that number one guy to move up. No, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to take more. It's going to take a, a, a shit ton of work from Kevin Durant, in my personal opinion. And I don't think he has time left in his career to do it. Oh, I mean, wow. he's, he's he's. I mean, low. He's low. He's done it again. He's low, done how much it more? again. Last, See, now last this, these are the takes I was waiting for. These but look, are look, look, check check me out, low. Check, check me out. Yeah, I thought he, I thought he, I was gonna he, wait he till did, ticket he did it get one in time. here. He did it one time, and this this is kind of like on how how ticket feels about Bron. You know what I'm saying? How many times are you gonna run and duck and hide and duck fades? Are you gonna do this all your whole career? You ran you ran over there with with Steph. You 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 rode his coattail to a couple of championships. Then ran ran to, uh, to Brooklyn, couldn't get shit done over there. Now you look last year. This this team won sixty four wins wins last year. They won they won seventy three. The year he went to uh to the Warriors. Oh, yeah, Warriors now yeah. now he's doing this on sixty three. You got you you got to be kidding me! Like you want you still you still expect us to put this man top ten all time? Add that in, to the fact. In fairness, in fairness though, he didn't go to Phoenix. He was he was traded. Yeah, it's but he, like you he, know what happened. He he went, he, okay. he said he 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 was he you think he, you think he, he went to he went, that was basically free agency. That was basically free free agency. Yeah, but that not really because they like two no. very important pieces. They lost two very important pieces in the process. They lost Mikael Bridges and Cam Johnson. Like those are plus, very especially Mikael. Those are two very important pieces. Plus, we leave it Bob. Here we go. Here we go. Some more. Here we go. Here we go. Some more Kevin Durant excuses. Here we go, Bob. Yeah. I thought, thought well, Dale would have to be up here for this. Plus, plus we, plus we leaving out. The, plus we leaving out the fact that how many more years low you think KD has at this level? And before you answer that, he'll be thirty-five in September. I got three, three more years. I don't think he. I don't think he's going to last three more years at this oh, level. So I don't he, think he's so hold he can't up. make it to the top ten for neither one. Of no, Ch- not uh, chill, chill. J J J, are you saying Kevin Durant's superstar days are over? After oh, this year. Thoughts. I think he's got another year at this level. Two tops. That's as far as I'm going to go. Three, no. Mm-mm. So what if he's the second best player alongside D Book? If he's the second, if he's the second best player, in order for if if you think about guys in the top ten, for KD to get on, that gap that he had with the Brooklyn Nets, that's pretty glaring. Like there are guys who've had bad series or a, a bad instance. We're talking about a three and a half year gap where this was bad. How does he make up for, for KD that? though? For KD, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. I, I didn't even, I didn't even bring up how, I didn't even bring up how this, how the Celtics beat him with them, beat him with them broomsticks last year. A, a three and a half year get, we had a three and a half year stretch where they were completely inefficient, and and I don't think that there's any other top ten guy who's had anything like that for that period for that period of time. Three and a half years where they were that bad. 
I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not, I got told let's I not, yeah, let's to not, let's not do it. I got told not, I signed to this guy, so I'm not about to say who I am. Yeah, I'm not about to say who Because we did, there's definitely a player that comes to mind immediately. They definitely has that, that, uh, yeah, maybe, not, uh, maybe a little bit more than a three. Well, Chill, but Chill, that's, Chill, that's Chill doesn't have the person I'm thinking of top 10. And there's a guy who's number three on a lot of people's list. I was about to say, there's a guy that's There's a guy five. who's number three on a lot of people's list. And he had quite, he had Come a few on now. Three, but I three, what you say Mm, three I, and a half years. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I know. Season where he didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, so I, 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 know, I know a guy with six MVPs. You had a couple down years. Yeah, he had he had that he had that one year where they didn't make the playoffs. Two yeah, years two later, years. they went. What, two, he had that one year where they didn't make the playoffs. The yeah, next two years where he didn't two, make the playoffs. Two years later, they was in the Western Conference Championship, courtesy of him, and he won the league MVP that year. He had two years where he didn't make the playoffs. So with that being so, so, with that being said, and then two years later, he won. I believe he won the league MVP again. So. I mean, I'm thinking about that. I'm thinking about that kind of stretch where we're talking about being injured the entire season and did not play. Then again, missing half the season and getting bounced in the semifinals. And then last year, getting smoked in round one. They didn't lose. They got smoked in round one. Mm. Right? So, and then this year, this Brooklyn Nets team, he goes down with another injury, which is the same injury that he had the year before, which caused him to miss two months. So that three and a half year stretch, that's pretty difficult, man. I, I, look, I, 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 I just will just agree that it was a waste of time. It's a waste of time for a player who was already over 30, what, 32, 33. You wasting years like that in your career is pretty insane. That's, that's insane, especially when you can go into the postseason and still look healthy enough to perform at a, a relatively high level. It's insane for you to just waste years like that in your career. And I think that's, Without a doubt, what Kevin Durant will probably regret the most is that if this this high of his only lasts for another year or two, that he will basically have just wasted like three of his last five seasons on a team that just was never really serious. And, I, and so I, he, I'm I'm curious if he stays, if he stays in Golden State, which a lot of us I think agree he should have. Um, should have never even been there. Do you think does that that helps his legacy, right? Because they would have had success, significant success, I think. Yeah, because I think people would have. Or do we not? Still, all with Golden State. Like he stays, and they win instead of the two, two, and then they lost the one. So they win two more. So he's got four rings in like six years. Mm -hmm. Are we knocking him because he's in Golden State still? Are we? I or 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 is he? I say I say because he's probably the best player, arguably best or one A one B with Steph on that team. And because of what you just said, that's the reason why. It's because I think most people would have taught, convinced themselves that he was the best player on their team. That's why, and that's why they, it would have been it would have been way more favorable for him to stay there, without a doubt. They would have been. That's what's going to happen. They, 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 they Phoenix, gonna happen. Yeah, but Phoenix, but Phoenix people are going to go back and say KD was the best player I'm going to say. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, but Phoenix is different because it's Devin Booker, and no, no shot at D Book, but like I genuinely believe that. Um, Steph Curry was just more important and more impactful to that team's um, winning than Kevin Durant was. I, just, I genuinely just believe that. But people can convince themselves very easily that it was the other way around. And especially after they lost, he came in and he saved them. And it was already questions about that first championship that they won because it was LeBron with no Kyrie love. That, of course, that you can you can shift it in, in some type of way. This right here, you can't really shift it, bro. You just wasted three years of your career. Bro. So, but that's, I, I think, sorry, my phone... It broke up a little bit, but it sounded like someone, I think Mars said, that's what's going to happen in Phoenix. But if he stays in Golden State, he doesn't have that stretch in, in Brooklyn, right? So he doesn't have that knock on his resume. I mean, is it really a knock, though? Is it a knock to y'all that it failed in Brooklyn because of KD? Or? Yes, 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 because that's exactly why he went there. That team was built entirely around him and Kyrie Irving. From trading D'Angelo Russell... Kyrie Irving coming over there, trading Jared Allen, trading Karis LeVert to get James Harden, then trading James Harden to get Ben Simmons. That thing was built entirely around him and Irving. It was a ridiculous failure. I think I think last year was is a, a, a certainly a hit, but the whole three years, I don't know. They had one playoff run, and it failed against Boston. But I, no, I can't blame him for twenty. I can't blame him for twenty twenty one. Okay, that's Kyrie what I'm saying. Yeah, no, I can't. I can't blame him for twenty twenty one. It still failed, but I'm. I've, for me, they only had 2022 and they failed, but I can't blame him for the whole time. We can't do that, Morris, because then oh. we got to go back every time 
Every like every time somebody loses in the ser- in the in the series, they'd be like, "Oh, well, this person got hurt. That person got hurt." Giannis only. No, I'm just saying. I'm not going to blame that KD. I'm not blaming KD. Why do we do that? I'm not blaming KD for 2021 because Kyrie was hurt and James Harden's playing on one leg. I'm not blaming him for losing. I'm okay. Just, first of all, Mars, I'm not listening to that logic right there because the whole one leg thing. The reason why I'm not listening to that logic because he came into camp out of shape. That's why he was hurt. Okay, and this has been a this has been a reoccurring thing with That's James Harden. That's not years. KD's fault, though. And in fact, it is. You know why? Because no. you know why, Jay, You know why? Why was James Harden in Brooklyn? Because these guys lobbied to get him. The only reason why he was there because they asked for him. They bet right. James Harden didn't want to come to Brooklyn. I don't even think he wanted to come to Brooklyn. I think he wanted to be in Philadelphia from the beginning. I don't think he wanted to be there. So they lobbied for him, knowing. What this was, in fact, it was Kevin Durant who said, quote, I can't believe how out of shape he was. So for this guy to be that and for them to turn into what they turned into, this is what you asked for. You asked for him. And this is what it turned into. Because it turned into that, he's on the hook for that, too. James Harden got through that regular season pretty healthy. And then against Boston, he got hurt in a minute. Like I, I can't And why did he get hurt, Mars? I'm, I'm, bl- I'm, I'm not blaming KD Mars. for getting hurt a minute into game one of the Boston series. I'm not blaming him for that. I, Me personally, I can't blame him for that. If you want to blame him, more excuses right. for Kevin Durant. This is I, more I, just, I just... But Bob, and I was going to be clear, Bob, we, I, I do go back in history. And if somebody got hurt, I'm not going to blame... Right, I'm not gonna do that neither. I'm not, blam- I'm, I'm, I'm not blaming. I'm not blaming Kevin Durant series. because somebody got. I'm hurt. not gonna do that. I'm neither. saying no. that's a that's a part of basketball. It's a contact sport. People right. get hurt. Next man up. All right. So the the net the nets didn't didn't work because somebody put a hammy. Somebody somebody was spending too much time in the strip club. Whatever happened, they lost. <laughs> yeah, oh, I mean, I'm not, they I'm lost. I'm not, I'm not saying the loss doesn't count. I'm saying right. I'm not blaming KD. Right. Why he on the team? He the, he the star. The, the only thing that I'm thinking about, Moss, because on, 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 on a flip, that's, 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 I don't, I don't, I don't hold, 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 hold anyone to this. Unquote superstars. I don't hold anyone to this. I don't hold anyone to that standard. This, this, this is this is what I'm that's thinking. Insane. The that's reason why I'm saying that. that no, I'm not doing that. The reason why I'm saying that, Moss, because I because if I'm gonna do that, I got I got to do the same thing with James when Kyrie Irving got hurt, right? I got to do the same thing with James when when Kevin Love got hurt. You I got to do, do that. You got to do that with Kareem when Magic got hurt. Right. You, I gotta, you have to do that with everybody. Right. Like, I got to do that. It's valid. Like, no I, I, one I, blames I, Kareem for losing right. the '89. No one blames him. Nobody, nobody blames him. For no, that. Nobody. Because, and I think that's because Magic because Magic got hurt. However, exactly. right. How, however, James Harden did play though. Like Kyrie Irving was out of the lineup. Kevin 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 Love was out of the lineup. Right. James Harden was in the lineup. Magic Johnson played three of those four games, too. Actually, actually he played two. Or two or two and a half. But he lost we, them regardless, though. The third game. James, James Harden played, like, two games in that series. And we, we, we all he saw played him. Game. We, we he played he, game he seven. the same. We know. Yeah, he played game seven. We played game seven. I, I, game seven. I, I see what you're saying. Like, he, he was still out there playing. And I, right. I get that. There's a difference between out there playing and Kyrie and Kevin Love not playing. Yeah. I, I get that. Wait, you could actively tell that they just were not the same players. So I'm not going to blame somebody else because somebody dealt with an accident, regardless of what accident they dealt with. Especially if 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 the player that is in question played mm-hmm. amazing. It's not as if like Katie went out there and stunk it up against the Bucks. He y'all played. Not ta- y'all not tired. Y'all not tired yeah. of making excuses for these superstars. But if that's I, the case, I, Bob, 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 you, you call Bobby, excuse. You, I just call context. Bobby, if, you, if you're right. saying that, then you would have to go back. And do the same thing for Kareem. Are you gonna do the same thing for Kareem? Because if that's the case, then Kareem Kareem shouldn't be top three. Then if you if this this is the stance that we have it. I mean, we, we we can't do that because again, I got to do the same thing for Jordan because James Worthy and Byron Scott got hurt in that '91 Finals. So well, I, no, I, but I, that, I, that's that's a that's a knock on Magic's career now. If James Magic Worthy and Byron Scott got hurt, Magic, Magic just should have right. gotten it done. That's that's what Bob is saying. No, also, no, we're not. We're not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That that that's fine. If that's what I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. If if you don't get it done, you don't get it done. You on the team. You're, you're, you're supposed to be the superstar. Y'all supposed to be there to win. Somebody gets hurt. Well, he got hurt. I'm not finna go back and be like, man, yeah, they were gonna win, but blah blah blah. Tweaked his ankle. Nah, they lost. But we're not. Uh, we're so. not. No, we're not saying that. We're not. None of us here are saying Brooklyn were gonna win, but these guys got hurt. We're saying they lost. We accept they lost. I'm not blaming KD for them losing. No, That's what we're saying. I'm, bl- I'm, blaming, I'm blaming the team. He's on the team. So. I'm blaming Michael Jordan for 1990 loss against the Pistons. I'm just blaming. Hey, that's fine. I, I don't care about Scottie Pippen migraine. Don't care. Uh, migraine? That's you can't play because your head hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm just letting you know what happened. <laughs> I'm just letting you know what happened. 
happen. I'm letting you, you know what happened. You better pop an Avon and lay your ass down. Get up and let's go play some basketball. You say, you say what? that. Well, hold on. You say that, but they get these guys get held to that all the time. These guys get held to that standard I mean, all the time when when they, yeah. they don't have good teammates or someone's hurt. It happens all right. the time. Yeah, but I'm not. I'm, you say, I'm not. You say you, I'm not. You, you I'm not. Jordan, I'm not. You say you blame Jordan for eighty nine. Whatever ninety. You blame Jordan for ninety, but how many people? How many people? Uh, oh, he was one in nine before Pippen, right? Like the stupidest argument ever. People do that. People do that. I know, but I think, so people I think are going to blame argument as well. Yeah, the, yeah. A stupid uh, yeah, both sides can be dumb. Both sides yeah, yeah, can be dumb. Both sides can be dumb. Two things, two things can be right here. Yeah, yeah a, that, stupid, that, that, a, a counter to a stupid argument shouldn't be another stupid argument. Like they, they can just both be stupid arguments. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Stupid man. arguments, low. That's what you're saying. Well, we, we, if we're playing this game, it's a very dangerous game to play, man. It I'm is. saying, low. Everything, is. everything, everything isn't on paper. Everything isn't in in Sims and virtual reality and in in basketball reference and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> things happen. People get hurt. That's just part of it. We got to move on. If you can't play through it, your team loses, your team loses. You didn't win. There's no asterisk next. There's no asterisk, though. But we're not saying there's an asterisk. We're just saying that's not – I'm not knocking his legacy because his teammates got hurt. That's what I'm, I'm knocking saying. his legacy because he lost. Oh, man. So Kareem uh, can't be top three, I'm, I'm bro. Knocking, I'm he's, knocking, he's not. He's, got, he's I'm number knocking. one, bro. I'm How knocking his le- le- legacy because of how he won. I, I call it How is Kareem number one, bro? That don't make no sense. All them lot times he was losing. Well, I would like to explain that's to y'all, but that, unfortunately, but I do got to run. I know? get, I get that, I get that. But my my point is that part of the reason why he lost might have been because Magic got hurt in eighty one, or he wasn't one hundred percent, or Magic was hurt in eighty nine. So I'm not going to knock him for those losses. But all right, Bob. Well, his, all right, his, his 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 big ass should have stepped up with the with the sky hooks and got it done. Uh, <laughs> like, like Magic, like Magic did in nineteen eighty. Like and that's Magic that's why Magic that's why Magic is the point guy. That's why uh, Steph will never be above Magic. Magic stepped up, but exactly. Kareem didn't step up. Okay. Now, all right, y'all. Catch y'all next time. Be easy, hey, y'all, y'all make y'all make sure y'all tap in to chill with chill tomorrow at five Eastern. Damn, that mean Michael Jordan should have stepped up in '95, man. He should have, but he but you're not there, man. Y'all Facts. got me. <laughs> Facts. Oh, no, you good? Lord. Yeah, exactly. Lord. See, yeah, Ooh. yeah. All right, let me get off of this stream before I say something I don't mean. <laughs> all right, y'all. Hey, yeah. make sure you get her a steak dinner. All right. <laughs> oh man. So y'all know that boy like Ron I know he, he about he about to go spend three thousand on that girl. Hey, wow, Ron, you snitching on your man like that? That's crazy. Snitching and telling the truth, you, you know what? Never mind. No, no, nah, nah, that's crazy. There's no way you trying to. <laughs> there's no way you about to try to rationalize yeah, I, that. I, I, I mean, she probably got three bags already today. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. But on to the <sighs> next topic. We got a super chat from below underscore zero. He said, "I has I know this has nothing to do with the NBA." But who you got in the 2014 Kentucky Wildcats versus the 2019 Duke Blue Devils college basketball? Uh, if you guys don't remember those rosters. 2019 is Zion, Cam Reddish, and R.J. Barrett, right? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And 2014 is uh, Michael. John Wall. Michael, no, John Wall. No, John Wall was 2010. That's, that's Michael. I think that's Michael Kidd Gildress. I think that's Anthony Davis. Uh, no, no. AD is 2012. AD is 2012. AD is Anthony Davis is 2012. I'm sorry. So that means Michael Kidd. Man. I'm, I'm gonna tell you 2014. Cat, cat is on that 14. Cat, cat, cat. Okay. It, it's cat, the twins, uh, the Harrison twins, and then Devin Booker. Devin Booker. Uh, they have Willie Colley Stein, Trey and Lyles, Lyles. Uh, yeah, Tyler Ulis, Alex Poitras. So that, they they had a deep team. Remember that should that, that Kentucky team should have went undefeated that year. Mm-hmm. Calipari Calipari outcoached himself against Notre Dame. He should have stuck with going. He should have stuck with cat. Not only should he have stuck with Cat, he should have continued to run the offense through Cat. Instead, he did something completely different. Now he started to speed the game up, and they just started shooting the ball from outside, and they got they got thrown off the track. And that 2019 Duke team, I mean, didn't they lose to? Were they in a dog fight with Central Florida? The team with Tucker Fu in it, right? Yes, they was in a dog yeah. fight with Central Florida. No, that 2019 team was not better than that 2014. I'm about, team. To, no. I'm about to go with the, the Kentucky team. No, Mm-mm. side note, I was a huge fan of Tyler Ulysses in college. Um, not mm-hmm. that year because I don't think he got much PT that year, but the following year, the year where Jamal Murray was in college as well, I was a mm-hmm. huge fan of Tyler Ulysses. I thought he was going to be great coming into the league, but that didn't work out. Uh, my, my, my money's always on my summer camp, the University of Kentucky, no matter who, who the matchup is. Mm. 
Um, but I'm, I'm biased. I'm biased. I'm biased. Rick Pitino taught me how to shoot, so I'm biased to Kentucky all the time. Eduardo Garcia said, I heard Zion re-injured himself. He Bye. did. And yeah. Before we get into that, Aaron Miss Jones tapped in on a, on a subject as well. He said, yeah, Zion re-injured the hamstring. They were going to try and let him play two games before All-Star break, but while he was doing a three-on-three contact drill, he re-injured it. Now he's estimated to be out anywhere from four to five weeks. So Maybe more after All-Star can break. I, so, so, can, I give you four, sure. can I give you four letters for Z-I-O-N? Bust. B-U-S-T. B-U-S-T. Jeez. I'm not yeah, going to. I, I don't know. I don't know how he stays healthy. I'm me. I just I don't see it. But I hope he Listen, does. I, 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 never, I don't this. like players going out with injury. So. I've, I've said this a million times. I don't wish it on no one. But when he was coming out of the draft, and Chill can attest to this because he's heard me say it a million times, when you're overweight, when they tell you you don't know how to land a jump, they have to reteach you how to run so you don't injure yourself. There's too many things going on there, whether it's his feet, his knees, his hamstrings. It's all connected to bad, balanced footwork and weight. He's just – it's not something that's easily correctable. They literally have to pull him out of the league for a year and reteach him how to do everything to and, and lose the weight and then hope he stays healthy. It's just – it's unfortunate because it's injury – but he's just, yeah, I think he's he's not ever. And it's too bad because we've seen him in the times that he has played. He's ridiculous. He's just not going to get that chance. This is another dude that I'm I'm holding out hope that I could get five years of 60 games. I'm, I'm still because he's only That's 20. Was he great. was he 22? I think something like that, because I don't think he's going to hold up for 10 years. I do not. I don't think he's going to last that long. So I'm, I'm still holding out on hope that I can possibly get 55, 60 games out of him. If I could get 50, if I can get five years of 55, 60 games from him, I think that we're talking about a different Zion. But I'm not sure that that's going to happen. It's just hope because his second year in the league, he was healthy. Like he was just healthy. Like made the All Star team that year. Uh, I think but then, the- that, yeah, then he got hurt towards the end and ended up missing the whole of the next season. So it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't think it's. I want it to work because I want to see him, Brandon Ingram, and that Pelicans team. Put it together, but I don't know how you how he stays healthy at this point. It's like mm. and it's all lower body injuries, which is a bigger concern because everything seems to be connected. I, I, don't, I don't know, man. I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. So, what do you do if you're the Pelicans? Because right. even even if Zion's <clears throat> at, at the top of his game currently today, they still have a group of young guys that still need to continue to play together. I would assume for another season or two, go through playoff battles, be tried and tested. What do you do? Because Clearly, at this point, it's looking like Zion might not hold up. Well, Ron, they just maxed him out. So I'm about to that, say. Con- that, con- that contract isn't movable. There's not, mm. there's not, there's not a lot of teams that are, are lining up for Zion Williamson services simply because he can't stay healthy. So yeah. we basically mm. got to ride this out to see if we can get 55, 60 games out of him and manage him the best way we possibly can, like what the Clippers are doing with Kawhi Leonard. That's the best. That that that's the only no, other option. Right, you know what? I just I disagree with only because there's gonna be a GM that has a training staff that's gonna say, hey, it's the Pelicans' fault if we get him into our system with our guys. And mm. I think and I think that, that that contract is movable once. Once. If he gets he'll get moved to someone who, like I said, who thinks they have a really good training staff who can write the right doctors, the right whatever. And and I think they can I think they can move him because there's so much potential there. There's so much potential there that someone's mm-hmm. going to take a chance on it. I, I, I think they can. I think they can move it. Fair enough, but I think a they would have to move him off the idea of knowing that he's hurt, um, because like I don't think there's anybody who's going to sit there and take him. Well, he obviously going to pass a physical. The same thing we just had to deal with um, GP two with him like passing a physical. No, or not. he didn't so pass. They, a physical. They'll know. That's what I'm saying. GP two didn't fa- pass it. So I'm saying they the team would have to take him on knowing that he's already dealing with something. And fair enough, there might be a team that is delusional enough to like be like, I don't know. Didn't, on, on, didn't the Raptors? Didn't the Raptors do that with Kawhi? Bro- Brooklyn, if any team will do it, Brooklyn will do it. Bro- Brooklyn should have done it. And to answer the Kawhi, yes, but I think even when they did it with Kawhi, that team was so. This is our one and only swing because they were over the Demar Derozan era, and I think well, that if you don't think they were. No, I don't think. So. I, I think they knew. I think they knew they they had gotten as far as they could with him. 
That's I mean, being over the era. That, that's being over the era. But I, think, I think he might have been the only one. But you don't think New York? You don't think New York takes a swing? Tomato, tomato. I know, I know, I know. You you don't want us talking about your franchise, for one. I know you talk about the Raptors, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think a team like New York, a team, um, a team like New York that is like thirsty for some young quality talent players that can bring in some tickets, that can bring in some more eyes to them. And a team that's like just middle of the pack, that's just gaining a lot of quality complementary pieces. Yes, I you think, think that's that. Do you think Portland team. would do it? If they, if, if, if they want, if they want to move off a of Dame, yes, no. I think they would do. It. I think they no, would do it. Portland, Portland, not. Portland, with the, with the, with the Portland. history of injury that they've had, yeah, hell no. Portland, Portland makes they might, they, they might be traumatized, and they might think hell no. Fifth times the charm, fifth times the charm. No, Bill Walton, Bill Walton, yeah, Walton, that's Owen, 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 that's Owen, that's Owen, that's Owen, right. No, even even Sabonis, even Sabonis with the bad feet. That's no what way. They do. <laughs> but I also I also think that they'll get more. I think there's definitely way more suitors for Dame if he ever became available than Zion and maybe um Herb Jones. You know what I'm saying? Like I think you can get a better, more stable package. But the team I would I would actually think of is Chicago. If Chicago ever wants to blow that up, which I think they I think that should be in play. Like moving Levine for Zion and maybe a pick or two. Well, um, is 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 Lonzo gonna be back next year? No one knows. That's another. Going. That's another one where I don't because know. Lonzo, Lonzo, and Zion look good together. So if you move Zach Levine for Zion, that that's a that reunion in Chicago would look nice. Yeah, if healthy, if healthy. I mean, Zion Lonzo's is. An, I mean, yeah, Lonzo's, Lonzo's another one, man. Lonzo, and I, and I hate it because Lonzo actually worked himself into a, a more than adequate starting point guard in this association, and it just it's just not map. He's the reason him him, him getting hurt was the reason why I fell apart in in Chicago. Come on, he's stop, the, he's the, chill. No, no I'm not. not. Yes, it's it is. Not. He's the reason, it's yes, because it is. Demar Derozan the Mar- is the best player on that the, team. That's why. That, and not 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 and not only is because he's the best player on that team. It's because he's the primary ball handler. Also, the offense now runs through him with him now being a primary ball handler, with him now being a primary playmaker, with him doing all of these things, as opposed to now they don't have a defensive attack. They don't have a, a guy who's the head of their ahead of their defensive attack like Lonzo was. They don't have that now. So and now they don't have, and they don't have a primary ball handler. They don't have a guy to stretch the defense like Lonzo does. They don't have any of that. Instead, they got DeMar DeRozan now primarily handling the basketball, creating for everybody else. That's not going to work. If, if Lonzo was there, we're talking about a different Bulls team. Yeah, but if, uh, ironically enough, their defense has been okay this year. Offensively is where they've been egregious. They're one of the least um, shooting three-point on uh, three-point shooting teams right. in the association. They do not grab any offensive rebounds whatsoever. They don't even get to the free throw line. It's a lot of mid-range jump shot shooting right. between Vujovic and, and DeRozan. Mm-hmm. It's just not. It's just not enough. So I, I guess. So with that, with that being said, you said that they're a good defensive team. Lonzo makes them better because he's a better defensive guard. Yeah, but the, so but he's the, the, the head of the attack. So, like you just said, offensively, he makes them better offensively because he's a better passer. He's a better playmaker. So he makes them better. That doesn't mean that 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 that, that Demar Derozan isn't good. But the fact that they don't have their lead guard, who they basically were trying to build this thing around. That completely throws a monkey wrench in what the Chicago Bulls are trying to do. I'm gonna leave it at that, man. Cause I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I you're just, stuck I, on Demar Derozan. That's your problem. Though. And now, and now that, 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 no, that, that ain't that ain't my problem. That's Chicago's that's, that's problem. Issue. That's Chicago's problem right there. I can't, I can't, I can't get with Demar, bro. I just can't do it. It's just I didn't seen enough of Demar. I can't. I just can't do it. All right, y'all. On to some more super chats. Uh, since we're already on the topic. Aramis tapped in and he gave us some more clarification as to what's going on with Zion's contract. So he said his contract is he has to stay under 290 pounds. Jesus. He's around 280 to 275 right now. I believe his contract extension starts next year. They said they'd scale him to make sure he's under 2,090 pounds. And 2,000 so is crazy, Ron. 2,090 pounds? not down the floor at 2,000 pounds, Ron. It's 2, not happening. I said 290. No, no, no. You said 2,000. If I did 200,000, it seems like that. You did. No. He's, he's, I'm up 2,000 pounds. He's a monster I'm on the, the box. Though. I'm at the ranch. I'm at the ranch looking at a horse right now. It's about 2,500 pounds. I don't think. That's what I'm thinking. Right. I'm thinking. I'm thinking Zion at 2,000 pounds. He is hell on the box. I'll hell. Do it. That, I'll do it. Does he need to consider a sports change? Does he need to be on that racetrack? <laughs> I'm, I'm, no, I, I try to post them up. I try to post them up. <laughs> All right. So he, he has to be under 290 pounds. 
And so far, he's been under that. But if he exceeds the weight cap and doesn't play a certain number of games, he loses a lot of money. So the contract is incentive based. That's what it, how looks, that's what it sounds like. Y'all, y'all, y'all haven't been in, in like connected to the league. I just want to know how like how common is that? Like for them to put weight incentives in. I've heard specifically about certain players, but I, I don't know how it, common it's it common. It's it's not common because there's not a lot of players that have that. But mm-hmm. I believe Barkley had a, a stipulation. Yeah. I believe I know for a fact Oliver Miller had that mm-hmm. in his contract. So yep. there's it's 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 Tim Hardaway. Before. Tim Hardaway had it, and when he was in Miami, he had to play at 190. He was an extra half a million dollars incentive in his contract if he played at 190. Shaq had to play at three and a quarter when he was in Miami. So it's not specifically. I mean, it's it's not generally. It's not generally. Going on in the league, it's it's specific teams. When I, I know when Boris Dio also about. had another one too. Boris mm-hmm. Dio had another. Pat, um, Pat Riley in Miami does that yes. a lot, I believe. Yes, he, he does. Had a similar conversation with Kyle Lowry uh, when they traded when they got him. So, thick old boy. <laughs> Never mind. I'm sorry. We, we can move on. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving on. Angie Carr said, "I had a question, but it wasn't addressed." What is it? Yo, my bad, Angie. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, it's 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 a two thousand super chats over here. You see, y'all thought I was talking. Nah, about it's not two thousand. No, I, I you're just not getting late. to them. Angie, you didn't like your no, question. You didn't no. like your question. That's what it was. Like Angie, Angie, he's not. Angie, not he's not Angie me. got some good stuff There's too. Only one host as good as me that gets to every super chat. It's, just, it's, it's mm-hmm. tough. It's tough. We've been on, and she was all fluent and chill. She makes she 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 asks some good questions too. Yeah, Yo, can we get to Angie's question, man? Can we get to Angie? Thank you. My bad. So Angie chimed in. She said, in a more offensive-driven league like today, what would the record of the 96 Bulls be? Angie, do you double-text a lot? Just question. Just hit us on that the side. A, that, was a, that was a good question as well. You, no, no, you, it was just, a great you just ignored Angie's question. Wow, Ron. <laughs> wow. My bad, Angie. Um, what would they be? They would have a 60-65 win record. Well, they would they would be changing up their style of play because the triangle is outdated. So the triangle isn't working today like it like it did in 1996. So but I still think that they win close to 70 games because of the way they play defense. I about to say defense. The one thing that always yeah. blows me when I watch the Bulls is their defense. Their yeah, defense I, is actually very modernized. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I still think they win close to 70 yeah, games just because they play defense. I'm with you. They, they win 70 games because of their defense, but I think you're going to see more minutes and more threes mm-hmm. at a Kuk, Kukoc, Kerr, like those guys are going to get more mm-hmm. opp- more opportunities to shoot, um, which maybe makes them more dangerous. Do you guys still think Mike plays 82 games? With load management today? No, I don't think so. Mm-mm. Yeah, no, I don't I think did, so. Either. I didn't want to say that and then be cool to hear. Yeah. So no, to like he probably plays like 72, 75 games. Mm-hmm. The real question would be what would Pippen look like? In today's game, how wide open it is? Not a non three point shooting threat. He could hit the no, three. It wouldn't he matter. He'd be, to, he'd be driving to the basket and getting more open dunks with with no kind of real big men sitting there waiting for him. He would. But drive. there would be. It would be because there would be because you would have two non shooting bigs. Unless you're saying that Rodman, Rod, will Rodman be five? Rodman would play the coach? center. Yeah, Rodman, Rodman would play the, play the center. Okay. And then you would have Kukoc Kukoc and coach and Pippen at four. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Pippen will be heavily like predicated on who's around him. But if you put, and obviously I'm going to the extreme, if you put him on the Golden State Warriors and you remove somebody like Draymond, he does Draymond's job times 10. You're talking about the, the 96 Bulls, though. Yeah, well, yeah. you said what you're saying. You said what would he look like today? Yeah, I'm no, just, no, I'm, t- I'm talking about on the 96 Bulls, what would he look right. like today? That's what I'm saying, Ron. Draymond, Draymond, Draymond just caught straight for no reason. Yeah, for, Ron, I agree with him, though. Yeah, he even so do I, but... yeah, yeah. yeah I, I agree with you that he would look amazing in today's league with today's spacing. But on a team that we had to figure out what the front, the rest of the front court looks like, that's that was a question. But not on a not on a three point shooting team, Ron. I I know, Ron. Hey, the the Bulls aren't that bad though. When you put Kukoc in there, and when you put Steve Kerr in there, or mm-hmm. even Ron Harper, they're not. That's not terrible. Like, yeah. <sighs> Keep keep in mind, cool so, coach. Yes, Ron, Ron yeah, Harper. I'm, I'm living with Ron Harper shapers. So. Yeah, I'm I'm living with Ron Harper shooting threes as well. Cool coach. No, I agree with you. Cool coach, without a doubt. But Ron Harper, yeah, he can he can check those threes up for me. Randy Brown. <laughs> All right, Bubba Judge Bushler. Judge Bushler. 
Jump oh, your man. <laughs> Bubba G Cuts wants to know uh, who's your Valentine, OG? And I, if the shoe fits, put it on. Tie it up and wear it. In the words of Bobby Brown, she knows who she is. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Mark with the super chat, he said the only real Warriors fan is E40. The rest, 2015 bandwagoners, never heard of a Warriors fan before 2015. Uh, that's mm. crazy because I definitely heard of them. Me too. Yeah, they had two or three. They had two or three. The Warriors had a huge backing. They did. They did. We the We Believe Warriors probably brought some guys onto that bandwagon too. Mm -hmm. Is wow. that when you joined Mars? Huh? He wasn't, even born. He, wasn't uh, born. he wasn't born. He wasn't That's 2007, like, That's way before my time. He wasn't born, born then. Born. You might have went way before my time. Or, or something like I thought that. that was the year you were born, Mars. I wasn't sure. I, no, I, no. I, 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 was, I was born um, the year LeBron choked against Dallas. Oh, okay. So, yeah. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Reg came through with a super chat. Appreciate you. He said, today, Mars said LeBron's longevity puts him over MJ as the GOAT, which is crazy. Mars, what are your thoughts? What Mars, what are other things LeBron did better? Enlighten us. Reggie, did you Reggie, say wait, so, did you say that though? Oh my goodness, yes. Reggie. I'm so sick of you. Um, oh, you, I, you, you, you had LeBron as a goal. Sick. Yeah. I'm so sick um, of these dudes. I, Reggie I, I, Reggie I, never, I never said LeBron was a better player than Jordan, but even then I'll like, say, I will say No, it. even then LeBron's, LeBron's LeBron's a much football. better passer. He's a much Who's better passer. He's a much better playmaker. He's a much better finisher around the rim. I'm not going to say he's better again. I'm not going to say that. Uh, much better, much better passer, much better playmaker, much better finisher. At the hey, rim. Mars, let me pause. Can I pause you and ask you a question? Oh, when you say he's a much better finisher around the rim, um, what are you basing that on? The fact that I think LeBron is the best finisher around the rim to ever play basketball. So that would make Oh, you just think, up. okay. Well, I don't know. Mean, maybe, maybe, not better, maybe not better than Shaq, but I see what you're saying. No, Shaq's number two, but I give it to LeBron because LeBron can get to the rim from the outside more than Shaq can. Shaq, but you just said finisher though, like actually. Yeah, like, but, I'm, yeah, but when I'm, I'm talking about when I'm talking about finishing, I think the ability to get to the rim more easily and get to the rim in a more di in a variety of different ways and still finish at that high level and that clip. I'm so, so you think LeBron, LeBron could I'm get to Shaq. the rim better than Jordan? No, I said I'm not. That's why I said I'm not going to say he gets to the rim better. I made sure I've made that clear. Well, I thought I did. But I think he finishes at the rim better than anyone ever. I don't think he gets to the rim better than Jordan, but I think he finishes at the rim better than Jordan. Chill, do you agree with that, Chill? Those two things are two different things. No, no, Chill, do you agree that LeBron finishes at the basket better than MJ? I think Jordan is the best scorer in NBA history. That's not what I <laughs> He doesn't asked. even want to admit it. I, I, also, I also think that. I also think no, that. No, no, but that's not what I asked. Do you think he finishes at the basket better than MJ? No, I don't. Okay. I've seen I've seen Jay I've Thank seen Jay I've seen Jay throw it over too many big men. I've seen Jay finish in traffic the way he finishes. Um and I don't think it's it, it's not like it's it's like this. I, I think it's close. No, no, no. no. I think because LeBron is up there for sure. Because James gets to the rim. James, when, when James finishes at the rim with the best of them, he throws it over big men too. No, for sure. He finishes in traffic also. But Jay at 6'6", six, six, finishing in traffic with three guys hanging on him, throwing it over seven-footers regularly. Like, that's not something that he's only done once or twice. He's done that more than once, more than twice. So, um, no, I don't think James is a better finisher than, than George. So, 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 to be clear, I'm the only one who thinks LeBron's a better finisher than MJ. Yes. yes. And I, I think, think, and I think, I think, I think Shaq, I think Shaq is, I think Shaq is the best finisher of all time. I don't think I have LeBron number one, Shaq number mm -hmm. two. I have no idea who I have number three. Wow, you don't even have Jordan in your top. Nah. Wow. No, I, wow. I don't know because I'm not about to put Yanis top three, but Yanis is crazy. But LeBron and Shaq are number one and two, and I think. You can make. I, I, I think James. We got. We got. We got to start doing the air attacks, man. We got to start doing air attacks. I, I, I think James is a, is a top three finisher at the rim, no doubt about that. But I think Jay is the best at the rim. Just his ability to create shots, improvise, throw it over the top of guys. And, yeah, I think he's the best at the rim. We got to do an air attacks. Yeah, well, I'm not going to – I think LeBron's clearly the better passer, clearly right. the better playmaker. Yep. I think Jordan clearly? is the best. I've, what, how, what do you uh, – clearly? 
I'd, I'd fail to see an argument for why Jordan is a better passer or playmaker than LeBron. I never, so I never said clearly. he's a better one, but to say clearly... If some, means, something would something that clear to me even, means... Would, would, yeah, if I don't see the argument, close. if I don't see the argument for the reverse, I think it's clear. I don't see the argument for Jordan being a better passer or playmaker, so I think clearly LeBron is better. I don't know how the finishing is was blowing me. Because LeBron, yeah. especially in the early 2000s when it was like a much more packed lane, he would have years where he was barely... Barely sixty percent at the rim, so yeah. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with that. I can't, I can't. Yeah, well, especially, that's, especially that's, with Shaq, that's, that's just especially, with, especially with Shaq, Shaq I existing. I, I can't. Be on, I, can't, I want to be clear on Mars's definitions. So, <laughs> so, 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 Mars, your definition is if it's if it's one player over the other, even if it's like by point zero one. It's clearly because no, there's no, no argument. Well, no, that's, that's not the, what I said. No, no. Yeah, you no, said because no, if there's no, no argument for the other one, if there's yes. no argument, you said it's clearly. Yes. So what's the zero point? If something's zero point zero one, that would mean the other person clearly has an argument. If the gap is that tiny, some the other person would clearly have an argument. Well, I, I think the gap is. I tiny. think Steph Curry is clearly a better shooter than Ray Allen, even though Ray Allen, to most people, is number two. I don't think Ray Allen has an argument over Steph, so it's clear. Like. Does that, does that make so sense? you don't think there's an argument that for Jordan to be a better fit? Oh no, this is p- playmaking passing. Yeah, playmaking pass. yeah, play oh, passing. If you if you argued LeBron, okay. I mean Jordan's a better because you could than LeBron, you could make fine. an argument. You could make an argument. You could make an argument that Jordan wasn't put in a situation to be the playmaker and passer, and when they did, he clears LeBron. Huh? Oh, no, he does not. No, he does not. The other season that he played. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Then I would disagree. Then I would disagree with your argument. Hold on. When the ball was put, when the ball was put in his hand to be a playmaker, he averaged like almost just under nine assists a game. When the ball was put into his hand in in his first finals, he averaged over eleven assists a game. So when he was given the opportunity and given that responsibility, he excelled. So to say, there's no argument other than. Again, my argument being he just never really had the opportunity. I think there's then there's an argument, right? Well, I mean, wait a minute. If you, so, if you because I agree, if let's you, be clear. Let's be clear. I agree. Just this, sure. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. I agree that I believe LeBron is a better passer and a better playmaker. What I'm saying is when you use the word clearly, I say, well, there is an argument. It's that Jordan wasn't given the keys to drive that car. And the few times that he was, well, then there's an argument. Because Tone, that logic doesn't work. That he wasn't given that key. He wasn't given the keys. That's not true. Jordan averaged twenty three shots a game for his career. He had the ball in his hands the majority of the time in that Bulls offense, and he was creating shots for other people. Don't make it sound like all he was doing was just. All, he didn't have an opportunity to pass the basketball because he did. Tone. He wasn't. Uh, he I, wasn't facilitating. He wasn't. Offense. He wasn't initiating the, the offense. The, the or, triangle. Or his job wasn't to facilitate. His job was to score. And when the few times when they gave him the responsibility to facilitate, he did a great job. That's all I'm saying. It's a small sample size, and I sure. agree that LeBron is better. But to say there's no argument, I'm saying no. I think right. there's an argument. Yeah, it is. No, no doubt. I don't think. I, it, I, I, don't think it's I clear disagree stuff. with your argument. So I think it's still clear. Because you I can would, disagree I, all you want. It's, it's yeah, true I and factual. Because I could use the same argument when Steph Curry was under Mark Jackson and was a primary playmaker. He averaged eight assists, and in the 2017 Finals, he averaged nine. Does that mean he has yeah. an argument against LeBron as a passer and playmaker? No, that's no, it doesn't because LeBron is just clearly better to me. It's not just about assist numbers because LeBron's averaged 10 assists once. LeBron is still a top five passer to ever. I'm about to say, I'm about to say yeah, so to me, passing and right. playmaking is just not just about assists. If you wanted to make the argument just about assists, sure, go for it, but that's not how I judge it. So to the me, the finishing is what's killing me, Mars. The finishing, <laughs> I think LeBron is a better the, finisher. The fin, than the AJ. I don't no, know no, you, but you're but you're also you're saying that hey, LeBron hey, is Mars, the best not, finisher. That's you, crazy. He's one or not, two with Shaq. I'd give it to LeBron because I think him being able to get to the rim from the outside uh, gives him an edge. But if you want to say Shaq's number one, I'm never gonna argue with that. Do like, you do you knock do you knock LeBron? Twice. Do you knock LeBron's passing, ball handling, both or neither? For the turnovers. One more time, Tone, so, so I understand huh? that. Uh, I'm what, asking Mars, do you do you knock? Because I'm I'm asking to find out about the passing, right. really. But mm-hmm. do you do you knock his passing, his ball handling, both or neither, for all the turnovers? Um, all of the above. He gets turnovers from playmaking, from passing, from ball handling, from offensive fouls. He gets turnovers from all of them. That they will count. I don't, I don't get the question. He's saying he's saying do you knock him in contrast to Jordan because of, because um, of the kind of turnovers he no, had. No, no, I wasn't saying in contrast to Jordan. Oh, I was okay, trying, okay. You're I'm, saying I'm general. Trying okay. to, because 
I'm, I'm just trying to see if it's both or neither. Because if he says, oh, I knocked that to passing, well, then I'd be like, well, then that gap closes, right? So, okay, you're both. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I'd say I'd say both before I just said passing. But, Yo, and, and I got I got right, a question. Go, sorry, on top sorry of you. Lo, you can go back to being you can go back being outraged about the uh, the finishing to me. I don't, wait, so you your outrage your outrage. I mean, I mean, so serious. LeBron I think the, the, finishing in Shaq. The, the clear part that you're seeing about LeBron passing, I think it actually should be clear that Shaq is the best finisher. I just I just think that like if you if no you way. ask me if you ask me, I get a guaranteed shot at the rim. Who do I take? Give me Shaq. But I think all I'm saying is the ability LeBron has to be able to get to the rim at will from the outside and work his way in is why I'm valuing LeBron's finishing. If you just say you're getting a, you're getting a shot at the rim regardless how it gets there, give me Shaq because I think Shaq finishes for the volume. But well, Mars, those two things are two different one. things because Wait, when you I... think – the, the reason why those are two different things because we're talking about a guy getting to the rim and we're talking about a guy finishing at the rim. Now, him yeah. getting to the rim, he is one – he is unstoppable. Now, as opposed to – Finishing at the rim. When you're talking about a guy throwing it over the top of guys, playing in traffic, playing through fouls, um, not just playing through fouls, not just playing, not just playing in traffic, whether he's in the open floor. We're talking about a guy in LeBron James. Is he a better finisher than Jordan when he's doing all of that stuff? That's the question. Not just him getting to the rim. Because those two things are two different things. Okay, so what so what you guys are saying is your argument one, is one, getting once to the rim. once once they're both there, once they're both at the rim. Shaq is better at finishing than LeBron. Without That's what you guys say. I'm not arguing with that. I'm not. Okay. Arguing. Right. But you, but you, and but once, your argument of like how but the LeBron reason is I have LeBron over win. Shaq is because of yeah. If well, if you disagree with that, then right. finishing, you, wait, getting, wait, wait, wait. putting the ball up at the rim, Shaq is the best ever. Okay, there we go. That's I finishing. But yeah, that, okay, so are we happy now? So are we yeah, happy but now? no, but, but I want to be clear because before you separated getting to the rim and finishing at the rim, you separated that because you mm -hmm. was about to say LeBron, uh no, I actually think Michael is just as good as LeBron at getting at the rim. So you yes. separated getting at the rim and finishing at the rim, but now it's like you're putting it in together to make the argument for why LeBron is over Shaq at finishing because he can get to the rim from the perimeter. So now you're combining it to make the argument for why he's over Shaq. That's, that's which my also point. which also doesn't work. I can, work see, I can when, see. I can see how that's inconsistent. So. Which exactly? I because, got him. <laughs> Body bag. <laughs> Body bag. Yo, I'm I mean, bad. yeah. If I'm in, if I'm inconsistent, I'm not like yeah, I'm, not yeah, just gonna, yeah, I'm not just gonna stand on something for the sake of just standing on it. Like, yeah, right. he's inconsistent. I got yeah, it. Yeah. Okay. Shaq. So Shaq, Shaq's the best finisher. I still yes, think LeBron's Shaq, the Shaq is the best finisher. Shaq's the best finisher all the time. Shaq I, is I, I think it's Jay, but oh man, yeah, I, not, I, 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 I agree. It, I agree with you, Chill, and everyone in the chat who has no opinion, shut the fuck up. Yeah, keep going. Oh wow. Jesus. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> wow. Wow. Reggie, the one who started this, Reggie Reg. All right, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read one more Super Chat, and then we're going to either do our current player rankings mm -hmm. all, at the All-Star break, or we're going to draft All-Stars, depending on what you guys want to do. Mm -hmm. Chat. Also, I do think MJ's a better finisher than LeBron. That's yeah, I'm never. I'm not gonna give that one up. But I'll yeah. give Shaq. <laughs> Shaq should one. LeBron and Shaq were one and two anyway. So I don't mind conceding that. Was, LeBron gonna... was LeBron. LeBron was in the '60s yeah. in the early 2000s when the paint was packed. He got. He he only started getting to the '70s when the lane was wide open. I can't. I can't get that to LeBron. Great finisher though. I mean, we don't even have Jordan's percentages. You think you think he was barely sixty percent? No, I'm saying we don't. I'm just, I'm just, so I'm, I'm not this. I'm but, just, but do you think he was barely? Eyes. But do you think he was barely sixty percent? I highly doubt it. Okay. okay. I just, it's about damn time. Came with a super chat. He said, out of all these players, which one was overrated and which ones were underrated? Luca, Zion, Ja, Trey, Tatum, Joker, LeBron, Katie, Melo. And Wade, um, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna name a, name one of these players, and you guys are gonna tell me whether they're underrated or overrated. But before I do that, come on in, hey there man, y'all lucky, there hey y'all y'all some lucky y'all some lucky dudes, y'all lucky. I got ladies to take care of, y'all lucky, y'all lucky. I got go. let me tell you something. Let me tell you, hey, I'm gonna tell you something, low, hey low. I got heat for you, Lo. You sad, bro. Oh, you what? real sad, Lo. You run around here disrespecting Kobe Bryant name to boost up Jokic and your little son Mars running behind you? All right, cool. I got I got oh, heat for you. Don't worry. I'm going to double up on your block later on this week. And, Ron, like I said before, you tell these boys, we ain't running from no smoke. 
Ticket TV versus the world is coming back with a vengeance, baby. Believe that. Ron been out the country, so it ain't been my fault. I'm looking for all kind of smoke. And chill town. I know your boy Fluent is running around here with a bad mama jamma. You tell him I, I got some heat for him, too, for that little disrespect he put towards Kyrie Irving last week. We're going to talk about that. So, oh yeah, go ahead. My bad. He's a crazy promo plug. Yo, what would I say? Oh, yeah, we in, in, in um 98. In 98, MJ shot 64%, zero to three feet. And that in was an older J. That, that was a J. He, he, he was just Jordan. That wasn't Air Jordan. That wasn't the dude who was throwing it over the top he, of the guys anymore. That yeah, wasn't the dude who was skipping yeah, in the even, lane. Even, even, I, in I, Wash, even in Washington, he was shooting 61, 60, yeah. 61%. That LeBron, was an older J. LeBron has years in his um, – let me tell I said mm -hmm. barely 60, but let me take that back for LeBron. LeBron has years, even in his, his better seasons, where it's like um, high 60s or low 70s. I just think that Le I think Jordan would have been if Le if Jordan in '98 can still do 64. There's no way I think that Jordan at his well, if, at his best athletically can't do like well into the 75s. I just, well, I just well, don't believe that. well, Mars, if you go not Mars, if Lo, if you go back to like let's say '87 where they don't even they didn't calculate these numbers. I mean, Jay was averaging 37 a game and he was shooting 50 percent, and his his mid range wasn't even there yet. It was just yeah. it was respectable. So he was still getting to not only getting to the rim, he still was throwing it over the top of God. I'm willing to bet that Jay hit. I'm willing to bet that during that time in 87, at 87 alone, he was shooting, he was shooting in the mid 70s, maybe even 80 percent at the rim. I wouldn't be 80 percent. Yeah, I, I'm gonna 80 percent is that. Yeah, I know, I know, I, I had to start 88, but I, well, I think, I think, think, I think, I think, figure, figure this out. I think we got guys today that's shooting like. I think Jason, I think Lucas shooting something like 67, close to 70% at the rim no, today. He, he, he might shoot higher. He I mean, so he's, so, he so he's shooting higher and he's shooting and he's shooting higher than that. Jay at that time, he didn't even have a mid, his, his mid range game wasn't what it was three years later. And Jay was getting to the rim with the best of them. And he was averaging 37 a game. Where do you think the points was coming from? No, no, I definitely, no, I, I, I'm, we're not, I don't think we disagree yeah, we with you. With the, I just, I just, 80% is kind of. 80 80 percent is kind of out there, but I think I think it's definitely high 70s without it. I think it's yeah, I wouldn't be smart to high 70s without it. Mars, is this what you were saying that Jordan is a better driver and Shaq's a better finisher under the basket? But when you put it together, LeBron tops both of them pretty much. But I'm, I'm gonna just say Shaq's the best finisher of all time. Yeah, exactly. I go, I go cooked, I go cooked. Shaq's yeah, the best, you, did, Shaq's you, the best did finisher cooked. you got cooked. I'm happy you said that. You yeah, that's cool. I mean, everyone takes it over at some point, so hey. <laughs> You too, you too low. Don't act like you don't. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, sir. All right, y'all. I'm going to mention a player, and you guys let me know if they're underrated or overrated. We're going to start with Luka Doncic. Overrated. Properly rated. you got to pick one. That's not an option. You are, you are, you are. Overrated. Overrated. Underrated. Take it. Tone, you think he did talk? Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. This is why I'm here right here, man. Oh, that's you, Fluent? Oh, that's I got something for your ass, Fluent. Don't you worry, Fluent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll see you and you and your minion Tuna in the chat. Yeah, we'll hey, hey, Fluent, we'll don't worry. Got. Hey, Fluent. We'll hey, Fluent, don't, you, you just make sure you have a good night tonight. Valentine's Day. Oh, make I'm sure you have a good night. I've already had a great day. Yeah, you make sure you have one of those Greek nights tonight. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to come. I got, something for you. I got something for you next week. I'm going to let you breathe this week. Like John Moran said, I'm going to let you breathe. I got something for you next week. Hey, um. Y'all sad, man. Y'all know Luka Doncic is underrated, man. This dude been doing this since he a kid, man. Leading teams to championships, leading teams, doing it, getting it done. I mean, the path he's on right now, I mean, bro, the only thing he got left to do is, is what? Win the MVP and win the championship. He's after pretty after much that done. setup, you're going to agree with me? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was going to disagree. I ain't talking about you. I'm talking about Chill Town and them. I'm talking oh, about yeah, Chill. Yeah. This man saying he was underrated. I I'm talking about you for something you said last week about Kyrie. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mars, is he overrated or underrated? Overrated. All right, next we got Zion Williamson. Overrated. 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 He underrated. He, he underrated. They saying overrated because he's hurt. He's underrated. Nah, he's I've underrated. had this opinion. For ain't, that, ain't that part of it, though, Ticket? I, I, I've, I've, I've had this no, opinion no, for no, a very no, long time. No, no, I'm saying, no, no. I'm saying. He's he's underrated because they really still don't really talk about him like that. Like yeah. when we talk about the best players, we talk about Giannis, we talk about Jokic, we talk about uh and B guys like that. They don't even talk about about Zion. But if Zion's he's playing, playing ticket, he's, he's, ticket, he's, he's, he's not, not overrated. He's not, he's not hold overrated. on, wait, 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 <laughs> ticket, ticket. Do you not remember before the season we did a draft of players? I think under twenty five, under twenty four. Zion was like the first pick. 
No, I'm talking that's about when we talk about the, No, that's I'm saying overrated. when we talking, No, no, I'm saying when we talking about the best players in the world, I'm saying I think he should be up there as far as like the top ten to fifteen players. I mean, not, not, if, he can't be on, not if he can't be on the court. He's, he well, no, no, be. when he's on the court, when he's on the court, they were one of the best. Well, they was the best team in the West. But when this season. No, that's what I'm saying. When he's on the court, he's they, not they, on the court enough. So they were second. That's correct. But yeah, yeah. Well, so what I'm saying, no, they went up to first. So no, all, so all I'm saying is, is that mm-hmm. he, he and he was putting up what 27 and eight, 27 and nine. So I'm just, I'm just saying, the dude is when he's playing, he's un, can't nobody in the league stop him. Right. And, yeah. And when, he, I, and we, you know we, we all agree with do. that. We all agree with that. We all agree mm-hmm. with that. Right. So that, what I'm saying is his effect on the game when he's playing. His team was number one without him. His team had lost what eight, nine straight games without him for that stretch. But that's the difference, though, Ticket. Because if you're not available, I can't. I can't have you at the. This isn't the best but show. You still, but, but you still rank LeBron and AD up there. They ain't hard halfway available. I don't. I, I don't. I'm about to say I do not I don't. put AD. No, in I don't. Conversation. You never. Heard, you never heard me. You, you have you, not heard me say that James is the best player in the game today. No, I said y'all have the rate. The, no, no, y'all have the rate. Of, not y'all right. rate. Okay, not you, low, but y'all rate LeBron James in the top ten right now. <laughs> you know I don't. What I'm you rate LeBron James in the top ten right now. I, I, knock, I knock LeBron, AD, and KD. For no, no, no. I'm not fluent. I'm not fluent. I only got smoke with you on Kyrie. I pretty much agree with you. I pretty much agree with you on everything else. All right, we cool. We cool. I'm talking about Chill Town. I'm talking about Chill Town. I'm talking about Chill Town. Who's upset? I'm talking about Chill Town. Who's upset to argue with his boy to call out his boy for taking a vacation when the Lakers made all them damn trades. His boy he took a vacation to out here at the Super Bowl, out here acting a damn fool right around here he with real life. Go to got no kind of heart to call that. this dude out and be a man. That. Wait a minute. Hold on. First and foremost, I was on your block two days ago. Two days ago, I was on your block. And what did I say? So don't say I didn't call him out. Because yes, I did. And I asked the question. The MRI came back clean. No broken bones, no torn ligaments. So the question is very simple. Can you go? Yes or no? And if you can't go, why not? Did I not say that when I was on your block two days ago? Yes, I did. So don't say well, that. I'm going to say this to you. I'm going to say this. Hold on. I'm going to say this to you. I'm, I'm going to say this to you. Hold on. I'm going to say this to you. You put you make videos about everything else, Chill Town, but you ain't made no video about that. You make videos. You will sit up there and make a video about everything good about LeBron James. But when it comes to something bad, you and might say something bad. And every time I talk ain't... to you, you no, 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 all you no, no, talk no, about is something bad not, about him. That's what you do. And what you do is you mask it as the truth. You are not going to make a video. You, hey, hey, Dale, see, that's the problem with these cats. He won't make a video cremating LeBron James for cheating the system. He won't cremate LeBron James yeah. for quitting on the, for quitting on the season. The, these dudes, hold on. Jesus. These dudes got a few games left. This man took a vacation. This man running around here with he real live folks. That. He did he that, in my, he did that in Miami, This man been, part, he did he been partying. Too. Hey, look, and I'm going to tell you the sad part. Ever since he scored 36, he's taken the rest of the whole season off since then. That's sad, bro. And, and, and you... You chill town. Just a grand I'm on record. First of all, I'm on record. Stop. Hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, Stop right there. I'm on record saying if he didn't get 36 against Oklahoma City, he would have played against Milwaukee. No question about it. He would have absolutely played against Milwaukee if he didn't get 36. This foot injury, whatever it is, they are managing it. How are they managing it? I don't know. Is he able to go? I want to get a satisfactory answer on that. Why hasn't well, he played? You, However, you, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. However, with that all being said, everything you say about him, you say it's the truth. All on you accept it's bad. When I talk about him, when I also bring up the truth, it's bad. But I also bring up good stuff about him, too. You, on the other hand, everything you say about him is bad. Don't talk everything about, about him. Hold on, hold on. Him. Chill town. Everything about him is bad. Hey, and look, don't ask me. Chill town. Don't ask me. Ask AD why he sat down on that ass when he broke the record. Oh, and by the way, ask Pat. This is unbelievable. The, 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 stuff going on over there. It ain't even, he out. said, it's, it's real personal stuff. So he like I out. said before, and AD shut out. down his account today, his social media accounts today. Now, you tell me, after his, after they lost that game last night, he ain't been rocking with LeBron. You know why? Because your boy is selfish. That's why. Now he's selfish. Unbelievable. At least I'm a, here's the, here's the thing about you, Ticket. You are completely and utterly subjective. There is no objectivity when it comes to James with you. Zero. At least I'm objective. I'll say bad stuff about him when it's warranted. You, on the other hand, all you have to say about him is something bad. Nothing else good. 
That's hey, not my opinion. Well, well, this is the you last thing it. I'm gonna say to you. This is the last thing I'm gonna say to you. I, I got all I got to ask you. All I got to ask you, Low, Mars, Dell, and Fluent is two questions. Would Kobe be playing right now? Would Mike be playing right now? Now, so whenever we talk about levels, sit down never and shut the nothing, hell up. Never, That's never the reason why I put them other people Never say nothing level. bad about Jerry. Jerry. Never ever say nothing bad about well, Jerry. Ever. Speaking, he wouldn't be because he would be out of the league right now. But never say nothing bad about Jerry. No, don't do that, Lo. No, no you don't stop. do that, Lo. Yeah, yes, he will be. Yes, he will be playing right now, Michael. Jordan. You already know. Both of them be playing. Larry will be playing. Isaiah will be playing. All of if them dudes are a few games out of the playoffs, trying to fight. It's the only dude that will take a vacation. But guess what? He will sit up there and say what he said about Zion. But I guarantee you, this fool still got LeBron James in his top ten right now in the NBA. All right, and wait, let's let's see. Hey, uh, Ron, can you ask us if LeBron is over or underrated? Let's do that. Is LeBron James overrated or underrated? Depending right. on where you have him. Depending on where you have him. Chill, God, you can't. Do I told that. you. Chill. No, what I told you, Low. What I told you. So, 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 so it's a yes or no question. Is that what you're saying, Low? Yeah, it's, it's been yes. No, this entire time. No problem. Time. He's overrated. Overrated. Mars. Wait, now or what time? No, no now. now. Oh, overrated. Yes. Low. Overrated. Dale. We talking about Bron? Yeah. Yes, right, right now. now. Today. Oh, he's underrated. Mm. Yeah, you said that. Damn, man. Damn, I was rocking with you for months, boy. I'm mad at you about this. Nah, no, it, no, it's. I'm sorry. I don't care what narrative y'all try to spin. And it's no way in hell I would ever sit here and say LeBron James is overrated at 38, 20 years in. All the context of everything, no matter what y'all could say or believe, it's no way in hell. Y'all could sit here and tell me that LeBron James right now is overrated. Well, if I told you he's a top three player in the game, is he overrated or underrated? He's right where he needs to be because I still so think he is a top three. Dale, shut it down, Dale. <laughs> shut it down, Dale. That's oh, Dale, you think, Dale, wait, Dale, you think he's still a top three player right now? He's not I a top three if, player. If in someone's the league, walking up to me and say LeBron to them is top three in the NBA, I'm not arguing with them. No, but I'm, I'm asking, asking you. That. But do you agree? Oh. But do you agree with them? Do you think oh, he's a top three player today? Is he over? No, if he's, I, if he, I have, I, I'm, I'm walking up to you, Dale, right now, and I'm telling you, I think LeBron James is a top three player in the NBA. Am I overrating him or am I underrating him? I would say I could name three better. Me personally. So he's overrated I'm then? Overrated. I'm, no, 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 no. I'm not arguing with you because you think he's top three, though. That's how my stance because I believe it's – it. okay, this is my thing. It's no three players that's so – doing so amazingly better than what LeBron James is doing. That's that's my whole point. Giannis, 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 Jokic, no. and Luka. And that's crazy. Put that in your pipe and smoke. That's it. crazy. I, I, I'm, I'm honestly – Hold on, Giannis not? Yeah, hold on, Giannis is top two in what? Scoring and rebounding? He, he yeah, leading the league in rebounding. Ticket, he leading the league in rebounding. You don't even have to do all of that, Ticket. You don't even have to do all of that. Giannis the best player on the planet, period. That's a fact. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, not that. KD, though. KD. You got, got, got I, don't, KD I don't agree with that. I don't agree I put with KD that. In that's there. not what we're talking about. It is. Like, that's literally what we're talking about. If a person on a, they could have arguments for LeBron James. His arguments could be made by people to say LeBron James is top three to five player in the NBA right now. And that's what that's why he cannot be labeled overrated. What are we basing that on? What are we so basing? If I made an argument. So if, if I made an argument player, that RJ yeah. Baird is the best player in the world, and I can make my argument, that's fine. No, he don't have nothing to back him up. Braun has things to back him up. He has stats. He has do. He has twenty years in. He has averages thirty. We're talking about no, no. We're talking about today. But twenty, 20, 20 years in about, does we, not help. We're talking, talking about today. No, we're talking about the twenty two, twenty three season. Thirty seven and seven in year twenty. That helps him. I don't care what you try to admit. That helps him. So Jason Tatum has an argument to be the number one player. Yes, if people think JT is the best player in the league, that's your opinion. Fine, because he has a side. You can't bring up RJ Barrick like 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 that's gross. So so you could argue. So you're saying it is like ten players. Oh, who can I, make I'm an saying argument. it's about seven. It's, it's it's about seven players that could fluctuate from people saying I have them top five to top seven. These out of these five, top five, they could be labeled the best player in the world. You have Giannis. You have Joker. You have Luca. You have KD. You have Braun. You have Steph. You have JT mm -hmm. and and Embiid 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 Kawhi Lord, Damian said, Lillard. Kawhi, no, I'm not doing Kawhi. I'm sorry. <laughs> How? How we stop Kawhi? I'm not there with Kawhi. How we going to stop the Kawhi? I'm not there with Kawhi. I'm sorry. I'm just like, How we going to stop the Kawhi? How we going to stop the Kawhi? Nope, nope, nope. I'm not there with Kawhi. Wow. I'm not. But I can make an argument for it. 
That's why I said it depends on, it okay. depends on where you got him at. He's, he's, Kawhi's not on my list there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, I'm so sorry. then, all right, all right, whatever. Kawhi load management, Leonard, I can't do it. I can't he, do it. LeBron is load managing right now. And, and this is the thing with, 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 with what? Okay, LeBron is load managing in year 20. Man, if he with didn't break, if he didn't break Kareem's record, yeah, he would be playing, man. He would have been playing, no, bro. Yeah, you sad, bro. Yeah, the playing. man took a week no, off. No, the man, no, the man, no, the man, the man took a week off. Man took a week off. I must know. I, I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. I don't think LeBron. I don't think LeBron in this year right now. Honestly, I don't think he get the credit he deserves. I swear no, to God. No, he gets it. I'm not saying he no. Mom says he does. Didn't, if he if yeah, he if he didn't yeah, break the man record, took a week off after, break the after breaking the record. He I'm gonna say, if, he, if, if, if he didn't break the record, he would he been playing against Milwaukee. Let's just keep it a big. That's fair. Absolutely. He he would have played against Milwaukee. Not 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 only that. Hold on, Dale. Hold on. Let me let me let me explain something. Let me explain something. And this is how I grew up, and I totally agree with all of y'all. Right? Kawhi would play a game, and then he would sit out. This Kawhi hasn't been inconsistent in his approach of playing basketball games since since his that year he took a stint from the Spurs and yeah. whatever. So let's to Kawhi. Uh, let KD KD's hurt his foot hurt. He got out with the MCL sprain. I watch a workout video just from watching the workout. You know it ain't full contact, none of the stuff. Just from watching him attack and playing that video, how how I view basketball, it looks like he could play, but he's not coming back until off after All Star break. Right. So, so for every no, oh, yeah, you a liar. You hold on, you a liar. He gonna come back in the next game so that we don't fry his ass when he played during All Star game. See, this type of fraud. He's not playing. 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 He's not I'm talking about no, I'm telling Dale, Dale. This is why I'm saying Dale on fraud. LeBron is gonna play in the All Star game, but but no one said he what. I'm not okay. Hold on, okay. But I'm saying, hold on, Dale. But Dale, you 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 saying you saying that we tripping because we saying this dude's overrated. But this I'm man broke the record. No, 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 hold no, on, no, Dale. No, he broke the record. Hey, Dale, Dale, hold on, Dale. No, wait, wait. He no, broke, I just want Dale. you to make the argument to he, the right statement. That's no, all no, I'm no, trying Dale. to do. He, Dale, he broke the record, and then the teammate he bought over there sat down on that ass and said that he was mad because they was losing. Because you know okay, why? That dude question. was okay. focusing on himself. Hold on, okay. Dale. Okay. Dale, the okay. okay. ADC so, this. So, okay, so stay right there. Stay right there. You're right. You, you said you're right in saying the AD stuff. Michael Jordan won six championships with Scottie Pippen, and Scottie Pippen hate his guts. Do you look at Michael Jordan different? Oh, no, 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 no. And now Scottie Pippen hate his guts since the movie. He been, AD hate his guts. Hold okay. on. AD hate his guts. man in real time. Okay. You know why? Because okay. it's been all about him, and it ain't been about winning, bro. That's facts. Okay. It's been so, all about this Jordan, dude. Son, is dating his ex-wife. Okay, okay. hey, hey, but D D Dale, all I'm gonna say to you is this, bro. Bro, when you say that stuff, bro, my man, dog, like I said, bro, keep it real. You play basketball, man. Don't get that dude no pass for this, bro. If, you got a if, lot of useless in no, this stuff, man. I'm not if, giving him if, a pass. What I am saying, like, like I was going with the KD thing, KD is by me watching video, it looks like KD could still play, but he's not. He's coming back after the all star break. Is other players taking Nick Knack injury sitting out? Brandon Ingram sat out two months for a toe. We talked about it up here. All yeah. those players are still young in their prime. LeBron James is in year 20 plus all the playoff mileage on his body. Correct. So if he want to break a record and then sit out, Braun, so be it. Do it. Well, tell him, hey, well, tell him don't run around here tweeting. Tell him don't run around here tweeting. Don't tell him don't run around here tweeting to us to keep the same energy when he get the hell beat out of him. And tell him don't tweet that he ain't never going to miss the playoffs again when his ass took a vacation, when at three games out of the end to get to the playoffs when they need him the most. Don't tell, tell him to take the tweet. And don't ever tweet again. LeBron James legacy is, is it's in stones, brother. <laughs> Nothing he do. It's in the stone. So, listen, you oh, could wow. bring up all these nitpick to to write him off this, that, and the third. But who LeBron James is as a player, what he has done. It's nothing you could say to change the narrative of what it is for LeBron James right now. Honestly, it's nothing. So it's no need to argue on him, AD feeling how he's feeling. Um. Skip saying whatever he's saying. LeBron missing free throws. LeBron choking against Dallas. Who gives a damn? Who LeBron? Hey, well, hey, well, well guess what? He, right he, now, he do. Top, he, he do. Top, he, he, hey, top player ever. 
And that's he, he, that. yeah, he cared because if he didn't care, he wouldn't be tweeting that he, he ain't never going to miss the playoffs again. If, if he didn't care, he wouldn't be tweeting to keep, for us to keep the same energy, which I'm doing. Everybody call me a hater, but LeBron James told us, to, and I please, I beg you, keep the same energy. So when I put my foot on his ass, you're going to get what you get. And what is that? What is ticket? The same game energy. Game the same game energy. Game doing? How? The no, same where energy. Do you no, where do you have Braun? All time. Right now? Yeah, all time. All I time? I, I, I got him at six. Well, he got him. Where do you have him? But right, but right, but right now he not. He not. He not no, right now. Right, yeah. right now. Right now. Today. I got him like around sixteenth. Okay. See, no, I don't. <laughs> Ticket, you got ticket. Hold on, ticket. Before you go any further, right now, while right now, while we on this show, name fifteen players in the game better than James. Do it, okay? Giannis, <laughs> yeah, Jokic, Tatum, uh, uh, old boy Dame Dollar, no, no, no. Luca. Yes, okay. yes, Dame Dollar. Oh, okay, okay, yes, keep going. Oh, okay, yes, Dame no, Dollar. Keep going. No, 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 carry on, carry on, carry on, carry on. Dame Dollar, you good, ticket. I'm with you. I'm with you. KD, Devin Booker. Let's keep going. Uh, Joel Embiid. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. Um, what's old boy name? Uh, 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 what's old boy name out there in the West Coast that's playing for what you call it? Uh. Okay. No, 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 no. The uh the Warriors. Steph Curry. Um oh, oh boy, what you call it? Uh that's playing not for the Warriors, but for the um he playing for the uh for the Sacramento Kings, the the, the, the point guard. Yeah, I got De'Aaron right. Fox ranked over him. Whoa, okay. I got, uh, okay. Hold on. I got uh what's old boy name from the uh from the Eastern Conference? He played for the uh um no 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 hold on. I'm about to, I'm I'm gonna, gonna think of his name right now. I'm, I'm I got his name right on the tip of my tongue. Hold on, I got it. I got his I'm name right on the tip of my damn tongue. I'm with you, Tim. Oh, D man. Oh, what team? What team? Oh no, no, no. Well, I'll say this too. I had Zion ranked over him before he got hurt. So that's, that's why I had him down there. I, 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 I gotta check his name. I got Zion. I had Zion ranked over him. Um okay. well, before he got he hurt. So Zion's you know, out. He just hold on. He just got it. He just got what you call to the all-star team. Um he just got voted on to the all-star team. Pascal. No, yeah, this year he was voted on the all-star team. I can't think it's I can't, Tyrese, damn, Halliburton. Dog. Who's Tyrese Halliburton. No, not him, not him. Who, Donovan not Mitchell? Him. Donovan yes, Spidey Mitchell. Yes, okay. Spidey that's, Mitchell. That's eleven. Okay. I got Spidey Mitchell, and I got his teammate over him too. Uh, uh, Garland. Darius Garland. Darius Garland. Garland. Yes. Okay. And then, and then I'm going to the West Coast with the dude they just put up in the All Star game too. Uh, uh um, Ooh, what's his fool? That went with huh? Sabonis. That, no, that's a bonus. That went no, with De'Aaron Fox. They just got put in as a replacement. Anthony, Anthony oh, Lori? Uh, Edwards, Edwards. Anthony no, Edwards, Anthony Edwards. Mm-hmm. It's Anthony Edwards. Edwards, yes, sir. Okay, 13. That's 13? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, and for shits and, and, for shits and giggles, no, I can give no, you Jalen no. Brown. No, 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 not shits and giggles. Hold, 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 hold on, Okay, Jalen Brown. Hold on, hold on. I can give you Jalen Brown. Hold on, sir. I'm, oh, with, I'm, oh, with oh, oh, oh. I'm with you, ticket oh, oh, oh. 14. I'm with you, ticket 14. I can give you Jalen Brown and okay. I can give you Kyrie Irving. Did you say okay. JT? Yeah, he yeah, did. Yeah, he, did. Yeah. he said JT. So that's 15. Hey, 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 hold on. And, hey, look. And I can prove him. I can prove him with Kyrie because Kyrie and KD had to head the team up to the second seat. And Kyrie's playing at an MVP level, if you be no, honest. No, not Kyrie. Not Kyrie didn't have He's not. Tell on, tell on. He's not. It was, it was the same Kyrie. Hold on. The same Kyrie Irving that just got traded. Hold on. The same Kyrie that just got traded to the Mavs without Luka and won the first two games against the strippers and against what you call on the road. That same Kyrie. KD had that team up that high, not no Kyrie. No, 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 no. I said the same Kyrie who just went to the Mavs in the first two games without Luka. They played the strippers in LA and then they played the other uh, team on the road and he beat both of them by himself. And that's that's fine and Danny. That's cute. Take the it, reason I don't why they were the number one seed or they were that tie up in the ranking was because of KD, not because of no Kyrie. And Kyrie. No. It, 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 t- 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 hold t- on. Also this Kyrie came back, How'd you miss this is what I don't want to do. Hold on. They didn't, hold on. They didn't take off until Kyrie came back. That team didn't start winning until Kyrie came back. What, what, I, don't, what I don't want to do is I don't want this to be I don't want this to be ticket on the road because because ticket ain't on the road here, okay? Because I, I want to I'm not jumping ticket, but I, what, I'm, what I'm saying ticket is that there's a difference between a better player in the game today and a guy playing better. 
Those that's what I'm saying. All them dudes go. I'm saying all of them dudes playing better than them. I'm saying all them dudes is playing better than LeBron right now, in my opinion. What? Ain't no way you think Darius Garland is playing Boston. So, hold on. So, hold on. How do all them dudes have better records and better effects on their team? How? Darius Garland is not Tick. playing better than him, man. Yeah, no, his, no, hold on. His numbers don't say so, but it, but he, the the, uh, the effect on winning and the output says so. Bro, listen, Whoa. if that's the case, why we don't why we don't ever praise Bradley B all them years he averaged thirty and was losing. He still wasn't a top ten player though. But that, be, that, hold on, because he was losing. No, he that's was, not because, he's, because he just not wasn't as good as the player. So let me ask you, so let me ask you a question, Lo. So if Bradley Beal was winning fifty five games and averaging thirty, you still wouldn't say he was one of the top players in the league? No, if the if the other players are just playing better than him, no. Y'all said, bro. Y'all said, no. and that's the problem. No, y'all don't no, y'all no. don't never want to give nobody no, else their props. No, no, no. So D. Mitch was a top ten player when he was in Utah. They were number one seed. He, no, no, no. I'm saying yes. At that time, yes, he was. He was. He was an MVP candidate. So Devin Booker he was a top ten player. Devin Booker was top Who? ten. Devin Booker. That DB. I would yes, say hold DB. When they was hold on. When they, when they was hold on. You you talking about you talking about when they was one of the league. When they was one of the best teams in the league. Yes. He missed. I don't know. I think he took it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on for a second. No. Jimmy and Jimmy Butler was a top ten player last year. Even if Jimmy Butler was a top ten player last year. Hold on. 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 That's one of the best team in the West Conference, in the Western Conference, and the best team in the Western Conference. That's not a top ten player that's doing that. Man, he was not a top ten player. I don't know. How, I don't know how you want to cut and slice it. That Devin. I know. I know. Dearon Fox is on the third season. He ain't a top yeah, exactly. Man, y'all the only. Y'all the only. Y'all the only dudes I know. Hey, low. Y'all the only dudes I know that praise losing. Man, y'all sad, bro. It's not about praising losing. Yeah, I'm just no, thinking, man. no, no, it, it, it is. is. What is what Ticket is Anthony bring up SGA and Brunson? What about Brunson? He can't bring up SGA because SGA is losing. SGA is not You're right, Fluent, right. but all no, I'm saying is this. Hold on. Damian Lillard is also losing, but Damian Lillard was on the list. Hold on, hold on. Here's why I said that, Lo, because I just tested you. I asked you if Bradley Beal was winning 55 games when he was averaging 30, would you have him as a top 10 player in the world? You said no. So that means yo, your whole thing is skewed versus how you look at players. You he's look at players. Ed, no, he's bringing SJ up for you to not for him. He's bringing that for you. He's not saying no, it like no, no, no. I'm SGA saying no, here. no, Dale, Dale. I'm saying what Low said about Bradley Beal. I asked Low if Bradley Beal, when he was averaging thirty, because remember he was averaging thirty, but they was getting their ass whooped. That's why everybody said they didn't rate him that high. Right, because his effect on winning wasn't there. That's not why. That's not why. So, 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 players, these other players. That's it. So, so, hold on, low. So, so, let me get this straight. To you, a player can average thirty. His team win fifty five games. Will he not be one of the top players in the league? If there's ten other players who are just better than him, yes, yes. Okay, low. Even if they're on worse teams. Yes. Okay, low. Okay, low. All right. So, like I said, you value losing. I value affecting winning more. I I value an individual, not what a team is able like, to Hold on. I'm going to give you a perfect example. Hey, hey, chill. Fluent, let me ask y'all this question because y'all OGs. Back back in the – um, what years was that that J.K. was leading the Nets to the finals? 2002. Now, did y'all have J.K. as one of the best players in the world at that time? One of them. I thought he should have won the league MVP that right, hold on. Now, MVP hold on. But you didn't, hold on. But you didn't base that – you didn't base that off scoring and all. You based that off his effect on winning, right or wrong. Okay, what, Okay, keep going. 100%. Keep going. That, no, no, that's what I'm saying. Right, but it, it's skewed to your points because, honestly, no BS to – it's some players, right – no matter where they are or their team record, you just know they are those players. Jason Kidd is rich. Now the house is really good at Boston. Now the house is just getting. Yeah, Jay, Jason Kidd was just a really good player. It had nothing to do. Right. He, with, he was with probably the team. best defender yeah, at his position. Like, probably the best so passer at his position. Like, like, like Put, put it this way, the Atlanta Hawks, before Braun swept them out the building, or the Toronto Raptors, right? They would have went in. They had four All-Stars with Al Horford, uh, Jeff Teague, and all those stuff, uh, number one seed. We never had none of those players as top ten players, and they were winning. 
it, no, you have but to I'm not saying that. I asked you. I didn't say that, Dale. Dale, I didn't say that. I said if Bradley Beal was averaging thirty and winning and, lead, and leading the East, winning fifty five games, and he was like one of the top teams in the East, top two teams, would you have him rated as one of the top best players in the world, one of the top ten players? He said no. So I'm saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what ha- what you do if you you guys got your mindset. That if I like this guy, no matter what this other guy no. does, he not gonna pass this guy. Hold on. The same way I told Low, hold on. The same way I told Low before the season that Shea was gonna average thirty, and Low told me I was out of my mind. Now you go rewind that tape, Ron. Put that in your pipe and smoke. So so wait, so wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get him on record. So Kobe in 05, because we've been down this road before. So Kobe in 05 was what? When he did make the play, I told you I did not have him when they lost. When you asked me, everybody said I was crazy because I didn't have him ranked up there. Because I told you he didn't have an effect on them winning more games. Remember that? Ron put it, that and on and the shorts. And no, no, and put, you can put it on there. So I need you again shorts. to say that Kobe was not a top 10 player in 05. No, I didn't say that. I said he wasn't a top five player. I said you asked me, was he a top five player? I think I said he was like, I said, I think he had, you, I think you had, he had Carmelo like Anthony over Kobe in 05, yeah. right? That year, yeah, hold on. That year, hold on. That year, hold on. That year, you had him eight, I think, seven or eight. Yeah, yeah, I had seven or eight. That that year, you gotta go look at who, bro. Listen, I value who. Like I told y'all, I'm glad Shaq's in here. Shaq, know what I'm saying? Sometimes it ain't all about your numbers and your stats. Sometimes it's about your effect. You were on point with Bradley Beal. See, this is hold on. This is the thing. You actually got guys who play basketball like Dale, Shaq, Chill, and these guys, Flu, and these guys. Listen, bro. Sometimes you can look at a guy and say he's that great because of his effect on the game, bro. For example, Chris Paul, when he first went to Phoenix, he could have been in, he was in an MVP conversation, not because of his stats, but because of his effect on the team. So what I'm saying to y'all is this. Y'all, y'all praise losing. If, if you praise winning, if a dude like uh, 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 Bradley Beal went to the Wizards, they won 55 to 60 games, and he's pick. averaging 30. How can't you have him ranked he's top, top 10, 10 in the league that he's in no, 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 low, low, low. Hold on no, for no, a second, no, low. No, in no. no world, in no world do we have a dude averaging 30 a game on a first-place team in the Eastern Conference. He is not a top-10 player. That's not nowhere. That, the below no, just said that. No. There's no way that's going on, low. Low. Let low no. explain. No, 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 no. Because, again, if by that logic, then y'all would have to have D. Mitch top, top 10 as well, right? I Bears. do. I do. No, no, no. Bears. When he would no, no. When he was in Utah and they were the number one seed, D. Mitch was top ten of y'all. I don't understand. Yes, why he I doesn't. said he was the MVP. Go look at my channel. I was saying he was a, he was a leader in the MVP votes when he had the team, the best team in the league. Go look at my channel, bro. This bro. narrative is nasty, I mean, though. No, yeah. no, hold on, Shaq. No, it's, low, it's, it's the no, no, it's, it's the first low. time in NBA. I, 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 I Dad, I'm, I'm sorry. I also said people, D. Mitch people, deserves more credit. As a top have ten player, people have Paul George. I mean, they're number one. Why? Um, Chris Paul, Dev Booker, um, th- this is all the people I'm naming for for that year. Him on the Jazz, Paul George, Kawhi, um, Dev Booker, Chris Paul, Braun, Anthony mm-hmm. Davis, KD, KD mm-hmm. Embiid, um, this is for who? For jo- who? For who? Joker. These are all ten that when when he was on the Jazz, y'all would. Bonafide say is better than D. Mitch. Thank you. What are we talking yes, about? He yes, he does. No, yes, he does. No, no, no. Yes, but but Ticket's saying that's wrong. But Ticket's saying that's wrong. Yeah, and he's, he's wrong to say it's wrong. And it's a different. No, 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 Mars. Yeah, yeah Steph Curry was an eight seed. We know he was better than Devin. We know he was better than Donovan Mitchell. And Steph Curry was an eight seed. No, no, no. What Tiggy is saying, you guys glorify losing. Jokic has no. been mediocre. He's been amazing with the stats. As far as team winning, he's been very mediocre, and he's been glorified because this is the stat error. We know this. That's why, guys, we get guys like Low, guys like oh, Mars, who so, just so, want to so, hop on so, the bandwagon so, and say, hold on, hold on, wait. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. didn't make the playoffs. What was he then, Shaq? What was he? Say, say that again. When Kobe didn't make the playoffs, what was Shaq? You guys killed Kobe for about two I'm to three straight years. You. When, I'm when, when, he, guys, when he had a losing, guys, when he had a losing not, record, not, you guys killed Kobe. Kobe. I'm not. I'm not killed I, never, Kobe. I would have never. Okay, said that's that Kobe the same. Was not. So what was Kobe? I can, when he didn't I can use that. I can. I, he was for sure a top ten player. No, why? So, so he drops one thousand percent. One thousand percent. You're name, bringing up. So name it no, you're bringing up a legend to make your point. Bring up other fringe players in the top ten. Those are the players I want to hear from. You're bringing up a legend. Stop okay. bringing up Kobe. Here we go. Stop Here we mentioning go him with other guys. It's not the was, same. Was, was DeMar DeRozan a top 10 player last year? <laughs> Based off of? Based off of the fact that he was. 
Hold on, hold on. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. No, there's there's 25 top 10 players. There's 25 top 10 players. There's 25 top 10 players. Because he was an MVP candidate. He was an MVP candidate. Everyone is being put top 10. Everyone is being put top 10. There's not enough players. There's not enough players. Hold on, what are you saying? in the MVP conversation. Okay, my so, yeah, this is you guys oh, don't want to yeah, give it to him because his name is DeMar DeRozan. You guys no, are all... Not there's, just, there's, just, there's just more people better part. than him. There's just more there's people better than him. I hate, I hate, I hate your new air narrative. I, I hate what we get confused is... There's just more people. The thing that we get confused here, the thing we get confused here is the difference between a guy who's a better player and a guy who's playing better. Playing better. Donovan Mitchell in the in in the twenty one twenty two season when the Utah Jazz... When the Utah Jazz were at the top out. of the Western, when 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 the, when the Utah Jazz were at the top of the Western Conference, there weren't ten guys playing better than him. That's not true. He was hooped out. That's, 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 that's not true. There were. Yes, there were. He was hooped out. Yes, there were. On losing teams, on losing teams. MB, 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 so Devin wait, Booker, let's, Jokic, let's, let's Kawhi, right Paul George, no, 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 no. Luka, Damian Lillard. That's 10 let's, guys. Let's, they let's, 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 let's stop, stop it right Mars now. So why don't, wait, wait, stop. So why don't y'all say Jason Tatum is better than Giannis right now? Why don't y'all say that? Why do we have to say that? Jason because he's the number one seed. And, 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 and um, the one seed. No, 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 no. Lo, the problem is you don't put him in the top 10. I got this, Shaq. I have Tatum. I just named 10 players that were better. I'm just saying, you're putting them over Giannis for no reason. He easy, hey. He easy work, Shaq. This is the reason why we say Giannis is better than him right now. Ticket, that's why because Giannis Antetokounmpo been without Chris Middleton for most of the season. Giannis Antetokounmpo oh went many stretches without Drew Holiday when he was hurt. And Giannis Antetokounmpo still had his team as a top two team in the East and a top three team in the NBA all season long without this second best guy. That dude have had most of his players for most of this season. And, and yes, he had the number one spot, but he also has Jalen Brown. He also had Marcus Smart for most of the time. He also had those other guys they have on the team as far as Malcolm Brogdon and those guys. Giannis was rolling with rookies and young players early in this season, and he was still holding the fourth down. And okay. he's the only one that's top five in scoring, top five in rebounding, pause. and he's top five defensively yeah, this year. You can't Put just say pause without listening smoke. to what? You just named, you just named I, stats. I heard it. I heard it. Hold on. Stats. Hold on, Lo. Hold on, Lo. Yo. No, no, no. The stats matter. matter. The stats matter. The stats matter. The stats matter. The stats matter. Don't worry. Time out. Ticket. You said everything. No way. The stats matter. The stats matter. Go ahead, Dale. Get it off, Dale. I'm going to ask you a question. First, your your reasons for playing like Bradley Beal to win 55 games and average 30 is because, okay, because they're doing that and he's average 30, he's averaging the most points. Now, to for, to big Giannis up, based on your own narrative, you're saying he's doing, he's better because he's doing it without the help when Tatum is doing it in the number one seed. So which one is it? So if Bradley Beal is, or Giannis is that good, he should be the guy regardless. You can't get mad at Tatum for having his full team now and being in first place to say, oh, he, because he's because Giannis is still doing it with that. It should be negated. No, we're talking about putting him in the top 10. Like Donovan but Mitchell wasn't mentioned Donovan, in the Donovan top Donovan Mitchell 10. was not a top oh, 10 so player. He was to y'all, whoever he wins MVP. Oh, his name, is, name those 10 okay, guys. Okay, I'm, I'm, Joel, Joel Embiid. Oh, hold on, Mars. Okay, hold on, Mars. Right, whoever right, wins right. MVP this year, that means to y'all they're the best player in the NBA? No, no, no. Yes or no? No, no. That's, no. that's, that's, that's completely against our argument. That's completely. How far can you carry your team? Well, that can't be it either. <laughs> it can't. As, as being the focal point, what do you mean? That can't, that can't be it either because all this stuff is only exclusive to what where you fell in the rankings on in a regular season, if you're in the playoffs or not, he's yeah, saying yeah, nothing yeah. about. No, no, no. About we, Bill we weren't, we weren't talking about. Season. We weren't talking about playoffs because then Kawhi's top five of all time. We weren't talking about playoffs. That, that's what I'm trying to let you know. We okay. Weren't. All right. What are you? What is it, Mars? Joel Embiid. Go ahead. Joel Embiid. This Kevin is right Durant. now. No, no. no this no, is no, 2021. 2020, 2021 is when jazz, the Jazz was whatever, whatever season 21, 20, 21. The, the, the 2021. 2021. Yeah, that was after the bubble. Yeah, so 2020. Go, yeah, okay. So go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, players I'm players Mars. better than Donovan Mitchell. Joel Embiid. We agree. Hold on, Kevin wait, Durant. Wait, wait. Mars, 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 Mars. Wait, before you do this, can I give a shout out to my brother Dub? Tomorrow we got the OG Players Choice. All the OGs coming back, and I just got to give a shout out to my guy Dub. All right, Mars, carry on. Sorry. Go ahead, Mars. You, you, you said Kevin Durant, Joel Embiid, Kevin Durant, James Harden. Giannis, Jokic, Kawhi, 
Luca, Steph, Damian Lillard, LeBron James. How many is that? That's a nine. Nine. Oh, that was a That's, nine. What? I'll Joel Embiid, Joel uh-huh. Embiid, Kevin Durant, yeah. James Harden, mm-hmm. Giannis, yeah. Jokic, mm-hmm. Kawhi, mm-hmm. Luca, yeah. Damian Lillard, Steph Curry, LeBron James. How That's many ten. names is that? That's ten. I'm having a different... They are again, all better than no, Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's no, we're, 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 there's we're no talking, argument that any of them are worse than Donovan Mitchell. Now, 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 we're we're talking about, now, now again, Mars, we're not talking about a guy being a better player. James Harden is a better player than Donovan Mitchell. James Harden? Wait, we're going to talk about MVP about candidates. We're going to talk about MVP no, candidates. No, James no, Harden in 2021 was MVP candidate. Was he? Yes, because KD went down that season and James Harden was doing his And I'm glad you mentioned that. And why wasn't Donovan Mitchell? He was on the number one seed in the Western Conference. Because he's not that good. He's not good enough. That's not true. He's not, not good enough. He's not good enough. How is he not good enough? He led because those, he, you can't be that level of player. No disrespect, Donovan Mitchell, but you can't be that tier of player, which is like tier two level of player, and be an MVP. You can't. He's not a good I mean, enough. He led, the, he, led the, he led the Utah Jazz. Jazz. He led the Utah Jazz. I agree. He, he I agree. He had a great a, season. I agree. He had rebounded. a great season. How is he not? At the top, he's of the not because I just named a bunch of players who are better than him. I understand that. I understand that. You can't, you you can't be, you can't win MVP. Yo, yo, yo fellas, we only got one mic. Y'all can't. Yell you can't, you can't, you can't win MVP. You can't win MVP when you're not that level of player. When you're not an MVP caliber player, you can't win MVP. What year was that? That's the sad reality. Twenty twenty one. Twenty 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 one. What all NBA did he make that year? Zero, which is zero. I don't think he was all NBA. Zero, which has never happened. That's never happened before. Wait, whether or not I agree with, with whether or not I agree with that, no, I don't think I agree which, with that. Other people, agree with wait, other people agree with us. I don't. I don't agree with. That. I just don't think he, he was top, top ten. ten. I just don't think he was top which, ten. Which player out of the ten that Marge's name are you taking off? No, no, no. So you would rather take a player that's no. lower seed? No, I'm just asking the question to Lo and Marge. You would rather take a player that's lower seed but it's more efficient. Than a player that's a higher seed. No, it's, no, it's not even no, I, no, I'm just asking He's you guys. Better no, player. Stop, I would stop, rather take. Stop, a stop, 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 I have someone about points per game and rebounds per game. No, don't give me the stat, guy. And I haven't said any stats. I haven't said any stats. You just call. No, you just call. Better player. I think Damian Lillard is a. I think Damian Lillard is a better player. Was he playing better than Donovan Mitchell in 21? Yes, he was playing better than Donovan Mitchell. You do that, guys. The Jazz had ten more wins, but Damian Lillard played better than Donovan Mitchell in 2021. And I failed to see how you could say Donovan Mitchell played better. Me personally, I failed to see how you could say that. So you're saying he played better because the team won more games. That's what you're saying. And the fact that he was leading that team in scoring, the reason why they won more games was because a prime reason because of that was because of him. Rudy Rudy was a big reason why they were winning because of him defensively. No question mm-hmm. about that. But that 26 a game, that 26 a game, those six assists that he was averaging, I'm sorry, five assists that he was averaging, you can't take that off the table. No, not and, and this team yeah, is can't still, take that fourth rank and, defense off the but, table either. And this is what I'm talking about when I talk about how good he was playing as opposed to how he is as a player. I'm not saying he was, that he was the level of, I'm not saying that he was the same player or that James Harden isn't a better player. I'm not saying that Damian Lillard isn't a better player. But I'm thinking at, in 2021, when the Utah Jazz were at the top of the Western Conference, I'm trying to have, I'm having a difficult time. I'm having a difficult time with these guys that you name. All ten of these guys playing better than Donovan Mitchell. So Damian Lillard, you taking off? So the only okay, just to be clear, so I don't want to miss the only reason Donovan Mitchell played better than these guys is because his team had more wins. No, it's just more important. It's just more important. That's why his team had more wins. Because I know he he also had a better team though. He just had a better team. We didn't ask if you could switch and do the what ifs. I'm I'm not asking to switch. I'm just judging these players as individuals. You're the one putting them at the team level. No, Y'all keep talking. About I haven't said a. Point. Tell me what stat no, I've said. I tell me what stat. I, what stat have I said? I, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna no, I haven't said a stat. It's not based on stats. These yeah, guys are just better stat, than him at basketball. I want to. I want to be. You can easily say. based off of what? Based off of what, Mars? Watch Kevin Durant play basketball. Tell me Donovan. No, 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 no. Tell me Donovan is better. Bring up the rest of the nine. Why are they better? Okay, tell me. Based off of what? Because Damian Lillard plays basketball better than him. Damian Lillard plays basketball better. I've been at the context. Been. He scores better than him. He plays better than him. He passes better than him. He's a better offensive player than him. That's why Damian Lillard is off, better than Donovan. Based off of what? Just off of the based eye test? Of who because that's based, based on the, based on the fact that yo, you can clearly listen, see Damian Lillard is listen, clearly no, no, the better no, shooter. He clearly all. plays better Mars, out of pick and roll. I, okay, I'm, I'm sorry. Mars and Lowe are telling me that they're going based off of the eye test. This is fucking nuts right now. So you guys have I'm asking you what stats I'm going on. I'm asking you what stats I'm going on. Bring up Donovan. You guys are I'm asking you. I'm asking you what stats I'm going off of. Because you want to call me the stat guy. You want to call me the stat guy. 
Because you want to say, oh, Mars is a stat guy because it's a common narrative because a lot of people just want to go off narratives. Tell me what stats I use. Go on, tell me. Nine. Enlighten that, me on the stats. That, that, Enlighten that, me on Jimmy, them. Jimmy, Jimmy tell me when I've created points per game. Tell, Mars, me Mars, Mars, tell me when I've used points per game. Tell me when I've used rebounds. Tell me when I've used assists. Tell me when I've used field goal percentage. Tell me when I've used stats. Tell me when I've used those stats. What stats am I using? Tell me. Okay, so if I've taught you the stats, tell me the stats. If I've taught you stats, tell me the stats. If I've taught you stats, tell me the stats. If I've taught you the stats, tell me the stats. Mars, here's the problem. You're telling me that this guy is better at basketball and you're telling me that kd is better at basketball than donovan mitchell which yes. means he's always been better at basketball than donovan 100 percent. just like james harden is better at basketball than donovan mitchell yes that doesn't mean that he can't get outplayed that doesn't mean that he but can't that's get not this guy happened, doesn't though. play it still doesn't, happen, doesn't play but better that's, yeah, but that's one not what season. happened this but it didn't happen the, the this, guys just had a better record that's what happened and why did the Jazz have a better, better record? Because why? they were a great team offensively and defensively. Why were they a great they team offensively? They were a great team offensively. They were a great team offensively, and Donovan Mitchell gets the large bulk hey, chill, of the credit for them chill. being great offensively. You know, chill. You know, Low Sun gonna come in here for him because, like I said, that, that's why his name is a, his name's supposed to be the legend of winning, but he prays losing. That's why I told you his name is a legend of losing. That's why last year. I just hold on. I just told you. You you clown me when I told you I had Jimmy top five going into last season. When I told y'all, and you asked okay. me why, and I said, hold on, you asked me why, and I said, because the man led his team to the NBA Finals the year before that. You asked me why, and I said, because he had led his team to the Finals and because he had led his team after that to one game from going back to the Finals. That's what I told you. And y'all said, no, nah, they don't do that. They don't. And he's a two-way player, too. We don't praise those guys who play both ends of the court just because he don't average 30, right? So you killed me on that. Now you coming over here, like I said, you want to move the goalpost again. So I told you, if Bradley Beal, who put up 30 a game for the last couple of years before this year, if he was winning 55 games, one of the top teams in the East, would you have him as one of the top 10 players? No. You said no. no. You said no. Then, so then, right? so, then, take it. so then my follow-up question to you is, why wasn't Embiid over them? Because Embiid led his led his team to a record of 51 wins, just like Giannis. Embiid didn't have Ben Simmons. Basically, had no ball handler for basically you talking about last year. Two thirds of the yes, last year, two thirds of the season. There. No, I had where, him over the top. Where, where, no, no, over the top. Because you so you just told me Jimmy was a top five. Who no, was? no, I said Jimmy was top five. Okay, Jimmy's top five. Who's the other four? No, no, no. Last year, no, last year, oh, last year. No, 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 no. Let him answer it. Jimmy was top five. You, hold on. I told, hold on. I told you my top five going into last year was Giannis Antetokounmpo was number one. I told you Steph Curry was number two. I told you Joel Embiid was number three. I told you that uh, who I said was number four. I said Tatum was number four, and I said I had Jimmy Butler number five. And y'all crucified me for putting Jimmy Butler top five. Go look it up. Ron got it on the roll. He got it on the reel. And you asked me why would I put Jimmy up there? He ain't on that level. And I said the man carried his team to the NBA Finals. Then he came back and was one shot away from going back to the Finals again. And y'all told me that wasn't good enough. Y'all want to put dudes who was getting the hell beat out of him but putting up good numbers over these dudes that's out here actually putting in work and having a great effect on his team. The same way Nick DeRozan did. When you asked a few minutes ago, why was DeRozan up there? He was up there because he was a top five MVP candidate last year. That's why. I don't think he was, but I guess. You can look on, look it up. I'm almost a hundred percent sure when it was all said and done, he didn't finish top five in the end. When it was all said and done, it, it more stats getting down to the nitty gritty. No, no he just said you, he was top five. Yeah, all right, fellas, we got. We and and, and hey, just FYI, he was tenth. Demar Derozan was tenth in the MVP race. We got to go. He fell off. I'm, 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 still, I'm still waiting to know what that's used. I'm still just waiting to know what that's used. I don't care about that. It's all narrative base. He, hold, on. He, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. They fell off at the end because, remember, his whole team got hurt. Lonzo got hurt. And then Zach Levine got hurt right before they a few weeks before they went to the playoffs. Remember? So then, so don't then forget. My question, no. So then my question is, why is it when other players get hurt, such as Jokic going into the year without MPJ and – um? Um, Murray, why is that not put into consideration to put him in the top 10? I mean, the top five, excuse what? me. Yo, yo, Lo, you didn't have to go there. You could have just go to the, what he just said with Tatum and Giannis. You did say that as well. You just sat there and said that Giannis, <laughs> said Chris that. Middleton has been out the entire time. Exactly. So you, so again, you're picking and choosing. You're picking and choosing. No, because Jokic was a, Jokic was a 16, no, right? Stop, stop. Hey, hey, Shaq. Hold don't on, Jokic was a 16, Don't say Jokic Don't say Jokic was a 16. Don't say Jokic was a 16. Don't say Jokic was a 16. Hold on. Jokic was a 6 or 7 C, right? He was a 6 okay, C, right? What about Tatum and, and Giannis this year? They won and two. When Chris Middleton came back. 
No, no, no. Before oh, Chris oh, Middleton oh. was out, they was number two. They knew it. This guy just no, said I've been real quiet. What the? Okay. Whatever. Okay. They, no, no. <laughs> they were number two. But that's, hold on. Watch. Remember. Remember. KD, even even when KD got hurt, they had, crept, they had crept back up to number two. They were in number two the whole time before KD and then went on that run when Kyrie came back. Off the suspension. That's they when KD really and them went on the run. They were not number but when two. I told time, you, there when was I, a time where Cleveland was number two. There was a time where Brooklyn was number two. Milwaukee bro, had been like Milwaukee was like third or fourth for a good portion of the season. No, they no, 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 no. We're not finna do that. We're not finna. That's not true, bro. We're not finna do that, bro. How about this? How about this? I'll grab the screenshots. Don't worry about it. I'll grab the screenshots. The Greek freak been dancing on these boys. I'll grab the screenshots. Take it. Don't worry about it. Take it. I'll grab them. Don't worry about it. I know you don't like. Hey, low. Hey, low. And I know you a Giannis fan. I know you a Giannis fan, I'll but I'm gonna tell you something, bro. You sad. You sad I'll for discrediting it. dudes that's really putting in work and winning. Cause see, I'm gonna tell y'all what y'all. I'm gonna tell you why they saying this stuff, Shaq. Yeah. This the reason why they say this is because low key they want to praise dudes like Steph Curry, who last year won the chip, but this year has zero effect it's on winning. It's, it's, it's that's why. It's shaky. And they can and, and look, Shaq. Yeah, we've seen this two of the last deep. three years with Steph Curry. Two out the last three years, Steph Curry led the league Mars in scoring. Can admit that. Mars and couldn't can, get to the playoffs. And right now, now this year, this year, Steph Curry is playing efficient. What is he? 50, 40, 90? And they barely, and they barely can stay over 500. No, they 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 appreciate that, right? Low and Mars. You guys recognize my, my, Steph my, is I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and make drastic shifts on where players rank on a year to year basis based off and of that's what you make like that. drastic shifts off of where players rank all time low no where i do, do not Jokic? my 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 top 10 has cha- has been the same for 15 years i just you inserted said, one person what are we talking news about flash you say Jokic was a better offensive talent than kobe bryant based off of what stats for of the last three years of basketball he's performed at. off of stats off of three years of basketball that he just performed. Lo, oh, I'm just really asking that? that. Off yes. of stats? Yes. His Lo, you really oh, no, said that? I said, I said if longevity, no. But at their Lo, absolute best, yes. At their Lo, absolute like best, the yes. Yes. At their I don't absolute like the, I don't like to pull out the nuclear clothes, codes and get chill going. But he said that. He said their, that and it was on low best, nose. Yes. 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 No at good. absolute best. Yes. Joker, I'm, just, man, I'm just still waiting for my stats. So that's what I'm waiting for. Mars, you're the stats guy. Stop. Tell, stop. Just tell no, me no, the stats. No, I just no, want to make the stats. No, no, I just want to make the stats. I just want to make the stats. I talked about old boy. The I'm first that I gave you first no, was winning. That's the first that I gave you first. Ticket, wait. Ticket, wait. Ticket, ticket, ticket. Wait, wait, wait. Lo, you said Jokic was better than Kobe in both of their primes, allegedly. Offensively? Offensively. Offensively, right? Yeah, offensively. Okay, yeah. Based off of what? I th- based off of bet, what? I'll, and Mars, do you agree with his this? ability? I said I need to see the playoffs before. Based I, off of, I've also I also said that as well. If you go back and look at it, based off of what he was able to do beyond just scoring the basketball, he's also playmaking at an extremely elite level as well. Hey, what are you? Hey, 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 watch this! I can kill that narrative right now. Hey, uh, Lo, since you said that, right? Lo, watch this. Lo, since you, hey, uh, Lo, hey, hey, hold on! Hey, I'm gonna destroy that right now. Lo, I'm gonna ask you one question. Since you said all this stuff all the time about Jokic. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this off. Hey, Lo, do you think that Jokic would have been putting up these numbers in the Tim Duncan, Kevin Garnett, uh, 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 Rasheed Wallace era? Do you think he's still not numbers? Not not numbers. numbers. Stop, hey, Lo, 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 stop the numbers numbers. logic. Because this one (laughs) No, my my logic is what I keep hearing everyone else talk about. It's one debate that we had. You didn't bring up numbers. But don't make it sound like you two dudes are not the numbers guys. Because you have. Every time, every time I got called a numbers guy, I ask what numbers I use, and no one tells me what numbers. you're not. Please, I'm not. I'm telling you, I'm not. I'm explicitly telling you, I'm not. Okay, chill. I'm gonna ask you. Chill. I'm gonna ask you. What numbers? Efficiency. Now what? This is the what numbers? What numbers? What numbers? You use to put Jokic over Kobe. What numbers? What numbers? I'm asking. I'm asking five people. I'm asking five people. What numbers? No one person can tell me one. No one person can tell me one number. Alright, whatever. Whatever, bro. Whatever, bro. I'm asking five people for one number I use, and no one person can tell me. Say less. Say less. Say less. Say less. I'm not even talking to you. I'm not even talking to you. I'm talking to Chill. I'm not even talking. Why are you taking credit? Why are you taking credit? I was talking to Chill. Why are you taking credit? Why are you taking credit? 
credit. I was talking to you. I was talking to you. Why are you taking credit? Why are you taking credit? I was talking to you. 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 I don't know why he's taking credit. I don't know why he's taking credit. Can we take a poll? Can we take a poll? Can we take a poll? Can someone answer my question? Somebody answer the man's question. I've asked four people. Okay. Everyone wants to say. Everyone wants to say. I'm the numbers guy. Everyone wants to say I'm the numbers guy. I ask everyone who says that what numbers I use, and all of a sudden Mars. it's Mars. You know you're the numbers guy. What numbers? Mars. Just tell Mars. 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 What numbers? Mars. Let's take a Just vote. Let's take a vote. Let's take a quick what? vote. Mars. Mars. It's not Mars. About Mars. I don't care about democracy. I don't care. I'm asking you what <laughs> numbers I use. Just someone, please, one person. Tell me what numbers Mark, I use, please. You I'm begging. Shit up here so numbers. tell me heard what you heard. Context, tell me what you heard. <laughs> Mark, you can go if back you heard to any it, episode you before 150 on players. Oh choice. my god! You were tell like me. elite statistician. Tell it was amazing. We've tell never seen me. anything like it. We were having private tell combos me. about you. How can we stop the numbers guy? Tell we me you what out. numbers. Wait, let me let me also say this as well. Mars I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it right now. A month ago, a month ago, the Milwaukee's held the second seed. Since basically um, the beginning of February. Before that, it was Philly. Milwaukee held it for one, two, three, four, four days. Then it was Brooklyn. Then there's years where Philly was even third and Milwaukee was fourth. Then if you continue to go up, Milwaukee held it again for one, two, three, four days. Then they, they interchanged with Boston for the number one seed. Then they held it for uh, maybe a month. But then after that, it was um, Boston and Cleveland who were the second seed. So May, it was a month where they had the second seed, but outside of that, for majority of the who's um, second seed right now? Milwaukee. Milwaukee. So what are you talking about? I'm talking about your <laughs> argument was about Chris hey. Middleton being hurt since hey, Chris Middleton has been back. Go, yes. Ron. Ron, and, I gotta, yes, I, I, yes. I gotta go. But before, but before Chris Middleton got Check, there, I gotta go. Unfortunately, hold up right quick, low. Hold up right quick, low. All right, sure, you're gonna have to get on low. You're gonna have yeah. to get on low about this Jokic Kobe nonsense. He's <laughs> oh trying to deflect God. right now, and I appreciate it. No, no, no. I, I said I was gonna grab this uh, again. I I said it on Lowe's nose. I said, yo, I'm, I need to see the um, postseason. I said that. Also, I said if you want to argue longevity, of course. But at their absolute peak, no. What are we talking about right now? Based off what? Uh, but all right, chill. All I gotta right, go. Chill. Unfortunately, ba yeah. based off, based I, off, based off. Guys, the yo, yo, yo. When y'all right, right, what are y'all? Incorporate in that, like I like for me, it goes like, beyond I just, just scoring the basketball. Yeah, okay. So his dimes and rebound, offensive play, rebounds. Of course, playmaking will go in it. You even go to offensive rebound. Just the fact that he play makes at an elite level, an all time level, in my opinion. So how does this equate to winning, Low and Mars? I would love to hear. But that's how this not your your you're okay, well, equating with the reason. No, the no, 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 Mars. Wait, 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 Mars. I want, oh, I want to wait, finish wait. that statement. Okay. I want you wait, to wait, what's your what's what's wait. I, I, no, how does that equate to winning? How does that equate to winning? Well, I, I mean, he's made the, he made the playoffs every single last season. He's making the playoffs right now. He's the number one seed right now. Correct? Correct? Mm -hmm, Correct? Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. then I'm going to ask you, what was Kobe's um, offensive prime? What was his best offensive season? Oh, I, I, I well, no, 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 no. Shaq, what was his, it? His oh, best oh. offensive season? Yes. He's had quite a few. His seasons. I said seasons. So which ones are there? Or what is his? What is the three-year gap that the you three think he's offensive? The, the, the three-peat was nice with Shaq. It, so you it, think that was, was his best offensive seasons? I mean, playing with another powerhouse in Shaq, that was pretty impressive. That they you think that was his numbers. best offensive season, his three peats? No, not officially like you and Mars. Not officially. I feel like asking, to me, I feel like to me that was very impressive. It's a yes or no question. To me, that was very impressive. Best three years offensively. Are you about to go to stats? I'm asking oh, you a it, question. No, 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 no. It wasn't. It wasn't. Okay, that's so can you that's the three question. that I feel. What were that's the three. The three best that's seasons? the three that that I'm most impressed with. Him being able to play with a guy that didn't like him, and then both meshing together, win three championships. Okay. Yes, I. I that's You're impressive deflecting. to me. I'm I didn't sorry. ask you which one you was. I told you with. that's a. I said what the do you best. Mean? I said which 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 way. No, how, how am I deflecting? You just say Jokic. I said what are his best offensive seasons? Which one are they, Shaq? I like 05 through 08. Oh, you mean the years where the nigga got knocked out in the first round? That's it. I, I, so how did that result to winning? How did that result to winning? How did that result to winning? You can't answer it. So, so how was Jokic over him? So how was Jokic over him? I don't care no, about. Yo, 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 I'm not the, the stats guy. That's you, you and no, I'm gonna leave the stats for I you and Mars. No, no, I, I haven't no, said no a stat. Says that. You said how did you said how did Jokic numbers translate first to winning? First off, you then Mark, brought up seasons where Kobe low, got knocked out in the first round. No, 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 no. Which three seasons did I bring up first? 
I, I you said in quiet. Place. Which three? Saying, no, 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 which three seasons did I bring up first? Which yes, three? Yes, no, yes, which no, 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 low, which, low, you low. Which press. three? No, low, low, low. Which three seasons did you I bring up first? Pressed. I didn't ask you. No, which pressed. which three I seasons? Said, you asked Zach, me. You, you asked me seasons. Zach? You, you actually not answering the question. Those are my three seasons. Those are my three seasons. Oh, you cannot. Seasons? No, you're oh, not about to bring oh, up this three. bullshit argument for Jokic. You're not about to do that. Uh, you're not about to do that. Not like you're not Valentine's about to do that. A massacre, baby. You're Valentine's not, you're not massacre about to do that. Here. He asked me three seasons. Season. I gave him three. Said, he didn't like my answer. I said, what is his best? The three people with Shaq. That's his best offense. Hey, Shaq. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me. Hey, Shaq, now listen. Quiet. And, and, now and nobody would agree with that. This is what he did, now Shaq. This is what he did. Now hey, Shaq, this is what he, this is what he did, Shaq. When you said, when you said 05, this is how he cheated the game, right? He this, using Jokic now when Jokic got his whole squad. That squad Jokic got right now, you can't even compare the team Kobe had in 05 to the team Jokic got right now. You can't Cannot compare Jokic shit. to having Shaq. What the Cannot fuck are y'all talking about? In not, in he not had Shaq. Okay. You asked me okay, my yeah, you asked for the out. years, I told you. Yeah, you yeah, asked yeah. hey, yeah. yeah. for the years. Lo, you Lo, asked for the years, I told you. Lo, Lo, I told you for the years. Lo, you're praising this. Hey, Lo, you told me the years. Lo, you're praising this playmaking, Lo, but I asked you about like three different years. I'm not going to hold y'all. No, 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 he didn't no, answer second, the question. You're talking about the playoffs and Lowe's talking about Shaq. I don't know. No, no, why. no, no, no. But I asked him a question, Dub. I asked him. He deflected that question. I said, could Jokic put up them same numbers that he put up now, triple-double, in the error with Tim? You went out. I'll come in. I think, do I, Lowe, think I, do, I, do I think you put up the same numbers? Do I think he will average... 25 and 10. Brown, no, Brown, he went, he went average 25 and, and 10, but could he average like 25 and 7 or 25 and 8? Yes, I do. Yes. I just Man. don't. And you, and you, and Lo, you always adjust for pace. Did you adjust for pace? Uh, yeah, we can, we can adjust. Because that was 90 pace. points per game. That's, we know you can and adjust the pace. Mars can, can second you. I on didn't that. say 30. I just did, I just said 25. <laughs> Hey, he would average five assists in the air, bro. I never, I never average. I never said thirty. I said twenty-five. I never said thirty. Low. I said the three P. He would average five assists in that air, bro. If you, if you, I said, if you think, I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna answer. If you think that Kobe's best offensive seasons were the three P. I don't think anybody would agree with you because I think that would be foolish to sit here to just try to get a takeoff to diminish who Kobe Bryant was. No, that's it's foolish disgusting. that you're trying to corner no, me into disgusting. going to his best statistic numbers where he didn't make the playoffs and he got bounced. That's foolish that you're trying to trap me into that. That's wait, foolish. Wait, when I bring wait, up why, the three that why? mean the most to me, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 when no. I bring up the three, hold on, wait. When I brought up the three that meant the I'll most to me, his, you I'll didn't like he it. I'll take 35 as his best offensive. I'll take I, 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 I went two. I went two. Oh, you know what? I'll take I went, that. It, you know what, Dale? You know what, Dale? You know what, Dale? I would never be foolish enough to to d diminish him because he didn't make out the first round because I know his team. But you yeah, have, that, you have, you I'll have. So you're 35. making this I'm argument saying, are, to no, hype no, Jokic. Up. I'm making no, no. I'm making the argument to show your inconsistency because when it came to Jokic, it was inconsistency. What did it, what did it went to? How? It went to? I'm about, I'm answering it. You said when All it right. came to Jokic. Explain the inconsistency. I'm, I'm bring literally it. in the middle of doing. Okay, it. I, I, explain I'm it. in the middle of doing it right now. Ba ba no, no, no. But base it off of the three first years that I gave you. I'm in the middle of doing it right now. If okay. your argument is to diminish Jokic, or never need to diminish, if your argument is about level of Im impact to winning or how much did they win to do it, and the only thing that you would have to pivot to would be his three P years with Shaq, my argument would be that's foolish to diminish who Kobe Bryant was at his absolute peak. And I do not sit here and, and tear down a player because he was not on an adequate enough team to make deep postseason runs. That doesn't take away from who he was as a player. The man who was averaging 35, one season, okay. 32 and next, and, in, and a year before that, like 27, those are his best offensive seasons, Shaq. So would you say that Jokic, this is his best offensive season? Yes, I think it's. I think these last. So he should win the chip this year. He he should win the chip this year. That's not how that works, man. That's the same fucking point you just made. No, I'm Shaq. You just said you're not going to diminish a player. Let me say it again. But this is Jokic's best year by it's by far. It's not even close. So he should win the chip this year. Let me say it again, Shaq. He has a chance. Just stand on it. Shaq, he has me, a chance to Shaq, stand on it, Low. Shaq, Shaq, Shaq. Let me let me explain it to just you. Just stand on it. That's all. I'm gonna explain to you again. I 
Do not diminish somebody winning or losing. So if Jan Jokic loses this year, this still does not take away from the fact that this is one of his best offensive seasons. You, however, are willing to go so far to say that Kobe in 01, that that was one of his best offensive seasons of his career. Even though there's years where he's averaging 30. You asked me my opinion. Points. I gave you my opinion. I and don't care why. about the losing. I, I've been consistent with that. And now you're you trying to care, shit on me for being consistent. You do care about the losing. You do care. That's your whole argument. You do care about the losing. No, he cares about the winning. Yo, all right, I think though. you guys. Uh, I think, that's uh, right, 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 I do think. I do think right, you guys right, are right, overrated. Right, I, think, right, I think you guys are you overrating it. Jokic and his offense mainly because when I look at Kobe Bryant, especially in the time in which he played, he didn't have that much spacing like that. He was a great, and he was able to get off like sixteen three quarters, eighty one points. I just can't. I can't imagine like Kobe in this era, bro. In the yo, last three yo, years, because you're talking about the last three years for yo, Jokic. Keep cooking, dog. Kobe. I don't want to cut you off. But I'm sorry, it's no way in hell when y'all say offense. I don't care about the dimes and the playmate. It's no way in it's hell. Ridiculous. I'm and last year I say Jokic. You know what? Because Jokic's bets game of all the points he gravitate could be what it is. But that man could score 81 by himself. Okay, you, so you he can score one game, one game, one game of sample size. Okay. No, but so what? That one, no, it's not one game. game. It's, 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 it's a lot of sample size. 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 It's a lot of 60 point games in three quarters. It's 81 by himself. It's not a lot of 60 point games. I think there was one. It's one game. Hold on, it's low. And not only that, one game. Not only that, and low. Play making another game. Let me be clear. Yo, how good of a better sport? How good of a better sport? Play Steve Nash to y'all. Say it again. Come on, Lowe. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to beat. Steve Nash is one of the ten best offensive players of all time. Hey, Lowe, but hey, Lowe, you easy to Yes, I think he peaks as one of the 10 best offensive players ever. Yes. <laughs> Who's the top 10? Boy. Who's the top 10? Yeah. I don't so have a top 10. You're talking about his two years, years in Phoenix. No, I'm talking about from 05 to 2010. It's more than two years. I'm talking about from 05 to 2010. 05 to what? 05 to 2010. Steve Nash peaks as one of the five years. Let me ask you a question. After, how great of an offensive player was Jeremy Lin's peak? You're talking what? about five games. 12 games. Sizes, I don't give bro. a damn. No way. There's no <laughs> way that can tell me right bro, now. We're that talking about You don't have minutes. to agree. You I asked the question. No way. 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 I don't have 10. Okay. Off the top of my head. Off the top of my head. LeBron, MJ, Steph, Magic, Kobe, Jokic, Nash. How many is that? Seven. Um, so Steve Nash Dave is a Harden? better offensive player than Tracy McGrady. I think Kevin yes. Durant. Yes. Wait, KD, what? Yes. KD. Steve Mac wait, yes, Steve Nash yes, is better yes, offensive player. Yes. 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 He's better than James Harden. Yes. I've. I've. Oh, God, we spoke about this on open gym. God. God, we spoke about this on open gym. We have. I told you. Yes, I told you. I thought Steve Nash was a better offensive player than James Harden. I think he is. I told you. Yeah, I told based you. On, wait, hold on. Based on what? When it can't be stopped because James Harden's an average 36 and 8. It can't be stopped. Mars, it can't be. It's based on what it's based on. Based on the fact that Steve Nash, based on the fact, when have you ever heard me use full goal percentage? What's good? Based on the fact that Steve Nash to me is the second. Based off of. So let me talk. Based off the fact that to me, Steve Nash is the second best passer to ever play basketball. Based off the fact to me, Steve Nash is the second best playmaker to ever play basketball. Based off the fact that Steve Nash is one of the best shooters to ever play basketball. Based off the fact that Steve Nash has one of the best offensive playoff translations in history of basketball. Based on the fact that Steve Nash is the best it goes I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I'm it not goes, finished. I'm just asking I'm not, a question. So I will Can answer I you when it's done. I will answer you when it's done. Can I ask I will you, answer you when it's done. I will makers. answer you when I'm done. Because I, I wanted right, to finish right. my first point and you had another question. Uh, okay, okay. Based on the fact that Steve Nash has led some of the best regular season and playoff offenses of all time in his peak, based on the fact that Steve Nash, like I've said, is one of the best offensive initiators of all time, I think based on the fact that Steve Nash has done it with multiple coaches, Mike D'Antoni and Alvin Gentry, I think Steve Nash is one of the best offensive players of all time. Now, to answer your second question, best playmaker of all time, 
is Magic Johnson. The second best playmaker of all time to me is Steve Nash. The third best playmaker of all time to me is LeBron James. The fourth best playmaker of all time to me is probably Steph Curry. The fifth best playmaker of all time, I have no idea, is probably... Who is it? Mm, I don't know. It's probably Bird or Jokic. I mean. yeah, yeah, low, you're bird, not bird, bird, or, bird, bird or Jokic is probably the She's fifth best playmaker of all time. And for passing the best pass of all time... Magic. You got Steph, hold on. I'm you not done. Curry, I'm not done. I'm not done. I'm, I'm not done. I'm not done. The best passers of all time, Magic Johnson, number one, Steve Nash, number two, LeBron or Jokic, number three. So Yo, that's three I and am four. Done. Number five, I'm number five is Jason Kidd. Number, um, number five is Jason Kidd. Number six would probably be Larry Bird. Number seven would probably be Chris Paul. And I don't know where I'd go after oh, that. Joker there you go. I've answered your question. Jason Kidd, right? Yes, we've gone through this many times. I'm done. I've this, explained it. I've I've walked through everything. This boy I just got Jay Kidd over. This boy, this boy, this boy got Jokic over Jay Kidd as a done. passer. I'm not. I'm not done. <laughs> I walked through. I walked through everything <laughs> I believe. I said absolutely zero stats. But somehow you guys are gonna tell me that this is so. Why? So wait, wait, what you fucking say right, right now, Mark? Based, based, based in stats, Mark. Yeah, yeah, everything that you're saying right now is based in stats. Mark. It's based in stats. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Yo, it's based in stats. Yes, it is. 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 No one was the able, flair. No one was able to. No one was able to give examples, Mars, of when you gave stats. Okay, but you've also not answered based on what? Is this all based on the eye test? My eye test would tell me who the best passer of all time was. Yes, the, my eye test would tell me the best shooters of all time. If you want me to go to the stats for shooting, sure. Steve no, 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 no. You said you don't know. If you're going to I can tell you that so Joker pass better than Jason Kidd. Yep. With your fucking glasses, Mars. Please. No. Better passer than Jay Kidd. Your eyes show you that. You need to get your eyes checked. That's fine. So why 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 is why is um um Kidd a better passer than Jokic? Had them a four. No 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 no. I want I want them. Had them a four or five. But why why is why is Kidd better than a better passer than Jokic? Okay, I I get we had this. I'll I'll answer for you, right? We get all of this. I guess y'all use words like gravitation and all this stuff when it comes to passing and making whatever the case may be. When you can label something as passing the basketball, and I'm not saying it, it for it to lead to dimes. Because Jay Kidd led two teams to the NBA Finals with his passing. That's why. I'm not saying it on none of that, though. I don't. I know you don't. No, Del, I know you don't stand with what ticket just said. I know, I know, Del. I know you No, I'm not basing it on none of that. When you say passing, it has to, it has, you have to look at the flare and the, the flashing and something. You just have I to. Agree. I agree. You just have I, to. I, I so, agree, Dale. I saw, I saw your clip. You said, watch this Grizzly game. And I went back and watched it, right? And he had literally probably two, like, difficult passes to do. Honestly, two to three. When you say pass it, this is why I don't think Jokic passed better than a lot. I don't think he passed better than Ray John Rondo. Literally just pass the ball. I gotta passing go. Passing the ball, go. like the go. difficulty of getting the pass. I gotta go. He's not a better passer than Rondo. I he's got, not. I gotta go. Yo, mo most of Rondo's passes, especially when he was in Boston during that during KG, Paul Pierce, and Ray Allen, he was literally staying at the top of the key, just passing it to players coming off of no, um, which no, color. No, well, and, no, and that's no, a fact. On, no. and, that, and that's you, a bro, fact. He didn't pass no, the ball better than agree. Chris Webber, bro. No, he didn't pass the ball better than Alvin Sabonis. He didn't pass the ball better than Vlade Divac. He didn't pass the ball better. I can keep agree? going like DJ Khaled what, say, sucker. What are you saying, Fluid? I'm trying. Low, do you agree with the Nash? Sorry. You agree with that Kid. over Jason Kidd? Sorry, Jokic. No, I think Kidd? I think I think Kidd is better than um Jokic. Okay. However, I think I think I think I think I think I think what Ticket just said is also a lie. I think Jokic is a top seven passer, top six to seven passer all time. But I would I would I would just flip you have kids over Jokic. Yeah, yeah. I would I would I had them a four and five. It doesn't bother me. I would I would just flip. That's not what I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna argue with Jokic and I might put um CP3 over Jokic. But everybody else like Rondo, hell no, heavens no, absolutely not. Hell no. no. I'm never if you guys think kid is a better passer than Jokic and you think it's clear, I, I genuinely don't care. Don't Jokic guys, absolutely does not. it genuinely doesn't move me. Jokic, I mean, hey, kid, um, don't, hey kids, Hell don't do drugs. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't do drugs. Oh, Cause this is sickening what's going on in here, man. This man, y'all now this, I'm gonna tell y'all something. All you gotta do is go to YouTube and pull up Sabonis' highlights. Pull up Arbina Sabonis' highlights from passing. 
Pull up Chris Webber's highlights, passing the basketball. Pull up Vlade Divac's highlights, passing the basketball. We've seen Jokic before. The only thing is, is like I told Lo, baby, if you put Jokic back in their era, he wouldn't average 10 assists. The only reason why he does is because he's playing in this weak-ass era where the court is opening and shooting more shots. And ticket, once more, one more time. I've never said the reason why he's a better passer is because of assists. I'm talking about well, literally the ability... Literally the ability to pass the ball, the level of difficulty Chris he's able to pass. Yes. 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 Are we the Sabonis? Yes. And to be Man, fair to Sabonis, to be, to be fair to Sabonis, I would assume the, ability, the better, the better, the, 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 uh, his, uh, the best version of Sabonis, unfortunately we didn't, we didn't see. So there's possibility that all what he did overseas is better than Jokic. But it Chris Webber? So, 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 so low. From what, from you're what right, we you're seen. You're right about Sabonis. You're yes. right about Sabonis. We didn't see his best in the NBA. From, from, what, those, from what we for seen. For those of us that saw us, what he did yes. in Europe, yes. But it, you, we're not looking at that. So, yes. But, but Sabonis had all the skill, uh, specifically passing him out better than, than Jokic. But you're but right. Fool, what about Chris Webber? We, we didn't see his best. I, I think Chris Webber is so underrated. And this is, era, you know, I, I see the chat. I see the chat laughing at Vladi Divac. Go look at Vladi Divac. Vladi Divac is not a better pass. I'm, I'm he's res, not, res, he's not a better pass. Respectfully, in the chat, if you make your opinions based off highlights on any player, I'm not. Yeah. We're not. No, no. You're no, basically you, you're, you're, you're the one who told them to look at highlights. Oh, you just told you're the one. Said, that's why I said that. Just said go you're watch. the one who told them to watch highlights. You just you're the one who told them to watch highlights. You're averaging ten assists this year. Stop. No, we're not. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Now you're just chatting. 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 He's 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 just chatting. We're just talking low. And we're just talking passing low. If we're just talking passing, Chris Webber could that's put up the dumb. same numbers. Hold on. Chris Webber could put up the same numbers Joker's putting up now. And in this and you know what? You know this what? man you has spoke said, about numbers 10 I times never, more than never I have. Said numbers. Never said numbers. Last year, he didn't average 10 assists. He was still a better passer. I've never that, that, said that, numbers. I don't believe he's a better never. passer. Than you know what's so sad? We don't care what you believe. It's, I just you don't know. like that you believe is based on numbers. When no, 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 we argued up and down about John Stockton on five episodes. So you just don't make sense. Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to, bro? Shut up. Shut up. Like, you don't make sense. You don't make sense. You don't make sense. You just don't listen. You just don't listen. You just don't listen. I if make dudes like you we give up. Last time I checked, last time I checked, you've never beat me in a debate. Last time I checked, I swept you. Last time I checked, you got cooked. Last time, last time I checked, you lost a Jokic versus Will Chamberlain debate. Last time I checked, you lost a Ben Wallace versus Draymond Green debate. Last time I checked, it was three nil to me. Last time I checked. Ron, Jesus, all right, Ron. okay, all right. Ron, this is supposed Yo. to be the Valentine's Day love edition. What's going Woo! on? Ron? Nah, it's far from that. Clear. I want to. I want to be clear. If if we're number guy, then I wouldn't be saying anything crazy about stock. Quote unquote crazy about stocking. I would have stocking as a best about this, But you know what? You know what, you know what though? This. I don't like. I don't like that we don't use numbers at all. I, I think. I think we need to look at the numbers. I think we need to use the eye test. I think we need to look at it, its impact and effect on the game because all those things matter. And I think like. We, I know they paint Mars with this, with this, I think, incorrect numbers brush, but I don't think it should be any like if you're only using the eye test, you're wrong. If you're only using numbers, you're wrong. You can't just use one thing that's that's it's it's just wrong because love, there's more facets to the game and all those things matter. Let them push that fluid, let them push that narrative. All I know is, is dudes like Mars, I took his lunch and sold it back to his punk ass. That's, that's how I hilarious. dudes like him. You've, you've never beat me in the like debate. Before, all you do, and, all you like do is call me British like boy I, and lose. I'm going to say this to you, hey, Fluent. I'm going to yeah. say this to you right now, Fluent. This is the same kid that just told you that he thought Jokic is a better passer than J. Kid. That's all we need to know. That's all we need to know. Then J Kid, who led two teams to the NBA Finals, based off his do? ability he, to pass Lowe, the basketball. He is not intelligent. No, he's not intelligent. He that's doesn't. That's he's that's he's, that's he's, that's he's that's mentally that's incapable. That's he's that's mentally that's inept. That's not. He's hold on, hold on. That's he's not stats. That's, that's production, young fella. That's not stats. So, that's production. So, 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 he's so, so, he's, so, he's so, mentally inept. He doesn't. He's done. He's done. I want to ask you. Ticket, 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 ticket. Respectfully, you are the dumbest person I've ever met. This will be the same Valentine. Ticket, ticket. That doesn't make it because that means that that uh, means that John Stockton wasn't uh, a great man. passer until hey, Doug, '97. That's yeah, crazy. Doug, do, do you agree? Do you agree with uh, Do you agree with your guy Mars because he swept them in the debate that he's uh, he's definitely the winner because he smoked them. 
No, I think every single time I've seen Mars, every time I've seen Mars in the debate with Ticket, damn near every single time, regardless of that Black Friday event, I think Mars wins it almost every single time. So is it? Okay. It's like almost every single time. But the thing that gets me kind of no, frustrated. Hey, John B, I know you're going to say that, John, John B. I know you're going to say that. Hey, John, but John, John, you don't want no smoke with me one-on-one. -on -one. You don't want no smoke with me one-on-one. You don't want no smoke with me one-on-one. Hey, look, you don't want no You're the same dude that left. You the same dude that left open, Jim. I didn't mean, hold on, 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 don't bring no low, problem. bring your ass, boy, no and I'm going to step on it, no, you ain't period. Listen, like listen, I said listen, before, hey, 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 Doug, because I'm going to tell you something, Doug, I'm going to tell you something, Doug, 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 for you to come in here, Doug, as a good basketball mind, that I know you are, because you a good dude, I like you, but for you to uh, acknowledge and stand behind a dude who sat up here and said, Yoke is a better passer than Jay Kidd? And he said he's not talking about steps. Come on. I'm about to get he to that. Not, Wait, on, I'm about to get to that. He, he doesn't I'm agree with that. He doesn't agree with that. I'm about to get to that. Though. But listen, I'm he said he's not talking about a while now. No, he said he's not talking about stats, right? But they still haven't answered the question. If Jokic played in their era, he wouldn't average them assists. But guess what? If Jay Stop. Kidd and them dudes played Stop. in this era, they'd Stop. average more, right? So, and look, right and look, 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 so, 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 ticket. Just quick question. So, Jokic. I mean, John Stockton was not the best passer in the NBA until '97. Is that was that what you're saying? John Stockton. He he was. He had a he few years. Up, he right? he, no, he had a few years. To me, he had a few years. He was the best passer in basketball. But I, I mean, I had a lot of dudes that wasn't putting up numbers like that that I thought were better passers. I'm gonna tell you yeah. something. I thought Mark Jackson was a good, great passer. I thought. No, 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 better, better, better. Who was a better passer than Stockton before 97? Because Stockton never led his team to the finals. So up until 97, 98. So who no, was the I'm better, not saying that's the better? only, no, no. I'm not saying that's the only criteria is that you got to lead to the finals. I'm saying to you, you got, this all I'm basically trying to say. Y'all are crowning Jokic way too soon, bro. You putting him in the, in the arm of legends, and y'all going off a three year span, a two year span. And, and I, we talking about dudes that, that, that did this for. I've been trying. I've been oh, trying to. I, that I said. I said the word. We've, we've all said. So this is, we said this is the thing. This is the thing, this is the that thing that's getting me type upset with Mars and Low because I know, I know what you guys are basing this off of. And yes, it's numbers based. What they look at is the efficiency of the offense and how to how the based off numbers. No, no, no. I'm gonna tell you, you guys, Mars. I've seen you say points numerous times. You guys look at the efficiency of the offense and how high of the yeah. offense uh, 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 was operating with those yeah. guys being there. You guys, I know that's that that's nothing how you, to that's, do with passing. No, that's Mars, Mars, impact. I, know, I know that. I'm how, telling you, you're incorrect. You I'm telling Mars, you, you're incorrect. Mars, Mars, Mars. I'm Mars. telling you, you're incorrect. Dub, I'm telling you. Mars, I'm you're telling you what I believe. You're wrong. Mars, Mars, Mars. You've been on a road tonight, but trust me. Dub, I'm how are you telling me what I believe? Because I'm telling you the reasonings you use for for strictly passing. And you brought up Steve Nash and James Harden, right? Yeah. You did bring up. You did bring up, and when you we talked about that, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure when we talked about that, you definitely alluded to the team and how the team was operating. That's not that's not my words. My, can words. I tell you what I valued in person? How many times I've said it? The okay, amount of the amount of opportunities you create, the quality of the opportunities you create, and the variation of ways you can create those opportunities. That's what I said. You're talking about how I value Steve Nash's ability to uh, impact these offenses. And when I told you Steve Nash led six of the 15 best offenses of all time. Yes, that is numbers based. I've never denied I use numbers. What I have denied is people calling me a numbers guy and then can't tell me the numbers I use. Because I can tell everyone the numbers I use right now, here and now. True shooting percentage, efficiency, points per 75. The same thing as points per game, which everyone else loves to use. But I use points per 75 and all of a sudden I'm the stat guy. Offensive rating for teams. So I can see how well a team is performing offensively. Defensive rating for teams. So I can see how well a team is performing defensively. That is the extent of the numbers I use. And when it comes I, to even, hey, even Ron, me, don't worry. Hey, 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 Ron, don't worry. Hey, Ron. Ron, don't worry. I'm going to shut all this down. I'm going to get real NBA cats to come on the show 
get smoked every week. I'm, I'm going to go, go back and look at this episode, Mars. I'm going to see you. I'm going to go back, Mars, and look at this episode because I'm pretty sure you said I'm going to see if he's going to run this same bull jab with cats who really played in the association. But Mars, a lot of your That's opinions, fine. you're a lot, uh, Mars. A lot of your opinions are direct is direct relation to all of those numbers that you look at. I guess that's, that's what you do. I know you, Mars. That's exactly what yes, you I do. Yes, I use passing, I use efficiency maybe it to wasn't talk about passing. someone's efficiency. Maybe it yes. wasn't passing, but playmaking, all that efficiency, the offense, and that's something that you know do a lot. Yes, playmaking. You, you, yes, no, 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 no. The thing, the thing that passing. The whole discussion right now is passing. That's what I just. No, 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 Mark. Mars, I'm you not just you topic. just change your team. I'm you not, just change yes, your team. I did change my team. There we go. Okay, I'm so we agree with you go. about passing. Right, okay? Cool. okay, so okay. you and Low do this a lot in playmaking mm -hmm. and everything. What y'all do mm -hmm. is, which I don't get it because you guys aren't the team success guys. You guys will look and how great the team is operating, mm -hmm. and then use that as a basis to put a guy on a different level than somebody else. Completely okay. disregarding all the other pieces that's on that team, y'all lean with the being the anchor for this or being the main catalyst to this. So therefore, he's not, on not, this not, position. Not entirely, but sure. But uh, that's that's what you guys do. Yeah, partially, time. yes, partially. So my yes, whole thing partially. is my whole thing is Mars. It's okay. Just own up to it. No, it's I own, own that I numbers. use stats. No, I own okay. I want to the stats I, guys. No. You're one okay, of the stats now guys. you lose me. I want to like I said, I 100% use stats. There's no way I don't use efficiency when talking about how well someone scores. Because if you don't do that to me, you are dumb. There's no way I don't use volume when talking about how well someone scores. Because once again, if you don't do that, you are dumb. There's no way I don't talk. When I'm talking about the impact a player has to a team, do I just use wins and losses? No. You know why? Because that is dumb. I use stats with context. And because I don't use the traditional points per game, rebounds per game, assists per game, field goal percentage, free point percentage, free throw percentage, the traditional numbers that are found on the box score, which some people up here, Ticket explicitly, uses every single time he makes a debate, which are also stats, by the way, chat. So if you yeah, didn't know, someone saying someone averages 30 and 15, that's stats. It's the same way I would use someone using 60% true shooting. They are both stats. But because one of them is a stat you guys in the chat use, because you don't understand contextualized stats. So you see the box score and all of a sudden it's not stats, it's just something everyone knows. So whenever people use those stats, you don't see them as stats. When I use a stat that is actually more contextualized and more valid, such as relative true shooting or scoring adjusted per era, which a lot of people should like to do because a lot of people tick it, like to say, what would a guy do in this era and that era when there's adjusted points per game and adjusted efficiencies well, that can help him do well, that? Well, well, let me say I'm, not, you, I'm not talking to you. I'm not talking that's to you. That's not what well, you I'm said not, my name. You say yeah, my I said your so, name. So, I was so, talking so, about so, you, so, not so, to you. I was talking about you, not to you. I was talking about you, not to you. I was talking about you, not to you. Like I said, Mars. I'm Mars, talking about you. Say, Mars, you. I'm going to say this to you, brother. Listen to what I'm saying right now. Before I always say stats, the one thing I talk about is winning. When I mm -hmm. talked about uh, old boy from the Wizards, I use winning. That is the most important stat to me at first when, before we go to the numbers. The numbers to me is the secondly important because it contributes to the winning if you are winning. So, and my whole point to you is, Mars, is that you guys, like elders say, y'all have eliminated the eye test. Right, so you can use advanced stats, this, that, and the third. That doesn't mean nothing. And I'm gonna tell you why. Hold on, you can shake your head all you want, Low. You can shake your head like uh like D Lo Brown or whatever, it don't matter. I'm gonna tell you, it does not you need you guys eliminate the eye test. So you can say advanced stats will do this, advanced stats will do that. But if you put Jokic out there against real dogs, is he and he has to play a different type of system in a different era? You're he's not going to be putting up these same assist numbers. So, what I'm saying is, you aren't going to be re regarding him in the same way. Jokic would have got pumped back in that era playing the game he played now, pumped, yes, beat up, and he wouldn't be able to play the game he's playing. He's See, playing this game that's where because you go, a, and I'm like, hold on, bro, and hold I on, like, but, it's, I like what you, but you go to an duh, extreme where you don't have duh, to. Do, it's true. Know? Tell me, don't how many assists you think. Think Jokic would average Assist in the late that. 90s, early 2000s. Once again, he's chat, he's hear the numbers. Average. Hear the numbers. No, 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 I'm asking, no, I'm asking, hold on. I'm asking Doug this question because if we're saying that Jokic is such a great passer, I'm asking him how many assists do you think he would average in the late 90s, early 2000s? He could probably average maybe six. Okay, right. Just make sure okay, everyone right. heard so, the okay, numbers. No, 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 wait, wait, stay right there, stay right there, stay right there, because you're going to make my point right there. Stay right there. So how many assists in this era do you think a Sabonis – a Chris Webber, a Divac, and all those dudes who were great passers, who these dudes don't give credit to, how many assists you think they would average in this but, era where there's but, more threes, more open court, more shots? Go ahead.
But what Mars and Low isn't saying that, but when no, you, what you, they're I'm saying, no, no, you, I'm, I'm no more. No, 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 no check, check it. I need I'm you to understand you, this because I'm not in this conversation think... with you guys. When you sit here and say things like Jokic would get bodied, Jokic would, it's impossible for him to be doing anything like that. He's going to be a chump. That is just wrong. That is wrong. Jokic in any era will be able to get off. Would he put, be putting up ten assists? Probably not. But damn, he's one. He's probably the best passing big man ever in NBA history. So yes, I do think that he will be having more dimes than a lot of those other guys. You can't just sit here and say that he's just gonna get bodied by everybody because that's not true. That's just not true. Ticket. So you just can't. You can't discredit. You can't discredit. Happy Valentine's. No, no, no. Hold on. Happy Valentine's Day. I gotta bounce. I love you all. Have a good night. All right, peace. peace. All right, peace, Floyd. Peace. Yeah. Hey, Floyd, Floyd, before you go, Floyd, answer that question. Do you think Jokic is an all-time better passer than Sabonis? In the NBA? In the NBA? Yes, because we didn't see the best of Sabonis. No, 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 no. I'm just saying, no, no, period. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying, do you think Jokic is a better passer than, than, than uh, Sabonis? I, I not in the NBA, period. I saw Sabonis do in Europe. I think he had as much, if not more, skill, but we never got to see it in the NBA. So I have to go with Jokic because it was in the NBA and the European League isn't it wasn't as good isn't as good as the NBA. So yes, to answer your question, it's it's both. I think he was more skilled, but we didn't get to see it, so it's Jokic over Sabonis. Right, cool. But I think but but let me say this if Sabonis, what I saw from him when he was healthy and had good feet in Europe, had been playing right now in the NBA, we'd be having the same conversations about him that we're having about Jokic. That's all I'm saying, bro. Yes. He ain't nothing we ain't never seen before. That's all I'm but saying. Chris, but Chris Weber, who I saw, no. Chris, Chris Weber, bro, passer. Chris Weber was a, a hold on. Low, let me He's ask you a question. How many assists was Chris Weber averaging with the Kings? Probably like okay. five. I'm not. 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 i am He's just gonna say he would be averaging the same assists. You no, know, I'm saying if you put C Web, you said C Web would average around five assists with the yeah. with the Kings. The Kings played a move it pass it around style, so it wasn't the same style that the Denver's playing now. If you put him in the same offense, ball, long range, mid range, post up, and his ability to see the floor, pass the ball, push the rock up the floor, and he had all the skills Jokic had. I'm asking you, what do you think? Do you think C Web could put up the same numbers Jokic put up now with the with the Nuggets? Uh, 10 assists, I don't think so. No, he get he's, his assists will go up though, but I don't know about what? 10 assists. I think he can get to seven. I don't think he would add. I think he get well, to eight. I'm saying, I'm saying with I that. think Jokic is like, I don't think you understand. Like, and I Jokic, gotta, and, give, credit. And Jokic, I gotta give credit to Jokic for this. His he vision, does not dominate his ball. vision off of the post, his vision of just knowing where guys is at, even through just a pick and roll, bro. There's times we see plenty of times he will operate in a pick and roll and just hit it to the wide open man when the hell when well, the C Web does that too. Like, C Web was doing no, that no, too. No, 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 but Jokic, Jokic does this on a just he's bro. No, he's C Web different. is catching the ass low from right. Hold on, crazy. C Web is catching it in the post behind his back, behind his defender, threatening through somebody else's legs to a to another guy. Man, Did you see him in Sacramento? Dead, how yes. Yo, yo, yo. Hold on right quick. Hold on right quick. Uh, I just got an announcement uh, in a, a formal uh, basically proposal, if you will. I just talked to Shaq and he said right now that he wants a two-on-two -two versus the stat geeks. <laughs> he said he said the big dogs, him and ticket versus the stat geeks. Do you Let's guys go. accept? Let me let me let me let me y'all doing it right now. Y'all doing it right now. No, 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 no. He said it's at the end of this month. I was about to say, uh, all right, yeah. Wait, and I want to say this too. The, yeah, you like, I'm I'm I just said you, I just said you, I'm fine. I just said, I just said I'm fine. I just said I'm literally saying I'm fine with it. I just said that. I just said I'm fine with it. I'm now answering, I'm now all right, Mars. I I I don't care. Just hey, I, hey, Shaq, I got your back. And, and listen, Lowe was capping on them years he played with Shaq because those years he played with Shaq, remember when Shaq was out, Kobe had more 40s than a liquor store. So, yes, he was. He did have great offensive years. That's not, that's not what he said, though, Ticket. No, ticket, no, that's no, not no, what no. He I'm said. saying he said it was impressive. Hold on. He said it was impressive with what Kobe was doing those years playing with Shaq because he knew that those were really Kobe's prime years. So if Shaq wasn't there, Kobe Bryant's offensive numbers would have been greater. Now, would they have won a chip? Who knows? Yeah. 
who, who, no, they who, would no, not have won a chip. Stop, stop, stop the bullshit. No, they would not have won. Listen, hold they on, would low, not have won. Low, hold on, low. Listen to what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying, low. I'm saying not if you take away Shaq, but I'm saying you would have had to put a different player there. Let's say he had a Kevin Garnett or a different star player there. Oh my That's God. not out the room. Kevin Garnett. Okay, fine. Oh, Shaq, listen, fuck Shaq. It, fuck it. I'm saying, I mean, I mean, excuse me. Low, I'm saying that because when you gave him power of the soul, he went to three straight NBA finals. Yes, and do you think that those years are his best offensive seasons? No, I'm not low. You're that not was low, but that was no, no, no. I heard you. My question, y'all not hearing for me. For me, no, you, for me not, listen, listen, listen. What for is me, his best? Oh, oh, no, let's let explain something to you. No, his here's why, no, no, no. Here's why, hold on. Here's why I agree with what Shaq was saying about the gears with, uh, with uh, Kobe and Shaq. Because if you watch Kobe, bro, Kobe scaled back his game. His offensive game was still up there, but he scaled it back because he was playing with Shaq. But listen to this, low. In the game, Shaq didn't play in 03. Kobe averaged 32 points, 32.3 points, 8.3 rebounds, and 5.8 assists in 0203. In the year before that, in the games without Shaq, Kobe Bryant averaged 28 points per game. He averaged 28 points, 28.4, 6.3, 6.2 without Shaq. But the year before that, in 01, when they won their first chip in the games without Shaq, Kobe Bryant averaged 31.9 points per game, 7.8 rebounds, and 3.9 assists. That would have put Kobe as one of the leaders in the NBA in scoring had he would have had without played without Shaq for the whole season. Because back then, 31 points per game was leading the league in scoring or second. Period. Ticket. Ticket. Wait, wait, wait. Ticket. Even with that being said, it still would not have been his best offensive seasons. And y'all tiptoeing around is to keep up some bullshit take. It's disgusting. <laughs> the best seasons. Of Kobe offensively was 06, 07. If you want to say 08, fine, but I would have said 05. But you want to say 08, that's fine as well. Those are his three best offenses. But that was on low. But that was on bad teams where he put up a lot of shots. We that telling you, mean, and, that, and, that's better... the, and, that, and that's the difference, right? We can stop it right there. That's the difference. In my opinion, I don't give a fuck if you win or lose, bro. If you are putting, if this is the best performance that you have done, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tax you because you're playing with Smush Parker instead of Shaquille O'Neal. That's stupid. Him but you putting up 81 bill? points and 62, bro. That's that. That's who he is as a player. That's him as a player. That's who he is. Those are his best offensive seasons. So were you impressed by Bradley Beal? You cut out. But I'm assuming you're talking about me impressed with Bradley Beal averaging 30. I'm assuming. Oh, he went out completely. It's just, it's just, bro, this is such a, uh, it's such a, it's such a discredit to who Kobe is to sit there and say that 01 is his, you're the most impressed with him. The, the season where he averaged 35? You went more impressed with that? Are you serious? Why not 03? What about 03? I think even 03 would have been a great example. But he can't use it because Shaq is dumb because they they lost in 03. They didn't win a championship in 03. Uh -huh. So Shaq he can't he can't he can't, he can't he can't he can't he can't oh well both of them really he can't, <laughs> he, can't he can't he can't he can't Shaq Shaq PS PC Shaq couldn't use 03 because he was contingent on oh that's when they won so he couldn't use 03 but 03 is another really great offensive season from Kobe but it, because he lost all of a sudden no nah, it, it ain't that it's not as it's not as impressive as what he did in 01 that's that but are y'all a uh, chat? Do y'all not understand what I'm no, saying I right feel now? What you said. I feel that's what you that's said. crazy to sit here and say that you were more impressed with 01 than you were with, with him averaging 35, putting up 81 points in a game, 62 and three quarters. When he was had we he was like, I think one of those he was like like ridiculous efficiency, giving you five, six assists alongside with the 30 plus points. What are we talking about? So right there, like to piggyback off of what you just said about Kobe, that's why, in my opinion, just to say like Jokic is a better offensive player than Kobe Bryant, that's just something I'm just not going to get with, mainly because I hear all the points you have for Jokic, but I can't imagine what Kobe would do in this era, bro. Like, I, I haven't even jumped off that cliff yet. I'm saying I'm waiting for the playoffs. You're that, waiting for the playoffs? Oh, uh, but, so but, you... I, I, but I also said that as well on low nose. I also said okay, I would like okay. to see what he would do in the postseason. They just cut They just cut that out. That part <laughs> out of my conversation. But I also said that as well. I said that. I said, yo, if you want to look at longevity without it out, Kobe, I mean, I can't deny the fact that Kobe was playing at that level for basically a decade. I can't overlook that. If you want to argue the postseason, for sure. I'm And I'm willing to wait on that as well because I do want to see what Jokic looks like this season when he has what he has. But, bro, in terms of, like, 
you being a volume yeah. scorer and playmaking at that level, come on. What are we talking about right if now? If he goes out early, what are you going to say about him this year, Lo? If he put up 30 points, he, he averaged 50 points in the first round and 12 assists, guess what? He would still be one of the greatest offensive players of all time. Oh, it don't I, matter. I, I think somebody so. said somebody yes. said in the chat. Somebody somebody said in the chat Kobe did play in this era. What the fuck are y'all talking? No. No, he this did. is not he, the he, same no, era. He, he the, t- the, the early the twenty, the era. early twenty tens do not compare. No, to no not even. Not it is even not close. the same era. Not even, not even close. close. You got Kobe Bryant, where there's guys getting off not even by the quick close. shot. Go watch a game Kobe. from twenty fifteen. Yes, it's, it's a different game. It's a different it game. Like, hey, hey Lo, Kobe, let me ask you Kobe would go. Kobe would go crazy in this era. I think you know so crazy. I would. I would about to say. I would. I would easily argue that Kobe could average thirty if he was if he was on a team that would allow him. 37 points. I think he would average six or seven assists as well. So why you hold on? So low, hold, hold on. Wait right there, low. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. So why would you? Why would you say then? Do you think that that Jokic is a better offensive because player? That's than a Kobe? hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. So I would you say it wasn't fact? Hold on. Would you say you weren't speaking on fact? What I just said is not a fact either. Kobe would average 37 points. That's a hypothetical. No, I'm asking. You, no, no. I'm saying no, no. I'm saying when you said you thought Jokic was a better offensive player than Kobe, you were basing that just off of. The last three years for Jokic. Yes, that's all it was. Oh, so you're not saying you you don't think that that's in cement all time? No, I'm talking. I'm talking about at their absolute best, not longevity. Because longevity, yes, is Kobe. When you put everything together, yes, I would say Kobe. But in specifically talking about at their best, their three year best, no, I'll pick Jokic. But over the course of an entire career, postseason included, no, I'm, I would pick Kobe. And you're saying that basically because of the points combined with the assists, right? This shit ain't never gonna end. It's, 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 it's got more serious. It's it's everything. It's it's the it's the points, the 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 rate, how accurate he is, the rate of efficiency with it, how he's actually doing it. Because be one thing if Jokic is just like dunking the ball, but he ain't even doing that. Like it's out of the right. post oh, face oh, right. up, well, it's low, I agree with you, low. I agree with you on that. But here's the one thing you left out. We all know this. Kobe was a was a tough shot taker. And maker, so his percentage wasn't as great because of the type of shots Kobe took. Kobe took some of the toughest shots in NBA history and made and made them at a high rate for the shots that he took. But that's the reason why his field goal percentage wasn't higher, and we know that. So when we say I that know, Jokic wasn't taking that. Kobe type of shots, we know that much. I know, I know that in in ticket, I can inflate, I can give Kobe a, a pass based off of the era he played in, as well as I can I can inflate his efficiency up by like three to five percentage, and Jokic would still be higher relative to the era. Jokic, Jokic is like almost like ten percent. So, 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 you would draft, you would draft, you would draft no, Jokic over Kobe. Kobe, Kobe. Is what you're saying? No, because no, I don't know. I don't know what their what the rest of his career is going to look like. So no. Yo, okay. fellas, we, we, we got to keep it pushing. Though. We've been talking about this for damn near an hour. Um, <laughs> So I put up a poll in the chat. I said, what do you guys want to do? All-star ranking. So ranking each player right now or all the top players right now in the league, giving them letter grades or doing a, a draft for all the all-stars. Lowe is in favor of doing a draft for all the all-stars. Yeah. We have enough people up here where we can split oh. it into teams. That well, actually, is so no, no, no. crazy. You said what? I said it's so crazy you haven't gotten to this yet. It's wild. I, know. I mean, we, we <laughs> damn near four hours in. We'll Come on. We're hey, we we, we going five there. hours? We're going five hours? Hell on? no. Y'all can go five hours. <laughs> After this draft, I'm this, bouncing. What, what, do you, what do you say? Hey, I heard you to love, Dr. Dr. Lowe. I heard you to love, Dr. Oh, man. Dub, yeah. what, you, what you be saying, Dub? What do I be are saying about what? Are you on here to fraud? Oh, are you here to pot or are you here to fraud? Hey, hey what's, what's up, here? bro? Are you, you here, here to pot or fraud? Yo, what's up, yeah. I'm just switching the topics. Hey, check it out, chat. I need you guys to say me an order of the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Order of the draft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Man, I'm here to do this draft and keep it pushing. Are there enough all stars? <laughs> Are there yeah. enough all stars for this? Yeah, yeah. everybody get five. There's everybody six of us. Five. That's thirty people. No, no, no I'm, not I'm not going. I'm not going. Oh, okay. okay. Oh, okay. Oh, got a thick and shorty waiting on him. We gotta wrap this up. Ooh, no. Hey, uh-huh. love. Come on, Sharon is Karen, man. Let me, let me get love, her. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What love? Uh-huh. Sharon and Karen is crazy. Uh-huh. No, I said let me get a friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> look at Bob. Uh, hey, Bob, Bob is crazy. Bob is hey, crazy. This is how Lo be doing, dog. Lo be doing the Dougie on them thing. Good. Uh, <laughs> he sound yeah, like, he, he sound like a camera. Hey, watch wow. I put, put my, watch I put my leg up. <laughs> oh my god! All right, Gabe. I got you, Gabe. I got you, Gabe. This is the order right here. All right, we're going Dub, Low, Bob, T, 
ticket Mars. Oh boy. Dang, he made Mars the last man? after What's a day up, like gang? this. That's crazy. No, nah, me, me and Gabe are sworn enemies. It's fine. Sworn enemies now? What happened? I just don't like his face. Face <laughs> ass. That's crazy. All right, y'all. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get into it. Uh Doug, yo, you dude, yo, <laughs> all, all, all stop, stars. Please, stop. Low, low, low. I'm, a, I'm, not, nah, nah, I'm not going to do it to you. I'm not going to do it to you. My bad. Seabrook Network is crazy. Yo, on, they're man. wilding in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. One question. Yeah, do, you mo- do you <laughs> do you motorboat them or do they motorboat you? That's crazy. <laughs> That's I'm crazy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had crazy. to get that one off. I had to get that one off. My nasty, bad. My bad. My nasty. bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, I don't even know how to move on from that. <laughs> my bad. My nasty. Bad. Nasty. Yo, but, nasty. Look, I couldn't hold it anymore. Draft, I couldn't hold it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Before we get into this draft, I got a quick question. Yo, uh, Bob, Yo. who's winning the two on two? The <laughs> the mathletes. <laughs> Mars and, Mars and Low or, or the athletes ticket in, in Shaq. They're well, about to I mean, or they're about, will, they're about to debate. Well, I know I was watching, I was tuned in, I was tapped in the whole time. I just couldn't jump on the stream for a little while. But um, I mean, you know, you know how I go. You know, it's hey, it's basketball over basketball. So I mean, I mm. gotta I gotta go, I gotta go that way. Oh, with hey, well, you know, which much love to love to uh Low and Mars, you know. Well, they guys, don't they're not really talking guys. about basketball, they're talking about wind skin ball. You gotta win for it to count. If you ain't winning, it hey, ain't you count. know, hey, I'm I'm on board for that. Like, if you don't win, it don't it don't count. That's why that's why Kareem's all in the '70s don't count, right? Hey, you call you could spin it how you want to. If you ain't, ain't no spinning. He ain't spinning. He about ain't spin the too, W. Bobby. I'm not gonna lie, because for some reason you highlighted Kevin Durant his failures, but you're not talking about when Kareem missed it back to back playoffs. We have a draft. I mean, we, 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 we just yeah, have we a do have a draft. We have a draft. We have a draft. Okay. Okay. Let's, 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 do draft. let's do the draft. Let's do the draft because yeah. you see, draft, I see, draft, I see, draft, I see Lowell Mars running out of gas. They 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 sipped on that motor oil for too long, and now <laughs> oh, now wow. now it's whooping their ass. They was on Basketball <laughs> Reference all night last night, and now they can't stay up for this. This is ridiculous, Mars. No, I got you something. I'm gonna be up all night. Bobby, I'm gonna be up all night. I'm pushing. I'm pushing. I'm gonna be up all night. Don't be there, Bobby. Don't worry about that. I see you, Lowe. I'm gonna be up all night. Don't you dare worry about that. I hear you. I will be up all night, Bobby. Don't you. All right. This man got the this man got the rose in his mouth set up. Low gonna pull up on the shoulder with the rose in his mouth. Don't you dare worry about that. I will be up. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, low. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, hey, check boy. it out. This is one of the best episodes so far. I know we say that a lot, but this one is really golden. Go ahead and like it and subscribe if you haven't. All right, let's dive into uh into this. Yo, Dub, it's on you. You got the first pick in the draft, and we will be snaking. Is this so, injured? Is this injured or not injured? Everybody. Everybody. everybody? If if Damn. you were named an all star or a replacement, you're available. Oh, okay, KD. Oh, yeah. okay. Katie. Just let me know when you're ready. Ron. It's on you. Uh, give me, give me Giannis. Yuck. Bob. <laughs> you're disgusting. Demontis Sabonis. <laughs> of course, of course. Yeah, uh, ticket. It's on you. Um, give me uh, it took Katie Giannis Sabonis. I gotta put Giannis up there, man. Hey, give me um. Jim, Jimmy Butler ain't even on the All Star team. He not. It's sad to say. Damn, yeah, I don't think he played enough for it. He wasn't that good. No, nah, he, yeah, he played. Hey, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me Tatum. Mm. <laughs> no, you, see the chat? you see the chat? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. chat is crazy. I'm sorry. You know what's so crazy? I got, I got red bottoms on right now too. I definitely, <laughs> <laughs> I, de- I definitely like Winnie the Pooh right now, boy. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. That Mars, who you crazy. got, Mars? Stephen Jokic. Oh, that's crazy. Damn. Back on you, take it. Um, give me De'Aaron Fox. Oh, god damn. <laughs> <laughs> that's so dope. That's wild. Um, shit, I don't even want to do it no more. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it though, man. Fox deserve it, bro. They 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 really they shafted him, bro. Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, without a doubt. Let me see. Um, give me uh, give me JB, Jalen Brown. Hey, low. Hey, but see how you disagree with me, low. That's why I was saying when I was saying about top ten, 
you see how you praising De'Aaron Fox? You praising him because he was leading his team. Even though he put up the same type of numbers last year, they was losing. Now he's winning. You you giving him praise. That's what I'm talking about right there. Nah, I think he should. I, th- I think he playing better than he was last year. I do think he is. I, I was praising him last year anyway. So he, you he think he's playing good. better, or you think they yeah. got better players? Uh, it it could be a, a mixture of both, but I just think he's playing better this year than he was last year. <sighs> I'm I'm next, so give me Joel Embiid. Let's Crazy. fucking go. You guys are nuts. Yeah, give I was me, I was surprised. Though, let's bro. go. Let me get Luca. Ooh. And then that, and then let me get uh. I don't need that ball hog on my team. Oh, I'm just playing. Guys. You know what? I made a big mistake. Don't say oh, it. Why not? <laughs> I made a huge mistake. I made a huge yeah. mistake. I just now thought about it, man. I'm gonna shoot myself for this. I made yeah. a huge mistake. I'm, I'm taking LeBron too. I'm taking LeBron. Luca and LeBron. I made a huge mistake, bro. Mm. Dang, somebody's gonna take it too. <laughs> Yo. Um. <laughs> Let me get. He said I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I did. Well, you got, you, hey, look, if somebody say it, you gonna see what I'm talking about. Um, let me get. Oh man, my guy should have been up there first, man. It's crazy. <laughs> let me get Dame. Let me get Dame. I need a ball handler. I need a ball handler. You like guys <clears throat> who can handle balls? Okay. <laughs> All right, Doug. All right, Doug. Um, Bam, Bam made it right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bam did make it. Yeah, yeah. Let me get Bam. Damn! Oh, 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 I thought he's gonna. I thought he's gonna keep dropping. Me too. This man said. This man right here said he wanted the best ball handler, but he didn't pick the, the heartbreak kid, Kyrie Irving. Come on, man! No, I should have no, picked rather, Kyrie first, man. I rather that Dan. Man, I don't want no dysfunction in my locker room. Take it, you take it. <laughs> <laughs> chill, let me chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I'm taking. I'm going with the heartbreak kid, Kyrie Irving. Dang, he picked, Hands off the merchandise. Pick Bam crazy early, man. Oh, I thought man. I thought he's gonna keep dropping. No cap. To me too. Um, what other bigs make the? What? Let me check. This. Chill out. Don't, don't don't look at it, Doug. Don't I look gotta at look it. at it because I don't look, remember look, who look, made hey, the All Star hey, game. Hey, uh, hey, uh, I guess I'm gonna just be saying dude, whatever. Just just is. bring your basketball in mind, dude. I don't know. I'm, 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 really, I'm running. I don't even know who. I don't remember who made the All Star game. No, no y'all, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now, y'all should know. After, after the. Le- I don't care about after LeBron, KD, JT, and JB. What other wings made it? No, there's there's a couple. There's there's a few. There's more a couple wings. that y'all not think about. Oh, I'm gonna let, I'm let, no, I'm let y'all handle you're it. You're missing a golden one. I think you're. I know it's one nappy head chunk running around here. You're missing no. one <laughs> golden one right now, Mars. I'm not Mars, come on. Hey, he on the clock, man. Hey, yeah, we up here. Um, was 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 Paul George and also? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah, that's, that wasn't who I was talking about, though. No, that was one George. of mine, though. That was. One let me have Paul George. Um, let me get Paul George and Anthony Edwards. Mars got a good ass team. Mars voted no. Mars I don't good. know who made the All Star team. I think there's an easy one, bro. Just bro, think- it, there's, hey, there's, get- there's, there's one more really good one. Like, one. Right. I'm trying to think because I'm not picking Nappy Head. I'm trying to think. Um, oh my god. Um. Hey, dog. I'm trying to think who Nappy Head is. <laughs> over, there, over, there, over there, over there, over there in the um, over there in the garden. Uh, but let me see. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, 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 he was never getting pissed. I just forgot he existed. Me, man, dog. I'm definitely not getting pissed. Hey, did the Siaka make it? He did make it. Yes, yes. yes. Ah. Yeah, give, give me, oh give me pass game. Is that, is, Dub, is that who you was talking about? No, that's not who I was talking oh, okay. about. But I was hoping that Siaka would fall. Yeah, give me Siaka. Oh damn! There is someone I forgot. yeah. There's somebody that you forgot about. Yep. Yeah, we going big. I'm, 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 let me get Lori Markin in at that three. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good pick right there. Low, don't you? I'm low. Don't you fucking dare. Big ass shotgun. Oh wait, no, you can't even use them on your team. Yeah, I can't. You, I, even even though I have a ball handle already, right, I'm gonna get another one. Though. Don't worry about it, dog. Oh no, no, no. That's not who I'm talking about. That's not who I'm well, talking you, about. You must, you must, you must want a big man then. I like big fat, big fat man. Big oh, boy. Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's um, what I wasn't gonna take. Need a big boy. Let me get uh let me get let me get Shay. That's who I should have took instead of oh, I was hoping I was hoping man, I could get him last That's who I forgot. This man Lowe got the forgot. list in front of his face. Oh, oh, that's who I you got the that's list? Right. You yes, know he got man, the list. You know Lowe got the list. Lowe has notes. What in the world? 
Low, that's no, okay. low got low got that screen in the front right. He looks to the right. right. You seen him, right? Rewind the tape. He looked to the right, right? Yeah, he looked to the right. <laughs> Bro, the no, screen. Yeah. Yo, y'all are right here on the screen. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? What am I supposed to look at? Uh, uh, has nuts. Yeah. Listen. Y'all are uh, on the screen, dog. I'll just pick. I'll I'll pick Zion, then Donovan Mitchell. Like Zion, oh That's man. Fine. And y'all y'all letting D Mitch drop this far is crazy. And there's another one y'all missing too. Don't say hey, it. Up, Don't say it. I forgot about all those guys you just said. Yo, Dub, tell me that again. I'm putting up a poll right now. that ass is uh, low carrying notes on him right now. <laughs> Zion, <laughs> uh, Zion, and uh, Donovan Mitchell. That's fire. That's fire. That's, that's tough, dog. That's tough right there, dog. Dub, your squad <clears throat> is tough. I ain't gonna front. You a margin. But we're just running. I swear we're, we're just running, running bro. You definitely <laughs> have a all star team. 100 have a all-star team. <laughs> yeah. tough, bro. I need I need um perimeter defenders. Dame and Shea not gonna cut it. I'm happy he fell this far. I'm gonna go with you holiday. Oh, I forgot oh, he's an oof. He made the oh, all star game. You're you definitely it. looking right. at notes. No, no way. Cause he got because I was surprised that he made it over Harden. Wow! That's no, 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 no. He's been playing both. He's been playing both ends uh, at, at a very high level. I mean, as he always does. He deserved to make it over hard, bro. Hard done. I, I actually, I'm actually happy that he made it. I'm happy he made it another season. I'm happy he didn't make it for sure. Facts. Who was it on? Uh, it's on me. Let me get. Oh, wow. Let me. Let me get. I need that point guard. I wanted. I wanted a uh, SGA, but I forgot about Ja. Oh shoot! Oh man, we all forgot about John Moran. Nah, nah, nah. He, but John too busy. John too busy out here acting telling stupid. somebody he gonna. John, yeah. John too busy out here telling somebody he gonna pull up. Yeah, he acting stupid. Oh my god, <laughs> man, I'm not taking. I'm. I am not. I am not taking Julius Randle. So you can give me Shay. Already got Shay. Already got Shay. He got Shay. Who got Shay? Oh, I got Shay. Lord, have, hey, who else is there outside of Julius Randle? <laughs> I know, I know, I know Julius Randle's there. There's two players There's I can think of. There's a Randall. big one. There's a big name, y'all. Yeah. Julius Randle's there. Name. Julius Randle. Triple no, no, J. No, 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 no. Don't love, don't don't help him. Don't help Julius him. Julius Randle. I don't, want, I don't want him either because to me he shouldn't have made it. Julius oh, Randle. Just get Demar Derozan. Yeah, he's never touching my Yeah, yeah, give me DeRozan. DeRozan oh, my God, Tyree. No way you're picking DeRozan. Oh, my God. Yeah, I'm picking God. DeRozan, man. If DeRozan made it, I'm, I'm picking him, bro. I'm not, I'm not picking I'm not picking um JJJ. I'm not picking him, bro. Mars, he shouldn't have been in the game. Mars, don't fold this. Mars, don't fold this. The only, the only players I can think of is Julius Randle, Tyrese Halliburton, Jaron Jackson Jr. He need yeah, to be. I think, I think Mars, that's the only three. You're folding. Three you're folding. You're folding. You're folding, Mars. Those are the only three that's left. Mars, you damn, you damn, gotta get. Jaren Wait, that's Jackson. the only three that's left. No, I was gonna. Yeah, Jaron Jackson. Jr. I'm taking Jaron Jackson Jr. But wait, I can't. I can't. Oh, Devin Booker. Wait, wait, wait. Devin Booker didn't make the All Star game. No, he's been hurt. He's been like, hurt. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's you gotta true. play. You gotta take Wait, Triple J. Yeah, yeah Bro, Jackson, Devin Booker, Jr. Kawhi, AD, all them, all them dudes that's been on the wheelchairs. They ass is out of here now. Wow, that's crazy. I thought. Hey, hold on. Hey, Tiki, Tiki. Does does this mean that Zion is Terry Claw? Yeah, he is, bro. No, nah, he, he ain't Terry Clough. He just me. Nah, he, he, he know, built, he just, he, no, he no, built he like just, me. Yeah, he, he built just, like me. I mean, he just, oh, bro, he, he, he just, his bones is, his bones is fragile. I mean, he got more heart than AD. I say AD's Terry Clough because you, you touch him, he going down. Zion, he just, man. He built like me. Know, Ticket, he built like me, boy. <laughs> yeah, but see, Zion, hey, but the one thing about Zion, though, is, man, I, I'm disappointed in all his injuries, bro. It's, it's, it's going to kill his career, man. Motor boat. Yo, um, in the sport. Hey. Yo, yo, um, uh, Mars, you picking Triple J or not, bro? Yeah, Jer I said that like four times. Because oh, okay. I know nobody picking hey, Julius Randle. Randall. Yeah, Julius Randle was never touching my team. Zion gonna end up like Sean Kemp, man. We, hey, yo, we ain't even Julius Randle gonna be mad at us, man. We ain't even put him on the list. I don't want him on my team either. Yeah, I'm he's not okay. Keep him he's I don't want him. He's fine. Yo, I'm with I, you. I was, I'm with I, you. I, I obviously want this shit. Ox, no, you didn't. I like. I like. Man. I mean, low, your your team is. Fire, you don't have no ball. Oh, you got you got Ja. I'm not gonna lie. My team is crazy. I, I'm. I genuinely think my team is perfect. Chat. Let me know who won. I should have got PG. Dub one. No, my my bad. Low one. Low yeah, got Giannis and the same team. Crazy, low got bro. low got defense, offense, and and he got Dame hitting threes from everywhere. Low one. Yeah, love this crazy. I got I got the greatest basketball yeah, player of all time yeah, on my team. Low one, bro. Low got the Dumb. Greek freak. He got the Whoa. Greek freak. Oh, are you forgetting I have your kitchen? Are you forgetting I have your kitchen? Don't do that. No, y'all saying dub one? Man, low no, one. Low, 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 low. 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 low got Giannis, MB, 
He got Drew Holiday locking up all guards. Then he got Shea giving you 30 and Dane pulling up from who's, Africa. Come on, who's man. Who's locking up KD and LeBron? And Dub, Dub, I'm sorry. Your team has literally no size. I'm, Y'all have I'm, no I'm, size. Like, that's, that's, Y'all that's, that's, Look at big my And Bede and Giannis is having a field day on your oh, team. Dude, oh, Bro, we're having a field day on everybody. It hey, now we're gonna say, now we're gonna see if LeBron can really guard the post. I'm not gonna lie, yo, <laughs> low. KD, Luca, and LeBron would take turns on Giannis. Bro. Nah, D- Dub just has faith in the one v five, one through five LeBron narrative. That's what. Dub, my team, my team, scrape your team. Only thing I like about, about Mars is, is uh, J- Jackson Jr. getting in foul trouble too much, man. He does. He does. He does. I call it, if he goes up against, if he goes up against that lineup, low guy or against uh, big ox guy, Bob. He in trouble. Yeah, now, Giannis, is, lie, Giannis I, is probably not Jared Jackson Jr. Ox, if you if you pick SGA over um over marketing, I might have I might have leaned more, but that Laurie pick. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, low. The only person I don't know how you I don't know how you stop a Stephanie. Hey, low, low. The only is. person that locking me up on your team is Drew. If B gonna be put on an island, he done. Giannis, Giannis, on, island, Giannis on KD. Giannis, no, stop. Giannis is not locking up KD. Yeah, Giannis, Giannis ain't even coming. Giannis ain't even coming close to locking up KD. Bro, and and and, and, KD, and in beating Giannis, and beating Giannis, they taking turns Facts. down there. They All taking the turns. They yeah, taking but they turns. going by twos. We going by threes. And they're gonna be shooting twos at like an eighty oh, percent clip. Analytics, wow. at, at, at eighty at eighty percent. What y'all say? What y'all say? Hey, hey Doug. And what's the And what's the Hey, hey low. What's the Right. Effective field goal. Yeah, yeah. And, and LeBron, 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 three, LeBron right? shooting like thirty-one percent from three. From so stop. Yeah, hey, hey, I got D Mitch and KD. What you talking about? And I got Plus, Dan. Plus, Why you got KDs in there like thirty-five percent? I think LeBron and Luka gonna be fighting over who's gonna hold the rock so much. Then you got three dudes who need the ball: Spidey, that him, and LeBron. Spidey, Luca, and LeBron all need the ball. Imagine Luca off ball with LeBron. Stop it. Stop and it. Dude, my, my team, my team can play off. That'll be a beautiful thing, man. Yeah, your I team. Why yeah. yeah. you should you should have threw me on that pole, Ron. I had action. Hey, right. what's LeBron? What's, Le, what's LeBron shooting from three this year? Like thirty-one, thirty-two. Yeah, I, I was told it wouldn't get up close to his career average. I was told that it, it's creeping. No, no. Hey, Ron. I mean, hey, you, know, hey, Ron you, think was, you think it was a crime? Your boy didn't make it. The boy you've been bragging on every single day over here. <laughs> y'all, y'all know that shit is criminal. Who you think so? Trey the, team, the team record. Trey, Trey Young. Young. Oh man. Yeah. yeah. The coach. The coach killer. Trey Young. Trey, Trey Young doesn't make it ahead of James Harden. The coach killer Trey Young. That's crazy. And I James mean, Harden. James, I James people, man, he made it. He drew how they made it over him. I said, man, these people crazy as hell. Trey Young not that good at basketball, right? Oh my god. Okay. This the ain't gonna lie. This is the first time where they legitimately I can say they legitimately rewarded defense. Because Drew Holiday and Triple J making it, I that was never I didn't Jared Jackson Jr. Time. making it is criminal in my opinion. I don't know how he's an old stuff. But tri- but them them rewarding two defenders like that over like legit offensive weapons, that's crazy. I would have hey, never thought that was gonna happen. Hey low, it's over with hey low. I want to tell you this it's over with for the Lakers, man. They say LeBron and AD beefing, man. Pat Yo, Bev take- came out and said is is deeper than basketball. Wait, where when did he say that? Today, <laughs> oh, <laughs> look it up, bro. Hey, take Lo- it, take it. Lo- you should have you should have waited to jump back with the Lakers. Who's that? Maybe, 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 maybe we can find yourself talking about a thirteen seed. Hey, take hey, Lo- it. So, hey, Lo- take it. So, take who's better? Bro. Take it. Who's better? Uh, Dejounte Murray or Trey Young? Dejounte Murray or Trey Young? Yeah. Uh, I I gotta say, well, I, I like Dejounte because he plays a little bit better defense, but just a, just Trey Young, man. Damn, I was hoping. Trey I can't Conference Finals, though. What are we talking about? Nah, yeah, no, I can't. I don't know what I'm saying, but I, I can't. I can't lie, bro. I like Trey Young. Is a, he's very talented. I think he's headed on the wrong path. Him and John ja Morant, bro. John ja Morant, those two guys to me are two young stars headed on the wrong path, bro. Okay. I got you. And so is LeBron and AD. And, 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 and one dude that's about to be at the league in the next three years, Ben Simmons. I yeah, once, it, once his contract is up, he's he's done. Yeah. He's out of the league, bro. Hey, he's going he's going to be back in Australia in three years, bro. And I don't even it's I don't even think I don't think he's going to play basketball again. I don't think he's going to play basketball. Hey, it's going to be a thirty. Be. Hey, hello, it's going to be a thirty thirty on that cat, man. It's that's sad what happened to him, bro. I think it will be too. Is it in his back? Do you think it's still his back? Or yeah, it's it's not, I, I ain't gonna lie. Right. That man is out partying every night. Ain't no I ain't gonna go, go lie. I'm be honest with you, um, uh, Dub. I'm not the whole like heart guy. You're like, what's in your mentality? <laughs> that is the first time where I clearly can tell, like, no, this nigga is just not like. It's just he don't want to play. He, he don't just wanna don't want to play, bro. He just bro. Don't... Brooklyn lost low. I seen your video. Brooklyn gave up. Brooklyn's literally gonna lose. KD, Kyrie, 
Harden, and Ben Simmons for role players. Facts. Bro, how, how does how does the GM still have his job, bro? How was it the owner the, before he made that trade? He should have sold the team. He literally lost billions of dollars in one hour, bro. He should have sold the team before they, they made the trade. They traded Kyrie, and I know they might have did it in spite of him, but they traded Kyrie. Oh, wait, Del, I'm happy you here, Dub. They traded Kyrie for role players, didn't even know if KD was willing to stay or not, and then they trade KD a few days later. Then news broke, Dub, that they wanted Austin Reeves in the package for the Lakers, even though Dub claimed that that would not have been enough, even though they came out and said that's who they wanted. So you were wrong, hey, dog. Hey, 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 hey. You still got cooked me that by being that day. So it is what it is, bro. No, nah, that's <laughs> crazy. You still got cooked. You got cooked. No, no you got ticket, cooked that day. It is what it is. Nah, so the ticket, I could yeah, be I wrong, I but you got cooked. Oh, wow. I yeah, so, yeah. so the ticket, yeah. Legend they, of losing. They crazy over there, bro. They How did Sean Mark still have his job, bro? They traded Kyrie. And, and, and then they said they turned down four first-round picks for Mikael. Come on, man. They think Mikael Bridges is KD, bro. What the hell is wrong with these they people, man? Out four first rounders from Mikael Bridges. They're Bridges. insane, bro. Come on, That's bro. Insane. From who? From who? I think they said. Memphis. I think one team was, was Memphis. Memphis. Yeah, it was Memphis. Yeah, from Memphis. Four, they turned out four, four first, first round picks and players and players to fill the salary from Memphis, bro. They said Memphis offered up every pick that they possibly could. yes, every pick, and they still turned it down. I'm assuming the players would have been because they said they weren't coming off. Ja, obviously, Jared Jackson. No, nah, that was yeah, that was for KD. Y'all said Mikael Bridges. No, 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 no. It was for Mikel. Once they got Mikel, uh -huh. they were going to try to do a three-team trade, including Memphis. Or Memphis was involved. And they were trying okay. to move off of four first-rounders to send to Philly. So, I mean, not yeah, to Philly, yeah. to, um, to send to um, Brooklyn to get Mikel. Damn. So they 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 would have they would have ended up right? they would have ended up with the four um four draft picks from um from from Brooklyn would have got the four draft picks from Phoenix and yeah. four first round picks from Memphis. They would have ended up with eight. I was, they got to do that. Oh, no, wait, hey, wait, I'm, wait. I'm a big I'm a big Mikael fan, wait, but does he worth all that? No, he's not. No, he's not. No, no. I thought that was a no, lie. Wait, wait, that was true. Be. No, that, that was true. Yes, I'm, I'm gonna yes. Yes. They didn't accept it. And they didn't accept it. Yes, every every ESPN first round picks. Well, well, I'm 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 gonna say it was a bunch of ESPN reporters who reported it. So I mean, and some of them I I, I want to say even Woj reported it as well. So like that's the level of validity. Hey, and Ron, yeah, from what I'm hearing, watch crazy. out for two things. Your boy may be headed to the Lakers this summer, and nobody knows it. Trey Young and a sign and trade with D'Lo and uh, what you call it if they don't get Kyrie. Because because Phoenix, Chris Paul is out here pushing to get Carmelo to Phoenix, but Phoenix tried to trade for Chris for uh, uh, KD and Kyrie. Phoenix tried to get both KD and Kyrie. Yeah. So what do you think Kyrie might may go to the uh I don't even think they have enough money. Oh, no, I'm thinking Kyrie may if, if it works out with him and Luca, he may just say, you know what? I'm gonna resign. It ain't worth all my trouble over there. But and if that happens, look for Trey Young to demand a trade during the summer and look for a sign and trade with D Lo and what you call it to get moved over to Atlanta. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. Trey Young he, has he, serious he, issues with the management. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. I'm gonna keep it a bean with you. Um, they don't even—he don't even have to demand a trade. They might just trade him. Yeah, he—he's he, 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 he's done with is, the management. That, is, is that, is the that, management that, side, that, hey, look, the management actually have sided with the coach. Normally, that, the coach would have been fired, but they've sided with the coach on this. And and the coach is—he's he, he, so down on this cat, man. He want to retire now. He's gonna retire at the end of the season just because of Trey Young. Trey Young is, I, I, Ron. I tell you, bro. Trey Young is not it, bro. Hey, with with all the other antics and just attitude wise and all of that, I'm not with Trey Young. When it comes to just the ability to ball, the ability to score, and the ability to get your teammates involved and play make, Trey Young is really like one of them. Dang, bro. You know, I ain't here to see you talk like that. That's true. Hey, one of low, hey, low. One other caveat, low. Uh, the situation with AD right now, AD struggling because of the loss of Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook opened up so many free points for AD. Everybody's wondering what happened to AD scoring wise. Russell Westbrook was accounting for like ten to twelve points for AD every single night. They don't realize when they lost Russ, they lost one of the best assist guys coming off the bench in the, the best assist guy coming off the bench in the NBA. And so Russ accounted for a lot of the points that those guys were getting easy buckets. So now AD is not able to get those easy buckets because they don't have that type of point, that true type of point guard that played the way Russ played as far as getting those guys the ball. Uh, Schroeder and the, and the snitch don't do that. So they got, that's, they got real true. problems. 
I just think that Ham should also put him. They should actually run sets with AD to get him in better post position because bro, they, yeah, call, they were they doing a lot. Of... They call him a man Darvin scam, bro. They they don't turn no Ham, man. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> so you think the they Lakers call... locker room? The, you saying the Lakers locker room is in shambles right now? In sh- Nick, look at what Pat Bev said. Pat I just, Bev I said, just saw it. He said, "Yeah, it was too many chefs in the it's too many chefs in the kitchen. Too many yep. voices. The vibes were inconsistent." Which, to be honest with you, is consistent with what a, a, a other people have said as well. So that doesn't that's not like new news. I told I, y'all, no, Bron and AD are beefing. I promise you. Listen, you don't go to an iconic moment like that and sit down, bro. The man said, <laughs> "The man." When everybody stood up, AD sat down. And did you see when Bron went beside him and was telling him, yo, I love you? You see how AD looked at him, bro? Yeah, like he didn't want to hear that shit. That's AD, like, that's AD, AD, AD still got time. He he, he want to win. He wants some rings. Bron only wanted to pass Kareem. Yeah, but even when I didn't, I didn't, but I didn't believe that, though. I didn't, I, I didn't believe that. I think the, it's the, something the, more than that. Yeah, the, it, it'd be one thing. What, when, what more do you need than that, though? The, I don't need anything more than that. All, all I need is that I'm, what, what, AD's 29, 30? I'm young. I'm, I'm still young enough. I'm trying to win these games, and you're worrying about chasing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. What a 13 seed! You passed him, and we lost to the OKC Thunder. That's the, I, I, no, I can't 80. celebrate. I, I can't celebrate but, a time like 80, that. Eighty was doing that though. Eighty was doing that at a time. I don't I, like the game was still. It wasn't like it was a blowout or nothing like that. It was down like it's, it's been consistent. Right? Low, it's, it's been consistent. Yeah, he's he's been true, chasing bro. Kareem all season. All that's, season. That's what this whole season. I know, been about. but but you but you sitting here saying that like oh um like oh I'm just upset that we're losing like bro it's the yeah. game with like the the point that LeBron put them in it was a five point game at that point. But and I, then, but, bro, but you know I, just I'm like good. I know because at that point I believe at that point was when you were you were a Milwaukee Bucks fan when LeBron passed Kareem correct? Oh, but I don't. But it wasn't because of LeBron. <laughs> it was because they still had Russell Westbrook on the team. <laughs> so, that, okay, so, so, that so, so, so all, all the all the reasons is you're, you were upset with the Lakers. Anthony Davis was also upset. He wants to win. They're the 13th seed, bro. You, oh, can't, no, you, and can't, I, you and can't celebrate anything in the 13th seed. Oh, hey, uh, hey, we agree. Low, low. I agree with you. I agree with you, you, Bobby, though, but I think it's more than just that. I think it's more than just OKC. I think it's more than just trying to pass Kareem. Hey, yeah. hey, Doug, I'm going to put this in y'all ear. Y'all remember I told y'all this first. I think the reason why AD may be upset, and I'm going to say this, and everybody going to say I'm a hater, but if it happens, then y'all know, okay, I think that AD may have gotten a whiff that LeBron may think it's time to move on from him. Mm-hmm. I, I'm going to go as far, far, a little bit further than that. I don't think AD going to stay after when they both depart because they both were um, expiring on the exact same offseason. I think both of them are going to leave, which is why I've been saying for a long time, whatever they do for Russ, whatever Russ trait they made, it needs to be more catered to bring in talent for AD, not LeBron, because LeBron ain't staying regardless. So if you want to move forward that's what, with low, AD, then that's what you need to do. Low, I I I I agree with Elder said in the comment section. I, I secretly believe that LeBron James, that AD got a whiff that LeBron was willing to have him traded if the right deal came along. I believe that, bro. I believe the Lakers quietly were moving. I believe AD. that's why AD. Because remember, because listen, listen, AD shut down the social media last night. I agree. I agree. He did. He that shut down the that, social that, media. Last that wouldn't be that surprising at all. That I mean, if if he got you know, we we were shipping you off because of LeBron. Magic said it before the season, though, bro. Magic said, "Yo, if AD's hurt again this year, he got to go." That ain't surprising me, but I don't, I don't, I think when when they both contracts is done, I think AD's gonna look back and say, "Man, y'all y'all were struggling to build around me when LeBron was here. LeBron is no longer here. Even when I was here, y'all still didn't prioritize me over LeBron. A lot of these, a lot of times, why am I staying?" What what's the point of me staying? I blame LeBron. Do you do the AD for do you do the, the AD? Hey, do you guys do the AD for cat deal? Do y'all do that deal no, or something? Oh man, stop. No, Please never. Stop, stop, no, stop. I would not do that ever. Good, Why not? Because they're not in the same breath. Yeah. They're not in the same breath. No, no, I'm saying no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's your problem with Cat? Uh he's a horrible defender. Terrible a horrible, defender. a horrible defender. And like they're a, gonna need that. In order for them to succeed in the postseason, they need a guy who can run protect at a high level. And catch is not doing that. I don't, but if I don't you think, keep go ahead, go. If you keep Vanderbilt and those guys, I don't think that's enough. Like to keep Vanderbilt and 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 uh and and 
they high on, on Mo Bama. I ain't seen nothing from him. I, I said, you bring a dude from that wasn't getting burned on the losing team. That's not going to press me. He, he still ain't like getting no burn, which is crazy. I don't even know if Cat's even that consistent playoff performance to sit here and be doing. Like, I get you if the offense paid out, then maybe, but I don't trust Carl Anthony Towns. He fits, he fit, well. he fit good with LeBron, Cat. A hundred, a hundred, but, but, but if, I can't again, rely on him as my said, secondary score. But it also, you just said didn't say LeBron is leaving. So, again, I'm not making drastic alterations to my team. For no, no, after next season, after next season, after next season. No, but then they both leave after next season. Next season no, is I'm the saying, last no, no, I'm saying you keep cat. No, no, no. I'm saying they move from AD this summer because they want to try to salvage and win because they don't want to go through another season of that. I'm yeah, saying winning, you move AD that. because I think Minnesota's going to ship cat. Say what? They they trying to ship him, but they you don't win with cat. So I you wait. Hold on. So you none of y'all would do the cat deal. None of y'all would do AD for cat. No, I, I would not trust a team as Carl Anthony Towns being the second best player. I would never. I don't think he should be the third best player. Maybe I don't think he should be on the team. I don't. I don't. I, I, I'm so serious. This uh, my 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 feelings about Cat. I don't think Towns. The only thing that Towns does that can aid a team winning a championship space or even a deep floor. postseason run is just space in the floor. He's not a good passer. He doesn't make quick reads at all. Defensively, he's horrible. He doesn't know how to position himself in the post. Um, rebounding is he he has solid rebounding seasons, but as time progresses, he's not even in the, on the paint as much as he is out anyway. Um, I think he's I think he's ridiculously bad at reading defenses when he's on in the, in the post because he can't he doesn't know where the help is coming from. Like I don't think he does really much of anything that could aid a team to win a championship outside of space of four. I just don't think he's that good of a player at all. Yo, fellas, uh, since we're still here, we might as well jump on these super chats. No, you got me for eight more minutes. Hey, you got me for eight uh, more you minutes. See this chat? You see this? You see this? Now no, everybody can see it. I see Come on. it. But you Come on, we're going to get into minutes. it, though. KB Knows Ball said Memphis should really start to panic. Mid-offense, three to seven in their last ten games. They also have a thug on their roster in Dylan Brooks. I think they have a couple. <laughs> they can't do nothing. They should have. What they should have did was – at the trade deadline, is packaging some guys and go get KD. They were idiots. If I was them, and you going for it, I would have packaged uh, three of those guys, those those main guys they got outside of Ja, and went and got KD and went for the whole thing. They offered yeah. them a crazy package, though. For, oh wait, no, 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 no I'm saying for KD. I'm for saying KD. they had the pieces. They had the oh, pieces yeah. to get KD. They could have yeah, gave yeah. you those young guys and those picks, and they could have got KD. I would have did that if I was them. They didn't do it. They don't. Next, because they didn't want to give up Desmond Bain or Dylan Brooks, right? I don't know. They, man, listen, even even bro, if they did, though, I would have taken the Suns' offer because I think the no, Suns no, 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 no. Oh yeah, I would have taken Mikael over. You would have taken the Suns' Bain, offer over the transfer and all those picks. Him and Bain and those guys. Come on, low. Bain and who else? Bain and Brooks and the transformer and and uh Who's the transformer lover. And f- and f- and no way, picks. no way. You just said that. <laughs> the transformer lover. Who's that? Who is that? Dillian Brooks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all, didn't see oh, pulling up, y'all didn't see Dillian Brooks pulling up to the game with the Transformers? No, I didn't. N- next super chat. Yeah, we got to go. Next, we got to go. Next, we next, go. Next, we next, go. Next, next super chat. Hey, hey, Shorty had, a, Shorty had Adam's apple like Scotty Pippen. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, he's talking about that. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my god! Like oh my god! I ain't lying, man. It's, hey, Google it. I ain't lying. Oh my god! I'm not lying, bro. God, he got he it. Pulled, oh he pulled. He pulled up with Paul out there, man. Go ahead. All Here's right. So, Adrian Shake said the right the Reinsdorfs might be the worst owners. Don't want to go into the luxury tax to, tax to compete. Don't want to blow up the team due to sales. Don't draft or develop players. <laughs> <laughs> You're I ain't gonna lie, I'm looking at this picture right now, boy. Oh my! God. I told, I told you, I told you, Lo. The man pulled up with RuPaul up there, man. <laughs> <laughs> to the game, hey, look, it had his arm around the jump, cuffing the jank. That's crazy. Heavy, heavy. The transformer, man. Point <laughs> blank, period. It's it's about damn time. Said Magic and Weber, Jokic and Steph, KD and Shaq, Penny and KG. I don't like Magic and Weber. Oh man, these pictures are wild. <laughs> Come on, Ross, speed round. Let's go. It's, it's yeah, about please. damn time came through again. Oh, we talked about this. Overrated players. Oh boy. K Spiffy said, "Low, spill the beans about the Ben Simmons and the Nets." I'm, I'm about to drop a video tomorrow. All right, y'all tune into that. 
Lance Mansfield said earlier, Chill brought up Tatum is a great defender because he's top five in steals and rebounds. Isn't Luca the same for PGs? Hmm. Rebounds, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, know, I don't know about steals. <sighs> Vamp said, "What high school players have you seen? Have you seen live that you that that you were sure would be NBA stars but failed? Mines are Shabazz Muhammad and Stanley Johnson. Oh, I'd have seen punched." I don't. I don't have. I don't. I don't. I don't like watching high school players. So I don't know. Bob, you got some? Nah. Uh, I got Tony Roden. He was number one in uh, <clears throat> high school. Played against him in high school a couple times. Watched him all throughout his high school career. Was supposed to go top five. Ended up coming in the league. He had a couple good years, but it wasn't nothing like what he was supposed to be. Isaiah Brisker. My friend. He's supposed to be a a, a starter. On the uh, Chargers, but the agents fucking him up. Damn. That's how it be sometimes. Yeah. Gregory Keller said, "Fellas, I'm late to the stream, but if CP runs off two ships, is he top twenty all time?" <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing. Chris Poole does at this point is really going to move me. Unless, unless he plays at a really high level in those postseason runs, which I'm yeah, out. Which yeah. Oh shit! Every- the game's on already. Everybody will move him top five. I mean, top 20. Everybody? A lot of people. My bad. A lot of people will move up. Unfor- if, if he just I'm wins funny. championships, you're right. If he just wins yeah. championships, there will be a subsection of people who will move him up just because he won. Yep. But for me, no. Only casuals, though. All right. We got a couple more to get into. Uh, Angie, Angie Carr tapped back in. She said, appreciate the peer pressure on Ron, guys. Much appreciated. Sure. How much? Does a team's location influence a player's decision to play there? Fluent and chill. I'll see y'all Thursday. Uh, plays a large part. I think so. Being in a good place of market value and a good place to be around, that can influence it a lot. Especially if it's like, if they're like, there's nobody there, you know, to win a championship. He should get fired. That, to answer that question about butts, he should get fired. Y'all got him getting fired if they lose? He won't, but he should. I don't care. (laughs) (laughs) Lakers would have to go 17 and 10 to make the postseason. Do we got that? Give it up. Give up. It's done. Give up. Finished. All right, y'all. A couple more. Uh, Aramis Jones said LeBron will be playing tonight or will be playing against the Pelicans tomorrow. That'll be a certain point if there is going to be one. I'm not gonna lie, I was high on the Lakers, but if AD and LeBron's under that type of uh, disgruntlement, uh, I'm not with it. Aramis also said, "How y'all gonna talk about all the people you were naming over Bron, but the panel has to name the names for you?" Yeah, that that 15 people was crazy. <laughs> yeah, 16 was wild. Yeah, dick is wild. All right, last one for the night. Drink more water said, I asked you guys, which is more important, impact to winning or overall skills? All of you said impact to winning. Now you guys are valuing overall skills over impact to winning for D-Mitch. No, 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 no. no, Because impact to winning doesn't mean how many wins your team has. You can impact winning. You could have, for example, Michael Jordan, put him on a team with me, low and two other people who aren't NBA level players, he will go 0 and 82 and still be probably the most impactful player in the league. Like, just because you're losing, it doesn't mean you're not impactful. Winning games is a team accomplishment. Your individual impact doesn't ultimately come on your team's record. That's just not how it works. Ron, you already know. Yo, hold on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ron, you already know. If we talk about 2v2 debating, if we talk about 2v2 debating, I don't really care. But if uh, we talk about who? No, we talking about hoping. Yo, you, y'all, about don't, y'all don't want it with us. Hey, check it out. <laughs> check it out. It'll get ugly for y'all, but that's not even what it's supposed to be. It's I ain't gonna lie. Big Ox and Shaq might beat y'all dead ass. It's, it's, that's, supposed, that's, it's, it's supposed, supposed to be, to be me, me and Big Ox versus Shaq and Dale, but they keep running from us. This is the uh, second consecutive summer. Second summer. I've been I've been asking Shaq every almost every day for about two years, and I can't get no response. Him and Dale just don't want it with me and Ryan. That bad be it. That bad go on the channel. I don't I don't know I don't know who's running though. I don't know if it's Shaq or if it's Dale. I can't call it. I ain't gonna lie, I think big guy can Shaq would beat Ron and Dale though. Uh Ron and Dell. Nah, I got Ron and Dell. Of course mm. you do, Dub. I knew you was gonna say that just because Dale on the team, but Dale can't fuck with me. 
<laughs> oh wow! Oh that's, wow! That's, that's, that's what's crazy, dude. I've seen. I mean, I've seen, seen Dell play. Uh, he's the I, I. I haven't seen a better basketball player in my life besides the name Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So that was the <laughs> second greatest dude. basketball player I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> hey, Boy, he's Dell, serious Dell, though. Dell. Hey, he's serious. But look, Dell, look. Dell, I'm gonna say like Dell. this: if Dell, if Dell, if Dale and Shaq stop ducking, your heart is gonna be broken. Do you think hey. that you and Ron are gonna beat him? Yes. <laughs> what? Y'all will see, y'all see what we have the summer event in Vegas. Dub. Oh shit, I was. What happened? What happened? Y'all see what we have the summer event. No. What's gonna happen? But hey, uh, la go. lastly but certainly you not least, you for a second, my boy. He had to get that shit off you, boy. You was, was glazing. You was, gla you was glazing. Yeah, you was glazing. Yeah. Marzen, Mar Mar he don't uh, even get it. <laughs> Marzen Low, are you guys? I'll get it. What are you guys talking about? Glazing. I'm so confused. What you say, Rod? What you say, Rod? I said, Mars and, Mars and Low, are you guys, do you have anything that you want to say about Shaq and Ticket later this month? Oh, my God. Okay. You're going to, if, like, no, I'm the stat guy, isn't it? No, I'm the stat guy. No, all and, I got to just say is plus and equals and minuses. And <laughs> are y'all are y'all going to do it? Mars we just Low, said, we said it. I said, I don't, I didn't care about Going with ticket, um, I don't care about this either. If, if you if I get asked to do it, it's sort of it's a thing. I'll show up. Glazing. Okay. I, I guess I guess the main topic <laughs> is gonna be uh, Jokic. it's gonna be Jokic and Kobe, isn't? It? Yeah. Great. Hey, y'all, y'all need to debate who went who win that two v two. Me and Ron or Shaq and Dale. That's I already got. I already got. So you told that. me to do this because no, no, low, low, low. It's oh, me something and, like uh, that. That's what you told Mark me. Shaq to wow. and, uh, and Dale. You just sat there and said Dale is the greatest basketball player I've seen outside of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He was glazing, my brother. D don't hate on his eye test, man. His eye Jesus, test. Jesus, low. <laughs> You're the same man that was crying. <laughs> this is the same man that was crying about the Lakers getting fucking caught. Oh, Irving. Dub. So hold, hold uh, on, hold on. Little dub, hold tears. <laughs> little tears. Little hey, tears. Dub, dub, hold on. Hold on. You thought it was really something on your face? <laughs> I'm serious. I was so confused. I was, I was wondering. I was wondering. Hey, I was like, oh, no oh, way you wait. Hey, that's that sloppy. That's it. He just talked about that sloppy toppy you was just going to give it. Sloppy toppy. That's crazy. Sloppy toppy is crazy. The same is the greatest <laughs> player you've seen since MJ. That's crazy. Sloppy oh, toppy yeah. is crazy, bro. All right. I got y'all. I'm going to get y'all. You know what? I, I did say the motorboat shit. So, you know what? That's a good one. That's a good one. You got it. You got it. Oh, man. You got oh, it. Yo, get us out of here, Ron, man. Please. All right, y'all. We're coming up on a, <laughs> oh, four and a half hours. I know I didn't wake up thinking that we would do anything like this, but we did it. Why? Because we pod and we don't fraud. I'm going to let everybody just say, say their little passages on the way out. Yo, Mars, what you got to say on the way out? I appreciate the seven and a half hours of work I've done today. I appreciate you. I'll see you, Morris. Appreciate hey, Morris, me. That's big shit, I'll see you. Yep. Listen, y'all y'all, fucking wild, bro. You know that. <laughs> that's all I got to say. Y'all fucking wild. You don't, you don't want to tell anybody anything? You don't want to mention glazed donuts or nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Low? Make sure, make sure, make sure you're, make sure you're good. Here you go, here you go, here you go. He trying, he trying to get something back. <laughs> yo, wrap the screen. Come on, wrap. Right. Hey, no, no, make sure, the screen. Wrap make sure, make sure you're crazy. Don't, make sure you're crazy. Yo, wrap up the screen. Wrap up the screen, man. Make sure you're going no more. Oh, you must have That's not even your joke. That's somebody else's joke, man. You still That's my joke. joke. That's my joke. No, it's not. You saw it in the chat. You saw it in the chat. Perk it up. You saw it in the chat. You saw it in the chat, dog. Yo, Bob, what you got to say on the way out? Uh, Shit, all I got to say is, man, hey, chat. Everybody watching, everybody on the panel, y'all make sure that y'all press Dale and Shaq. Tell them stop running from this smoke. 2v2, me and Ron, we want Shaq and Dale. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much that's pretty much it. Also, turn, tune in to uh, Chill versus chill, or chill with Chill tomorrow at 5 Eastern. Fire. Tune in tomorrow to the OG. Hey, OG episode, Dub, it's a special day tomorrow, right? They'll find out tomorrow. I don't want to know uh, They already said it. Shaq already said it. It's, it's, a, it's a special day. What did he tomorrow. say? Shaq already said tomorrow's a special day. He said, shout out to Dub. We're going to have the OG panel, um, OG PC tomorrow. He said it already. Oh, he didn't say what it was. All right, cool. Yeah. They'll find oh, okay. out tomorrow. All right. Yeah. All right, All right, man. I got to go. I got to go. You're, I gotta go. You're, welcome, you're welcome too low. You're welcome too low. Hey, yo, have, 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 have fun low tonight. Hey, y'all pray for low. I got to go.